get going. I don't think we want war unreasonably. I don't I, uh, agree. That, so be it. I disagree. I think we need a war with you. I think we should be prepared for it. There yeah, are many I think we should unanswered from the south. Many crimes they us paying them will only make things worse. And uh, even if we do pay them, it is only to delay things. That is why. We should pay them. I think the best course is to delay things uh, and continue to delay them. Yeah, I'm not saying that we should pay them. I absolutely disagree with the fact that. If, if anything, there should be, well, if anybody's paying any that even is to occur, it should be like a mutual exchange of gifts for the sake of peace, not this, uh, you owe me, give me, because war is war. I, I so don't believe happens. they will, uh, let us take anything from them, because they believe we started this war, and they believe they won the war. So they should enjoy all the riches. You know, their mindset, as far as I know. What what I really want from their king is a fucking apology for being referred to as nothing nothing better than wild and scum, as he put it. He didn't just didn't insult more than that. the Stark. He promised yeah, to extinguish all of our families. Huh. Exactly. This but as the wild and exactly, which he needs to apologize in front of all the northerners present about for, for what for a situation that started off because a girl smirked a fucking smirk obviously all the baneful should apologize too uh, that should be in our demands for what they did if we go there and they what if they completely surprised us and said you know what we have decided that we actually want peace but we don't want you to pay a dime to the, the gold to us and jive you guys be favor of peace as unlikely as it would be for that to happen that would be lovely I, 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 I'll be I can promise you that won't happen with almost 100% certainty. Yeah, if you haven't good, met their king. Yes, yeah, so I think it's good to maybe pay all of the outcomes that could occur. I hate going off on what ifs. We're going what ifs will be in here till kingdom come. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm just saying if they offer us completely favorable outcomes to everyone then what is and they're not lying behind their teeth because they hate us still i say we accept but i don't believe that they would ever uh, enjoy northerners in their home 
That outcome like is like just about like as likely uh, as me growing wings and turning into a dragon. It's just won't happen ever. If it does, though, that'd be a pretty good, uh, pretty good press. Go ahead and start growing wings. Yeah, Pigs no, will no. fly the day that fucking happens. So don't I mean, expect F... anything like that. I, on the on on this um, I suppose um, miracle of an of an outcome if the, if how he. Let me just do this. Uh, everyone, I'm live. Oh, uh, it's nice to be live with GTRP. Okay. Back to this war is the more likely of the outcomes. The no point of King Lannister wanting something is because he feels like he got nothing. He'll want something. He's put three cards on the table and he's expecting all cards to be ticked. I am willing to take none of his offers. If anything, I hope to make some terms of my own. I lost more than King Lannister in that war. I'm not going to give him stuff and I get nothing in return. This isn't going to be a one... This isn't going to be a one-way thing. This is going to go our way as well. I'm going to make free terms to King Lannister. Since he wants to make free terms to me. Hey! I know the stream's late today. I was thinking one could maybe be Willem returning back just breeding, to the North so. as That won't happen. There's no one awarded their own. Haven't they? He's already, already been awarded once. Yeah, but they they want awarded their own for that. I mean, one of their own children is now an integral yeah, part of their one. society again. They want a ward of their own, along with the gold. And they've already spoken about wanting a ward. Thanks to it, I could be that ward if you needed. And I'd learn things from No. Me. I don't think we are in a, a position to ask for much in demands, to be quite frank. With uh, how we've spoken to the Dragon Lords and what they have told us. I don't think the king believes we should make demands, and we want to keep him on our side at all costs in this. I say we Let leave the speak. demands for the war. Let the Lannisters show how insane they are today. I say, yeah, you guys can say, okay. Let King Lannister speak, let him interrupt you. Let him do everything he does naturally. Uh, I, so I can still see feel... His true fucking insanity. I still feel we should at least demand or demand an apology, because he did slight not cool. just House Stark, all the other houses, and we we're, we're owed at least that much. I think we should demand some things. I just think a ward is. Uh, I don't think that will happen ever. Leave that for the he stocks with the war. Because the I don't want to give them a ward, so and they'll definitely want one if we ask for one. Because it is a it is a political hostage, and it gives us an upper hand on them if we do have a ward. So, and they know that, so they'll want a ward of their own. The Lannisters have shown that they want war. These outrageous demands. They give proof to this. I don't believe they want peace as much as they can speak, but they do. They don't. I they want war. And let's be frank, some of us want war as well. I personally, I'll be honest with all of you, I want war. I want to see them bend the same way we did. Well, we showed them at the Bane Fort and on top of our, of our mountain what Northern Zeal can do. And I still feel if the war was still between the North and the Lannisters, the North would have won with no problem. And this time it most likely will be if it comes to war. When it does come to war. Well, we, we all know it was... sure that Dorne's still joining. Dorne? I doubt they will join considering... I'm that. gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I personally want war. I think King Lannister should be destroyed and I think the North could do it. 
King Lannister has disrespected me personally far more than any other person. There is no man I've ever hated more than King Lannister. And if I did not get Northern justice on him, my whole family of ancestors would spit in my face. It is only right, right by, by my gods, by my ancestors, and by the North, I get my justice, and that is King Lannister's head. Well, my lord, you had all the heads of the houses in the North, well, the majority of them present, and they all stood up and stood with you when it was, do you want peace or do we want more? I would, um, uh, at the very least, the like to see him say it, won't say anything. Like his head. She and wants peace, kit, but she won't say it. But if he's bent, it will make things a lot easier between us. Why don't I make that a term? He bends. How are you? I wouldn't be against it. That would be pretty humiliating for King Lannister. I'd try <laughs> not to no agree to it. No, he won't, but it'd be funny. <laughs> that would be definitely you should agree to it. How about that be my two terms? Number one, he stands in front of well, every here's the thing. I, alongside I, uh... the main thoughts and apologises. Number two, he bends to Aegon like we did and we make terms of peace under one I think we should wait wanting. to uh, suggest that. Because here's the thing, Aegon is already at war with the Stormlands. If we uh, say that, they will drag... Aegon will be involved in the war automatically, and they will uh, try, probably try to work with someone to destroy them. That would be my guess. A form a coalition or something. Listen to I me. I think they're under threat as well. Because right now, I don't think we... they do. They think they're good allies. Listen, if we have war with the Lannisters, and any other house joins in, Aegon will fight on our side. That is a hundred percent. That is definite. But why not let them deal with the Stormlands first? We don't need to stretch them out. No, but if they get involved, if, if another kingdom gets involved, then I will ask Aegon for his help. Uh, on the matter of war, and this is a bit of a strange of the topic, do we know relatively how well the West fared over winter, and uh, how strong their armies are relative to our own. I have no idea. Yeah, not really. I guess we'll see how many of their men show up to this meeting. So well, the thing about know. this meeting is it's it's only meant to be their king and one advisor. Same with us. So if we if even if we bring people, they. I'm gonna probably have to wait to cross the river. Uh, the king did Same say uh, we were allowed to bring our people. We're, they're just not allowed to go in the tent. Oh, okay. Aye, Harold, I am bringing the whole of the north. They have to bear witness. They said he, you could. Yes. Right. Just only, only the 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 lord and an advisor per party is allowed inside the tent. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't trust. You know, uh, trust you going in there with an advisor with no men of the north nearby because I don't trust the Lannisters. Yeah, if they, They've shown I their mean, true colors. Anything, we're, we're fine. I mean, they won't be able to cut let's us down. Say, if two of them in there. Let's say from negotiation we get down to just gold. What if? What if? You know how the Targaryens is, is under them, as one kingdom. What if the Targaryens bear this price and ask to share it? What if? Uh, I mean, that is the thing, what if? What Can if I'm going to gonna deny it? If they bear it, I doubt they'll say it during the meeting because they want to seem neutral in this. So, they will tell you after that you confirm the press. So we won't know. Unless you want to speak with him beforehand and see if you will, but I believe it would be better to uh, probably wait, but maybe do speak to him actually. I'm not quite Sophia. sure. Sophia? Yeah, huh? 
Couldn't be the worst. Best way to uh, raise the wolves. Uh, what was that? I would rather see this whole thing built, like I said. Oh, I don't think uh, we should come to any terms today. That's pretty. Do you know what the best way speak. to train them? Um, to depends what you need them for. The whole point of this was to decide if I'm gonna go Got, into that you know, tent one for travel and then with one the for intention war. of war or Is peace. this the war or the, uh, Let us not... travel? Let the intention be that you don't this is make war. a decision today. You shouldn't go Let me show you uh, to that tent expecting anything. We want to delay this war. These are my oh, war wolves. <clears throat> that should be the goal, is delaying this war. Why? I mean, we've already told, oh, and our lord's already spoke to King Aegon and explained that he already knows that the, that the King Lannister is going to demand hefty really amount nice. or more than they were willing to, yep. um, willing to give. I'd and he's, we already store. know what's going to come down to war, and I believe King war. Aegon also knows that, deep down. Um, mm -hmm. It's obvious. It's even even the them king them. agrees the Lannister That's demands are them. too outrageous. If we wait for the war with the Stormlands, Aegon has promised his full support. Thank you. No problem. In it's an option. The hopes that we bend them. So why not have every option on the table? Why not have his support at the red? Even if we don't need to use it. Why rush into the war? It's like you guys have a bit more bright, but it's not too bad. We're not rushing into a war, Harold. It's been five years. It has, it has, but... I, I want war just as much as the next person. Why should we wait on what happens to the Stormlands? What, what difference does it make? Come will be with us if they get anyone involved. They might not be able to be with us as much if they're fighting the Stormlanders as well. And Stormlanders we are no threat. They lost half early. their army with losing House Page. Yes, yeah, true, but the Lannisters could try to scheme with people. It looks like we are just invading everyone. If we go in there with the intention to make them bend or take their heads, they will think we're doing it in the name of Aegon. Well, I'm not going in the intention to make them vassals. bend. That was just an option. I know, I know, but even if we go to take their heads, Anything we do now, as we are their vassals, it looks like we do it in the name of Aegon Targaryen. That is just the truth of how it will be, for the most part. Anything we do will reflect on him, which is uh, why should why should we be patient on something that does not involve us at all? That war with the Stormlands is nothing to do with us. It should have no say in what happens with the North on the upcoming days. We're not after delay Northern affairs for some of the kingdoms. It's about what if the Lannisters, and they, they most likely will if we start attacking them. They will take it as an attack from Dragonstone and the North. And no, they will try they to get Well, let's be honest. Who's going to stop us and the dragon folk together? My fear is uh, Dawn gets involved. But to be frank, Dawn will not problem. get involved. Dawn have a marriage alliance with Dragonstone that? and alongside so all their friends. No, I didn't realize my voice was screaming. Have you met Neri Stargarian? I have met Neri Stargarian, yes. She's a woman who enjoys power. Uh, I'm not sure what her views on this are. If uh, she works for a family or she works for uh, Dawn. The Targaryens are offering views vastly, but I mean, I, I guess we could hope or assume that she does work for the Dragon Lords, that she will buy for them. But uh, the problem is, is Dawn is a pill. <coughs> but they're a pillar society. If one pillar says no to war and the rest say yes, that pillar will be swept to the side. Nobody cares. It is uh, just the fact of Dawn. That is how they work. So they don't need her to say no to the war. If she says no, they can still go to war if the rest of the pillars say yes. Regardless, if I, if I wanted to delay or not, I can. This meeting is for a decision. That is what we are going on, a decision. I cannot delay any longer. There is to... another option. We don't have to come off as the more aggressive party. We can coax the Lannisters and to come and to strike first. By, by literally just telling them, if if you want 
if you want our gold, if you want, you know, wards, they have to come and take them by force because we're not going to, we're not, we're going to stand our ground. And as long as we don't be the aggressors and go south, they're going to be forced to come north. And if they come north, they're the aggressors. And that's how it will be looked upon. And they'll be defending the north as we've always done. Uh, yeah, we could. I think even that might be saying too much. Like I said, I think we should be a little more quiet. Let the Lannisters ramble. You say that, but you guys are going to go exploded. Play your character need be. To a degree. You know how King Lannister is. All you need to do is poke him a little bit. And he'll go a little stir crazy. He'll start screaming at you, interrupting you. Let him say his speeches. <laughs> Nobody will remember them. All they remember is how he screamed in that tent. How the spittle flew from his mouth. How the man child king had a tantrum. Exactly. So let him. Let everyone bear witness to it. There is a gold price that we're willing to give in to. What what price is it? Let's not forget the original price they can put on the table is three hundred gold to the value of three thousand. Your, uh, your voice box is fucking up, Mara. If they decide yeah, 3,000, I think even that, I mean, we could pay that, Hi. I guess. We, are, we we agreed to pay that. We did. I know, but we agreed that we would do something like that. So yeah, for 3, 300 per week. He's wanting yeah, it yes. all at once. I Honestly, I'd rather get it out of the way than pay 300 per week. Uh... I just, I hate no having debts. You guys can hear, right? Yeah, you can. Yes. Uh, you we don't, don't, we don't like know if we miss anymore. a week. Or, or something. If we miss a week, they might get all fucking upset. But, uh... It would be a good idea as well. If we do a price where we pay weekly, because if we do intend to go to war with them, we don't have to pay that full amount before we go to war. So it might make more sense to pay in increments. I think 3,000, yeah, in increments, as opposed to uh, 300 per week. We could agree to that, like we did before. If he wants it in full, uh, no. Hmm. I have a question. We've already Hi. agreed upon an amount for what changed, why are they, re why are they revisiting it? King, King Lannister said no. So then nothing. Get they they something. It's too bad. They didn't win the war. The dragon lord. We bent to the dragon lord. If we are to give anything to anyone, hard. And if he chooses to give that to Casterly, then so be it. But honestly, I don't think we should have to pay a dime. They didn't want to accept the offer, then that's their. The true question with me is Am I going in there to deny every offer, or am I going in there to look for an offer that I will accept? There is a part of me that wants war, therefore I will not accept any offer. I personally think you should look like you're willing to work with them. To maybe raise the gold amount just a tiny bit. Show that you're willing to work with them. Uh, the 
true. It will look much better if we show that we're willing to work yeah, with them, even good. if we don't intend what? to. Because, like I said, he's going to demand an outrageous price. He won't accept anything. Right, let, let, let's work. say let's say they accept a thousand. Is that now of injustice? Alexander, your family is in a meeting. No, it's not, but it's how we delay it. Where? I think the whole point of this... Uh, I'm not delaying a war for the north of, of a dragon storm. I put my people first. Why the fuck would I... Why would I put a war... I'm thinking about putting our people first too, if we can... It's not just no, for the you're sake, not. it's for I'm thinking sake. about Aegon and his people. I'm, I'm thinking about... The war we're involved Rob, in. Can I speak? Here's the thing, if we let them finish their war, they will help us. That means less of our men will die. If we need them, we don't know that. If they're busy with this war with the Stormlands, they might not be able to help us. What if the Stormlands could bounce back with force, we don't know. What could happen? Anything could happen. As much as I hate to go off what ifs. There's a good possibility that they will be busy with that war. Well, if we, we are, them, though, we don't need help well, to fight Lannisters. Like... We can do it on our own. But why not have that extra thing to fall back to, just yeah. in case? Just Would it not be wise? The last war with the Lannisters went on for weeks, months. This one will go on for the same time. The war with with Essie won't go on for long because they're weak and Targaryens are strong. If anything, we'll start this war alone and end it with friends. Sorry, Lady Castle. What were you going to say, Lady Castle? Sorry. I remember I got a I was going one, to say so that to there this. is another way of we help them with the Stormlands, they help us with Castle. Between them and what to help. I'll leave Astas for us to stay yeah. out of it, and then they'll help us with our war. King Aegon said to me, if I stay out of that war, he will let me fight the West, and he'll do nothing about it. How more are you get involved? I mean, to be quite frank, if, uh... Involved on our side? He means not join them, obviously. He'll let us fight, yeah, and he won't no, get in the middle of it. I think he'll end up getting involved on our side, to be frank. Uh, well, it depends how the Lannisters react, but I believe they'll freak out. Say, put your vassal on a leash. When he doesn't, I'll take it as a slide from him. And he'll be dragged into it. And I think he knows that. Sorry, I'm late. It's alright. Talking about what we want from this meeting. We want peace or war. As you know, from the last meeting we had with every northerner, they said war. I want war as well. I think my Uncle Benjamin, the disgrace in our gods, everything, serves Northern justice. But, um, if the Lannisters are willing to throw us some, that is acceptable. Do we accept it or not? That's the conversation here. I say yes in order to delay the war. Well, that is my opinion. Harold but thinks we... we should delay the war and let Dragonstone take care of the Stormlands first. I say we should not we should not look on wars that do not involve us and fight our own wars and look to the west. We shouldn't have to delay our fight for another kingdom's sake. But it's not about their sake, Rob, it's about how they can help us. I mean you're not telling them the full story. If No but we don't we need help, them. Harold. Okay. No don't we don't, but why not have something to fall back on? Just in case. And how he, long will this You yourself said, we don't know the on... might of the Lannisters right now. We don't know how strong they've gotten over the winter. They could have got tremendous No, but it's, a, ri over the it's a risk I'm willing to take. How, what if this war Why is long with, with, a, with, a, with, a, with Stormlands? I'm not waiting years. But you said it would be short. And if it is long, 
then why not wait for them to finish? We can wait. Are you want us to wait just so you can help the Dragonstone fight their fights by getting involved yourself? No, I'm not. You don't need to take this as me sucking dragon cock at every turn. That's not what I'm doing. I'm thinking about the good of our people, us having every advantage against the West when we fight him this time. I want there to be no no way they can win this. Not Uncle, at all. May I address you? Nephew, Aye. son of a Aye. bitch. You know, sometimes Aye, you talk you get with it wrong your balls so, so dropped, I get it wrong. This Mustang is always dawn is in the south anyway. I can offer some perspective. First of all, the matter of war, you have to realize, nephew, it's no longer just you. Whether you like it or not, we are irrevocably linked with the Dragonstone. Now, that does not mean we get involved in their conflict. However, King Aegon is going to look like a weak fucking king to allow someone to attack his people and not do anything. I do more agree with Harold. I think you had every right to attack that keep. You had every right to demand Northern justice. And you had every right to kick those Lannisters' asses. <coughs> However, what you did not do is you did not realize what meetings they had had, what alliances they had wrought. We do not have enough information to wage war against the Lannisters. Aye, we've got the people, and aye, we've got the steel, and aye, we've got the stubbornness. We do not have the information, nephew. Now, if you're going into this meeting, I would go into it with open ears, open eyes, and I would go into it from more of a defensive position. This is House Stark. No one can challenge us in our own lands. You proved that last summer by defending your lands and kicking the Lannisters' asses all the which way all over the north. However, the very first time you rode south, you lost a battle. I know. We are Starks. We do not do well in the south, nephew. I am not do saying not be baited I'm going to go fight another them. Attack. I am saying I want to anger them. I want to come here again. I would never go to them. I know what lands mine are now fighting it. You know, there is a saying that I heard north of the wall. All you have to do to anger a giant is to anger the giant. Sometimes you got to be careful what you wish for. When the cause is just and the north is as one, we are undefeatable. <clears throat> you are undefeatable but make one mistake make one miscalculation make a slight to another power that they take offensively do something like that the Lannisters are going to call them to their aid just like they did Dawn last summer you were winning that battle I was told literally until the elephants showed up Uh, the elephants, I wouldn't say, even made much of a difference. It was more just uh It was the dragons at the start. Yeah. Honestly, if it wasn't the dragons, it would have been done like half an hour or two. I say we carry that siege, to be honest. Storms have been. We do. We're not here to talk about other, ba other battles in history. We talk about present day. My, my lord, if I may. You have uh, been wise, as always. Um, go on. Okay, so. We should go in there, and if we're go if we want to delay it, well, see, still oh, see reasonable, especially on in King Aegon's behalf as well. We should agree now what we will agree that is settable amount that we that we would be willing to give for peace, which undoubtedly the Lannisters won't accept because you know the King Lannister's a child. Uh so we should go in knowing what we're willing to go for. And then if if Very he's well. not willing to meet us at our uh, what we, what we're willing to give, then it's then there's no choice but war. Very as I said, well. We should stand Let's... our ground. 
Let's go around the room when everyone say a price you believe is acceptable for the North to pay. Arthur, start with you and we'll end with Harold. I think what Gaigon said was a reasonable price. Oh, price, shit! I just read the acceptable. Raven. I think the Southerners will accept that. I think if they want to accept that, I think we can go with it. Uh, Egg... It's reasonable. But Didn't Aegon up it? Yeah, 3,000. Well, I I think 4,000 is, is too much. I think if they want to negotiate it to that, it wouldn't be too awful, but still. It's a hard I say we so. stick with 3,000, and instead of 3,000 through 300 payment per week, I'll go 3,000 at once. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, I say offer them 3,000 at once. We're gonna have Dawn at this meeting too. Tell them, Look, Fuck! Both sides have committed atrocities in war. Both sides have said nasty shit in war. Let us end this now before more blood is shed. Well, blood's gonna and shed because way, Dorn is going with the Lannisters to the meeting. Look like they Fuck. The They're the ones that want to shed the blood. And what about our terms? My son made a very valid point. The Lannisters have have really no right to make demands. I'm doing it out of the respect for King Aegon. My son said we should dem make demands as we also lost in that war. <sighs> Given how the war went, as, and I do agree with Harold, we don't have much grounds to demand much, but I think in a, uh, King the King Lannister standing in front of all the Northmen along with the Bane Forts and apologising for the slurs, insults and the disrespect that was, has been given to the North. I think that's a terrible idea. And I think Lord Karstark says it will. But the only reason why I think it's a terrible idea is because yet again, people say shit in wars. Offer them the 3,000 gold, tell them to be done with it and say the fuck off of our lands. So, you want me to banish him after paying them? Well, I didn't mean necessarily officially banish them. Just go your separate ways. Did he die of starvation again as well? They need to feed their penguins! Mm -hmm. They said shit said that's terrible for us and we said shit terrible back. No one's going to sit there apologize and be all friendly with each other. It's not gonna happen. No, we never did anything to disrespect their gods or their fallen ones. Right. But then you attack them. You rode south. So you avenge that. We you, already, you already paid that debt. You're trying to collect double on a debt already paid. I'm trying to find the justice needed. For the disrespect on every person in the north, and not my uncle Benjamin, his grave, the gods would. Trust me when I say, nephew, there is no justice in war. Do we know what King Aegon thinks? King Aegon is conflicted. His mind's always clouded. His judgment is clouded from his advisors because they speak in circles nonstop. Every time I speak to him, his answers change. I don't know what he thinks. Before this, we have this meeting, would you give me leave to go to the Aegon Fort and address the king? I wish I could, but the meeting is in 40 minutes, and we ride there in 10. You don't have time. You want Lady Karstark? What did you say, love? Did Lady Karstark have a comment? Is that what you said? Yeah, she was going around the table seeing what everyone thought. 
we were running out of time, I wanted to hear what she had to say about it. I personally, well, as I've stated before, I'm not really comfortable with any sum of money to the Lannisters. I feel they, they want peace, they will drop it and sue for peace instead of But you guys feel like we play a certain diplomatic route paying a sum, I'll let you decide on that. Personally come with some of money. I mean this is just what we'd settle on on the best case, I suppose, situation. I think we all can agree that the king, even the, what we think is reasonable, the King Lannister wants probably triple what, what we'd be willing to give. It's more to look like we're trying to make peace for our king's sake rather than cause what, what deep down is I'm sure all northerners want justice and revenge. And I suppose, for the slight, since to me this hey! all started from a smirk, um, a thousand gold for the smirk of the lady, I suppose, can be his payment <laughs> to wipe his ass with that, because he's a child. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start very, very low. Yeah. Very low. I, I will say, in that meeting we had with every Northman. They asked the question, war or peace? And everyone shouted, you hear them, let's kill them, kill them, justice. I asked if anyone wanted peace, no one said a word. The Northmen spoke, they want war, they want justice. That's our culture, it's our history. When the North is slighted so much, when we have been beat so much, we remember, the North remembers those words echo through every man ever born in the North. I, I'm gonna go for a price I personally believe is, is justified. But, but like Harold said, the price would only be to delay this war, not for peace, just for to delay it. As I mean, King Lannister, King is... Lannister yeah. got mad at a smirk. They desecrated your uncle's. I'm just listening. I mean, basically, remain gravestone. Huh. You know what did they think was going to happen? And that is why I could not leave this meeting lightly. King Lannister has hurt me more than any man. Ah. My uncle Benjamin was wise. He was loved in. The it's gonna get worse too because the um side, they don't the know. But in the Ravens. My father passed. All right, Red. Um, fucking Dawn's coming to join uh, the Who's Lannisters the in the meeting. Figure? So it's gonna be Dragonstone, West, Dawn, and Casterly all in one meeting. His grave in such a way. Oh boy. Slide, yeah, I don't <laughs> think it's gonna end well. I'm just glad I got my good wolf today. Sleep. Like, I am so glad I got these wolves done today. Like, look at this paperwork. Like, oh my god, I'm yes. Tell you though, nephew, you didn't let this is amazing. I sucked it. But the Lannisters still stand. They are the ones. Thank you so much sword. for the follow. Welcome to the wolf pack. Welcome, they welcome. Deserve the sword. Uh... Do you all remember the words Tidus Lannister spoke at the Battle of the Mountain? He said, Rob Stark, Hello. I promise you, before my death, I will kill your children, end your bloodline, end the Starks, and rip your eyes from your sockets. There are no, there is no respect with the Lannisters. Right. Negotiation can go a long way, but I've had negotiation with King Lannister far too much, far too Yeah, much you're fine. You What's your know, question? You all know the result. He stormed away every time. I, I can't hear what. In truth, I think we're gonna get nothing from this meeting. 
but I will go for the sake oh, okay. of you people and the council. Hello. And let's hope we come we come to some accord, and no matter the outcome, war or peace, the North will prevail as we always have. We lost the war because we were faced with three up fronts at one time. The Lannisters cannot get that help no more. If we enter a war, it will be us and them. And as and I've always said, when the wolf walks far too far into the woods wood, they get surrounded and picked apart. There is no chance against a pack of No, wolves. that's the minimum. And if we the minimum to... is 500. And just as every yeah, Northern wants, we'll be there. Yeah, no, the, the minimum, minimum is... I don't thirst for war. Um, I, thirst, I thirst for justice. Why'd you look so pissed? There are nights where I can't sleep. I'm back. I, because of what the happened. Northerner always look pissed. That's not mm. how that works. I truly believe if we get this justice... Oh, no, we have not. Then no, we have not. The North will be... Just oh, you couldn't think of 500 words. Um, piece again. Stop looking so yeah, mm -hmm. it can get that I mean, way. In my eyes, if I'm it, honest, um, we're still at war. We're only on a brief truce on the, on the behalf it depends of Kanye Young. On... A truce it, that's, uh, I don't know. Expiration date's about to give in. I just make up random shit that turn into stuff, so I can't really help with that. I just make up, I just, whatever pops into my head, and then a, I make a story a of it, so. Peace the man. I, I couldn't really a help. Peace deal which be a hunter you or it's basically you just say who your character is how you uh, how they just like them in. how like how who your character is what their strength what their weaknesses like you said they've uh, personality the family um how you learnt your traits but yeah no that's unfortunately not my specialty either um i have luckily enough i have friends that uh, kind of help in a way well, I say they help, but they really don't help. I kind of figured it out myself. But yeah, you just yeah, I just make a story up, and then it just well, comes, the it becomes an actual story. I know what everyone in this room wants, and I, I know what I'm going to strive for. Yeah. Uh, I now have one last question. I need to take one person into this meeting with me. We're only allowed one. Be? Who among you wishes to come into this meeting and alongside me? Uh, I'm uncle. Mm -mm. Take your uncle. Is anyone against Harold going? Yes, take uncle. Take uncle. He is your brother. I mean, I wouldn't mind going. I've always been with you in meetings, but this is uh, between Lannisters and Starks, so it should be a Stark that goes inside. Take your uncle. Take your fucking... Very important oh, come meeting. On. You're basically a Stark. I had some involvement with uh, Lord Bright. I will take Harold because Lord Harold is on. has... And, um, <coughs> I believe Howard is the one that wants me to it. Very well. He's gonna cause the war! Oh, is <sighs> I think it makes sense, nephew. If war comes, is there anyone in this room afraid? Is there anyone Fuck in this no. room who does not believe what we have to He's gonna cause the fucking war! Not a chance. He can't hold his temper! Very well. You need someone who can hold their temper! I wish to speak with Harold privately for a moment. You all don't mind preparing. Get on your wolves. Make oh, sure your bears are in the I'm gonna go and put you in here. Ah, oh, fuck, I know. Yeah. Alright, you stay here. I'm just moving cabbage. cabbage. So it's safer here for you. <sighs> I'm gonna take that as well. I take that. Alright. Or else I'm gonna leave here. Yes, brother. Actually, I actually want my bear saddle and my bear. You are Saddle. my brother, my blood. You are... Bear. You may know alongside me and the rest. You are north all the way. But I cannot have you going into this meeting for the intention of delay. This is either peace or war. If uh, that is what you wish, I mean... You, what do you so you, we are going to this meeting with the intention of war? No right. peace. War. There won't. There will be no peace. 
I get what you say, bro. bro. All right, it's everyone, right. start preparing your wheels. We're gonna be raiding out real soon. I actually have upgraded Wait, wolves now. If anyone needs open. upgraded ones, they're coming open. out uh, and fully Raiding. trained around 227. So, be a wall with a if people need upgraded wolves, uh, I'll I don't think we have the time. I think we're going to be know. leaving right as the Starks get down. Let's get out of bears. Yeah, my bear's already on the wall. And there is a wall. I'm going to away for now. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be in my I'm, I'm with you two minutes. minutes. I think I'm still here. We need to figure I out who's got the uh, pack leader. I know, I know you. That would probably be mine. Because it's a 227. This is more for the north. Oh, and just start going. I have spare arrows and spare bruise on my wolf. The ground. This is for the soil to stand up. This is for everything. I eat more bruise. I'm more than anyone wants to fight. You know that. But I won't be fighting, but I will be uh, support. As in, I will well, help let's them. Let's go with, then. We're stuff. So. see this meeting. Get ready to leave at least. There's no point in delaying, we don't want to be late. It's uh, still not right. early, in fact. My, uh... Turn not the shit they so spew about. I have this. other defense as well. I have my, um... This oh, is yeah. not good. I have gl Glacier, which I can run. Pay my armor up fully. And I have a bear if I have not to as well. I'm sleeping in my room. Yeah, as a safety net. I was gonna say, did you get him set up in the house? Mm, not necessarily. I let him sleep in my room. You just go. Yeah, cats are assholes. Right. Fair enough. There we go. I switched the arrows actually. This keep is a fucking maze, brother. Can we get some like arrow signs or something? Like, I swear to God. Oh, just not as many I know doors. my way. We don't, everybody make sure we don't need a door right there. You know? I do have spares on my wolf if in case we run out too. You've got a good amount of, a good amount of arrows. I also got arrows on my wolf too. Oh, got, uh, just shy of 400 arrows? I oh, have the, uh, uh, go. a oh. bunch of arrows, a bunch of brews, oh, right. and some cakes if people need them. I'm expecting at least 400 headshots then. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I try not to disappoint bears. Make sure you have your bears on your wall. Okay, I got 11 uh, stacks of arrows if people need them. Wait, is that a bigger key? Yeah, it's the nice one. Cape, it's even bigger. It's yeah. Oh, throw it to me. Let me see it. They're cute, but annoying. Make sure everybody you've got your armor fully repaired, weapons repaired. Oh, my other set. I well, set. You Just in case. Case. break off or through the fight and they fucking useless. Go repair them. Oh. It's great. You look fat. Oh, so uh, we have in the case yeah. in the mounts. Put your cape back on. Oh. Mm. With the Lannisters. Anyone's that got is... shoulder mounts that you don't want to lose, you probably shouldn't bring them, just in case. Just, have them outside the just don't bring anything important. Come in. He's a what, what's, mercenary. what's the damage? Yeah, basically. You can fucking Lord Bryden um was trying to he was gauging my interest if I would want to enlist in your war if it comes to it. I guess the Lannisters he told me about what they did on <clears throat> one of your family members graves or a man's grave with bear traps and such. Yeah. You are more than welcome to ride alongside us and stand in my line at this meeting. I'd appreciate it. Sadu Sword. Are you sorry? Are you right? Mm. Looks like there's a lot of stuff I don't know about. You can also, like, diet. 
That is true. Oh yeah, there's a lot of new clothing. It's fucking insane. It's, 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 it's just oh. keep pumping them out. That is very true. That looks great. Yeah. Very well. Sure, sure. I would show him. When this is done, um, I do have uh, older wolves that I can uh, do to make you uh, that you can replace. Right, I would show him the line. I'm gonna go change my kit. Anastasia, make line. sure all your armor is repaired. You've got oh, outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a mount to oh, like a horse? I'm assuming. Yeah, you do. Alright, I just, just want to just line up here over. Get ready. You go grab some fucking more brews. Holy shit. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. I'm extremely worried about Hello. what's gonna happen. Hello. I got a shield in case I need to run. Spare armor. In case when I'm running, I need to change my armor. Mm. Yeah, if people have pack leader bonus, try and remember who has it and who doesn't, in case we need to fight on the wall. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Apparently, I have my healing bruise. I have like focal chilies. I have. Um, a shield in case, armor in case, it's five <laughs> and like, and because if I get attacked point. while I'm running away, this armor will yeah, break, so I got spares just in case. Uh, I've got spare animals, I've got my extra wolf, which is shit, I've upgraded, and my uh, bear, which also needs to be upgraded. I actually do, this one. Thank you, my lady. This one? Alright, thank you. I don't usually worry about Samurai Bruce because I have two uh, hundred stamina. This one. One. It's a little okay, bit stronger yeah. and... Uh, no, I can take I'll take one just in case, but I usually don't worry about it. No, 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 no. You take the stronger one, Dan. Right. Right, 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 right. Put it that way. Let me just grab the shields off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah I won't fight. I will run you. real fast. Oh, fuck. I'll be fast. <laughs> I'll be faster than anything. Alright, you're good. I'll ride a bear. No oh, crossroads here. I'd take, take your other wolf if you have one. <laughs> yeah, there's a bucket on his head! I have a bear too, but no, I don't think we can use him. Alright. He has a bucket on his head! <laughs> it's Ned Kelly! Gonna be worrisome. Well, oh, Sam, is that you? How are you doing? Yeah. Give me a moment. Yeah, good. good, good. Definitely better than. If you good. don't have veggie cakes, oh, I have veggie cakes on my wall. I have spare veggie cakes also. I'm down at the end. I just realized she has her blue wolf. I gotta upgrade those. It's been a while since I've upgraded those. There's like 10 veggie cakes. <laughs> those are shields. 
I'm gonna refill my canteen before we head out. Hold on. Looks like I can do that. There you need go. Some? I am so nervous. Like, oh my god, I am so nervous. Like, fuck! Uh, I am so nervous for this. I shouldn't be, because I'm not gonna even gonna fight. I, I won't be involved in the fight at all, but yeah, I'm just so. Oh, I'm so nervous! Like, ka! <sighs> this is gonna be a very mm. <laughs> I'm ready when you are up. <sighs> Yeah, but so f I, this time I won't be falling. I will do what I did with Riley, and if my if my family does fall, I'll be running out the door. <laughs> Unlike um, last uh, time, I, I last season I actually wasn't out, so I kind of I I, gra I allowed myself to be permitted. But this character's a child. I ain't, I'm gonna run. <laughs> I, I'm gonna run real far. Do we have everyone here? Believe so. Hey. Don't know where I'll go yet, but <laughs> run to crossroads right. probably actually. Harold, do you know the way? Uh, but I, I, I will definitely I run. Do. My family's not awake, so my family right. wouldn't die. We but don't actually have a formal it, road, so we might have to go through the, the woods a bit. But uh, do fall, isn't which I doubt it. it. Very close to where we just fought most um, of us. And there's it's no just more right winter fell. I will go to the crossroads. Just, there is no bridge right now, but it's. Oh, it's a bright light. where the bridge would be. Or was it where that's it was? very bright light. Oh, oh, oh. Um, packed. Oh, watch Yeah, so that doesn't happen. I am so Oh, sorry. yeah, of course. Ah, <laughs> you proved your post. Rude. Uh, uh, Rob, do you want to make it? I'm not actually... I might not be able to I'm actually have to try. Wait, are you still not making it? Can you your sister? You yeah. probably no. can't, oh, but... I think... If it comes down to a wall, it'll be Dragonstone versus, like, Dragonstone and Winterfell versus Dorne and, uh, the yeah, Castro League. Yeah, we need to hit, man. I travel late. And we have yeah. dragons on You're our right, side, so I think we'd be good. You're alright. Not because he can't, because he's crossroads. Yeah. Oh, no, I was... <clears throat> oh, he's forming your own thing. Mm-hmm. And claim it for him, Rook. Yeah. Let's do it. I got it. There you go. Thank you. And I'll now shake his hand there. Uh... Try with Dawson. <laughs> right, <Yep>. Harold. <laughs> right. Hi. Right. So you know I'm gonna have headaches because of the village. Oh, uh, I'm so dude. nervous. I know if things go south, I can get away quite easily. And this wolf can take a beating. Because he's got 10,000 health. Actually, a bit over 10,000, actually. But I'm still fucking nervous. Give the village a wide berth, go to the right. <laughs> I don't have anything on me like uh, breeders or anything like that. I don't have my goat either. That's it. Um, back at the Winterfell. I made sure I didn't bring anything of importance. So if I if I did somehow fall, which I know for a fact I probably won't. Um, I do have uh, got it. So. But, yeah. For the uh, Hold. I'm just nervous. I believe we lost the Mormont. <laughs> I'll get him. And and uh, where's Rob? He's, you know he's kind of important. I think, was... <laughs> 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 I think he knows where he's going. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah he does, but okay. Uh, no, those are them. There he is, yeah. So just wait. How's everyone? Hold on. Alright, let's keep going. This big cape now, Venus. It's new. It's thick <laughs> here, so just uh, try to stick together. It's hard to get through here. I'll try to. Oh, we have a new. We have a new cape. Yeah, we do. It's a lot bigger. I'll show you it when we uh, get. Right, cliff right there. Whee! Yep, found that. Now if we go to the right a little more, it should just be across. Uh, we'll just cross from here. Yeah, oh, let's cross from here. So, swim. In my eyes, none of the rocks are here right now, so... I'm just gonna follow you guys. <laughs> she just got full on. She's like, boing. It is, uh, yeah, so we're early. Let's get that tent set up then, if we're early. Is this wow. where it is? Maybe a location has been picked. Across the bridge, let me, uh, let's do some scouting around. Oh. See, I'd imagine it would be on the cliff, not on the beach itself. They said the beach, from what I know. I'm stuck. Let's wait. I, I don't think there is a set spot yet, Rob. I think it's meant to be on the beach. I see the dragon. There's a dragon. Yeah, so let's go back to the beach. Come on. Yep, yep, there's the dragon. Back to the beach. Oh my, Lady Mandalay. Woo! Whee! Here. Get lined up. Yeah, I line up on me. Orderly fashion. So I'm start chopping some trees down so we can get a tent. Oh yeah, we gotta make the uh... PA table. Get one of them. Just line up your cat so I can put in a nice line. Hello, you Grace. Cast down. Hello, Lord Harold. How are you? Hi. I'm trying to, I'm trying to kneel, but it's not letting me for my... some reason. Look at me. Oh, Mine shit. compared to yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Where did you get that? How the muscles can be, yes. Uh, yeah, 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 well. Hello, you Grace. Oh. You, you can share nice in a chair. Yeah. How are you? Uh, ah, I good, good. good. Are you okay if we set up the tent? Uh, we just have an men gather the supplies right now. Of course, go right ahead. I believe you have manners with us as well, the, the uh, stand. Yeah. I love that little one. Look at that little dragon, you know. it's so cute! And he's doing better though. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, yes, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you were injured? I didn't oh, hear about Chris. that. How you doing? I'm well, how are you? In pain, but doing better. You're attacked by bandits or wildlings, that we don't know which. Uh, I heard there were stone crows. Would have come to, uh, to see you. Stone crows? Was that <laughs> yeah, I just woke up a little while ago. Decided to stay with them. I'm glad to have you. Uh, I'm a bit away. Greetings. Really? This, what is this? Further away. Dragons. Alright. Greetings all. Hello, you Grace. Good to see you. Hello. Hello. Let's get some uh, see, foundations uh, down so it's not so wishy washy on the ground. Just put some along here. Get some, if this uh, is where the tent is going to be, we should probably move the animals. No. We not? We'll, put no. It, we'll put it right here. Flat right it's here. just flatter. Yeah. yeah, put, it, yeah put, put foundations it down so we can put the. It'll just look nice. We get some set ones. Uh, so someone make a settler bed. I'll fucking do it. Hold on. 
I'm like really scared to move and talk. I'm just like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, this is so nerve wracking. This is so nerve wracking. Oh, I just realized I'm not even showing online. There you go. That would explain a lot. <sighs> oh. Do you unlock it? Uh, I'm so worried! Oh, I don't think oh, you had to. I think you still can. Oh, no. We, no, we can't. Let's just put yeah. it. We'll put our own down. I got. I just made one, so. We got it. We'll make you. Just make foundations in there, we'll make the tent. Where's that? Let's go hide. Caster and Dorn haven't showed up yet. We have hide. Where's Castle and Dorn? I can't wear armor right now. Ah, alright, very well. I got my revenge. The armor looks great on your Lady Mandalay. Thank you. I'm worried. Did it first. I don't see any. All right. Clear these rocks right here. Clear them out. Grab a pickaxe. Use them. Or an axe. I don't see. I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm guess what? You can watch the fight from your house. Why are you in cloth? Move the wolves back more. <laughs> you can watch the fight from your house. Uh, that I, I can see your house from here. Hi. You're fine. <laughs> Far down the line. Uh, would it be better to move our cats to the shoreline instead over here? Yeah, I, I think so. Yes, do that. Cats. Uh, let them put their backs to the water. Oh, Storm, let me move you. We'll do the same. Line the cats up facing the land with the backs on the, the river. Cats? Wolves. Insulting the poor wolves like that. They are beautiful, unique cats. You know I didn't mean it, for fuck's sake. Over here. Lord Stark. Caster, you better here. do. Your grace. Them. They don't, don't have to be so far into the water, you can bring them out a bit. <laughs> I like to get the paws wet. <laughs> well, it just looks You're fine, now. nothing's bring happened yet. Though I am absolutely uh, terrified. Make sure none of them wander over your like, storm tide. Absolutely petrified. I'm terrified <laughs> about what's going to happen today. Casterly is here. Uh, where's Dorn? Out of character, I know oh, Dawn's gonna oh, be here. My bad, bro. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Just made a man vanish. My legs was about to vanish. God, this not being um, center kills me. <laughs> uh, Dawn's here. Look, you know, like, maybe I should have an hour earlier and made a whole mansion. Dawn's here. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm fucking with you. Why is Dawn here? They're, be they're behind the tent. I can see them on cats. I thought it was cast early, but they're the spotty cats. Hello. Hello, good to see Line you. up on me. How are you doing? It's Lexi. Uh, doing well. Got a raven from uh, Prince Lance. You don't need shields out, by the way. They did? Yeah, I think more just a 
said they wanted us to witness people. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have an issue with you being here, but I wish I'd been told. Yeah, I, I right. just got the raven. No, I understand. It's not your fault. I don't speak with Lannisters about it. Yeah, we're not all gonna be in there. I'll just you know, sit in there if uh, if you feel see it fit. If not, you know, stay outside. I don't have an issue with it coming in at all. Perfect. It's not like this is gonna be some secret if we've got like two thirds of the realm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have a problem. Um, I just wish I would have known. Uh, Agreed. Oh, it's a wild. Well, uh, welcome. Dude, why don't we yeah, we'll get in the tent and get out of this rain? There's gonna be a lot of people in here, but. I should probably. If we don't all get in the way, now that I'm picking up, he's gonna be building a table in there. Yeah, sorry, Grace. You mean if you wanna come under here, under this? Bit? There's people uh, passing by us. Right. Not that worried about rain. Over there, on the other side of the beach. Hey, it's Casterly. It's your dinner. Might be Casterly in the scene. Hello? It, it, it really stood for something in the realm. Do you know? Dude, it was actually oh, you want to park here, actually? Yeah, yeah we can. Mine! I believe Casterly just went by us on the beach over there. He's, uh, I believe, rode by. Of course. Where is everyone? You're rushing for the week. Yeah. Make good use of it. Got sliced in the gut uh, yesterday. No, standard or wild. I need some more wood. Oh, perfect. So I'll get some more wood. How you doing, King Lancer? Doing good? Doing good? I'm doing peachy mm. today, yes, yes. Well, we'll cover soon. Hello. Oh, hello, King Aegon. Greetings. Keep a bit early, well. just in case. What seems you're already prepared for. Uh, yes, I think everyone was a bit early. I overestimated how far it was. Actually. Someone make some fires as well, put them on the sides. So oh, it's so loud. Holy. <laughs> I just start bringing tools. Uh, like, not disrespectful way. Yeah. yeah, not disrespectful way. I mean, like, you No, yeah, you're, you're... like, oh, by the seven. <laughs> <laughs> Snow, go help make some campfires. You have a pickaxe. How is things in Castor Rock today? Of course. <sighs> What's you better than bandits? Causing a bit of a ruckus, but that will now. Bandits. Glad you yes. uh, told me about this cape, it looks you, cool. Uh, you like to to the wall now. Yes, it's Apparently they got bold. Covers the whole back. They were cut down by some of the soldiers and my nephews. That's good. Um, I've been informed that you invited the Prince Alexei here to witness a meeting. Yes, he was a part of the battle. I figured it would be fair for him to come. I would have liked to have been informed about that. I, I don't know. Me too. But... Well, I apologize, but I think it would not be an issue. Oh, yes, as I said. It's, it's normal for witnesses to show up to a crown of counters like this. I think it'd be fine. Apologies. This is also a historical moment, the day that the North and the West make peace. <laughs> I see no problem with having, you know, <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, yes, as I said, I I don't mind. They're welcome to to be here. I just would have liked oh, to know. Oh, perfect. Them. Is all. Yes, of course. Well, then, from King Aegon, I'll uh, try to inform you uh, ahead of time. Apologies. No, so no, I not, not campfires. Fireplaces. Of course, thank you. What are you trying to <laughs> set the, issue, my friend? the tent on fire? No, well, exactly. <laughs> fireplaces. <laughs> We're just setting up tables and things inside now. Um, I see. Should I? Should I be worried? Yeah. Are you trying to Is everything safe in there? Is it better? <laughs> yeah, he gave me yeah. primitive... Say, should oh, I buy it there? Or what's going on? Fire, do we need some water? Go. Oh god. Right do we beach, need to get buckets? So we can get water if we need it. Man, yeah. man. You're trying to have a hot box? Or what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. I killed the rats. Wasn't it already dead? I killed that. No, there's multiple of them. Oh, really? Okay. Use a Willow, go run and right kill all here. the rats. Make sure none get in the tent. Hmm? Alright. What are you doing with the four I'm rats? over here behind you. Oh. How are you? Doing alright. Yourself? I've got stairs. Oh, 
Oh, Not bad. What have you been up to? Where's the stones? Veggie cakes, buckles, protecting the Pleasure railroad tree in Westerlands. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Uh, yeah, my yeah. I still phone. need to come over and have a look. <laughs> Hopefully, if things get settled today, I'd love to have you over. First thing. Princess. Oh, Prince. Yeah. How's it looking? What's around it? What have you put around it? It's looking good. I got uh, all the both. relics nice of the children in the forest. I'm glad to see that. I hope you're um, I have that around it. Oh. You have flowers, no. fountain. Oh, okay. It's a very oh, beautiful no. setup. Oh, okay. Not as beautiful as the one at Winterfell. Get out that way. Uh, that way. Uh, I'd say it does it justice. Go, 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 go. I hope this day is uh, grand and right. Hopefully peace can come. Not near the dragons. Great. Ah, now you do you visit it every day? Twice. What's up? Perfect. Sleep. No, I was talking to a herald. He's talking about some blood, uh, blood letting for the tree. I haven't nice. really grown the stomach for, but yeah. should try getting it. Look, look at flowers, <laughs> flowers. Lord Titus. Oh. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, so you gotta place them at least. Oh, that makes me happy. You can't, you can't do uh, that. Well, uh, do, you do you have interest I in doing that well. contract? That I'm glad you brought some of the north back so many years ago. I do. This I spoke with uh, your son. This way, about uh, a few uh, few yeah, okay. been um, quite ago. To me. That's all I'm so, saying. Uh, I would like to bring yeah, you. Has anyone people. else been in it but you? There you go. Oh, I've introduced a few of the younger ones. Um, their, their parents, like, are quite aware oh, 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 about most people man. in the Western. Oh. Oh, okay. No, this is good. Put in the it's teachings here and there yes. when I can. Um, I told them of the giants and of the northern spirits. So I think that's been. Keeping the tree standing, the fear of giants. <laughs> of Aye. course. It's good to, to know that the, that the younger generation well. is taught about the old gods. Well done. Yes. Yeah. Rob, if, you, if I may. King Lannister. Since today, we are trying to make peace, maybe shake hands. Good. Uh, King Pissy and whatnot. Show good faith. In the to come. You look more Very well. esteemed since the last time we met. Uh, I suppose wealth and the Roger family has been treated you well. No, I can't do it. I, I can't drink the potion. It's good to hear. So wow, you're right. really what? going all out. Oh, oh yeah, shit. All right. Good. Oh, well, okay. There are what a lot of voices, that? so hearing you is a little bit difficult. Let's go. Yeah. With we'll this conversation, we come to an accord, King Lannister. Yes. Yes. I cannot wait to hopefully uh, come to one. Peace is needed, and after that, I think we need to do the supply run between everyone. Get everyone equated with some gold goodies. We shall see. We shall see. Yes. Well, I love the tint is ready or not. It's it's ready. I mean, we on the start. Are we good? We'll do. Very well. No, I'm gonna stay out here. Hello. Hello. Yes. Rain, Lexi. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I know it's not. It's coming in. It's good to see you all. How are you? Okay. Looks like our late Lannister's here too. How are you? Are we going for the like dramatic? Yeah, let's do that. Um, or uh, uh, oh, that's okay. so many people. Well, Hold enough. on. No, it's uh, only two. Uh, yeah, yeah, two oh, from oh, each kingdom. God. Honestly, nothing. Indeed. Good. Unlock the door. <laughs> Let me unlock this. Yeah, good. Could you unlock it? We can have Damien door. and Hader. Yeah, it's unlocked. Just you and you. So just us two, actually. It's just us two. Oh, you meet for uh, Close it. Find. There you maybe go. Thank you. Oh, you all went there. Go oh, about wait. maybe craft some uh, rudimentary chairs to sit in. Yes, I did. Sorry. Hold on. By all means. Uh, yeah. All right. Demon. Nope, you're right. Would probably be oh, better. before we begin, I benches and chairs and I am going to hand these out. Uh, for the sake of organization and keeping things on track with the conversation, uh, essentially I've written out the entire framework for the stance that House of Lattice will be providing. I, I fuck this table here. I'll be giving one to each of you. Uh, you can look over it on your own time, but I will be providing the briefest uh, pamphlet. Uh, how would you call it, a TLDR that I can for the sake of uh, just being a constructive Not argument. even in here. Uh, oh, is that one empty? Wait, hold on. No, no shot that's empty. I went it's over all of them. Doc. What is that? What? Look at it. Look at it. I, I, I'm telling you to look at it. Yes. Um, I, I tried to write it all in these journals. It did not fit. 
Right, right. Uh, so I convened with the gods that this was uh, the conclusion we came to. How about rather than me opening this, you just bring them up? In the that, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's exactly what I'm going also. to do. Uh, yeah, so that's for that. you to follow along. I can follow along. Yeah, listen. Yes, uh, it's... <laughs> well... Uh, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me quickly put up my mind. Alright, and also, uh, this goes without saying, but for the sake of uh, constructive and friendly conversation, uh, I, you don't cut me off when I speak, I don't cut you guys off. We'll each have our own time to speak, and we can just be friendly about it. I think that's fair. Do you all agree? Hi. Uh, it's not me who you need to be saying that to, is it? I am. Um, we don't need let you to throw speak. a pity. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Head, head. <laughs> and here it starts. Yep, sorry. My, the head, it, you were quiet for a long, it's fine. Continue. <laughs> I agree anyways. All right, good. Now, uh, we could go over the terms behind the war, the terms behind everything, but instead we're just going to get straight into what we want and why. So, without further ado, we'll be getting on to the first point. Oh boy! Uh, the original conversation that we had regarding what we wanted and the amount was a financial compensation. As you understand, uh, Grief and trauma is something that affects any veteran of war. And according to the maces I've spoken to, around 80% of the veterans from this war will be if, if inflicted or impacted in some way, shape, or form of a term they coined post traumatic stress disorder. Uh, So as a result of it, they dealt with the loss of a loved one, um, if just they were injured in war, we provided financial compensation for those people. As such, the amount of financial comp uh, the, the amount of finance that we have given out to these families is an amount of 5,000 gold. As such, we request the 5,000 gold as a reimbursement so we can continue to uphold these sustaining pr programs for our people. I think this is suitable enough. Um, the second point will be weapons themselves. There's been talk around the realm of your desire to return back to war, Rob Stark. Um, some men that I've, that I trust, have informed me that some men from other kingdoms were speaking of your desire to return to war. As such, as a result of it, to ensure that you do not return to war with the West and that peace can be maintained, we were requesting 40 bows from your finest craftsmen. And the third point, uh, to ensure that peace does not break out yet again, to uh, a problem that persisted between the North and the West was that of a lack of understanding between each other's culture. Uh, Poole's war started because of a lack of understanding of the importance of uh, the kingly role within the West. That, that, is the, 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 that, that was why it started. That's why the entire ordeal broke out. So, as a result of it, we need to understand each other's culture better. We need a deeper understanding of it. Both the West needs to know more of the North, and the North needs to know more of the West. Of that, I will just say outright. So, I propose one of two ideas. We can convene on which idea that we wish to uphold, and which we wish to follow through with, and we can come to a conclusion on it. The first idea, a Stark ward will come to Castle Rock. Uh, one of your family members will arrive at the Rock, and they will ward for a period of one week. They will learn of the West culture and traditions, and they will take those lessons back with them to Winterfell, and they can share them with your people. Uh, Lauren Lannister, he has, uh, he once warded in the North, and he brought back with him a vast piece of your culture. He brought back with him a godswood tree. He brought back with him the teachings of your old gods. These were not lost on the people here. We are understanding and accepting, which is why he can keep and maintain his tree within the, within the West. He teaches us of his culture. So we understand the North, but you don't know much of us. This ward will come to the Westerlands, will come to Castle Rock, will teach and will learn of our culture, and they will teach us in return of any culture that we that Lauren may miss out on, that he may not have told us of. They will come, 
and they will teach us, and we will teach them, and it will be peaceful. That is option one. Option two, I understand Harold Stark is your, uh, the, the closest thing to a hand of the king in the north. I don't know the official terminology for it. I am a hand of the king of the west. So, for a two-day period, myself and Harold Stark will switch positions. I will serve as hand of the lord in Winterfell, and Harold Stark will serve as hand of the king in the west for a two-day period. And because of this, we will develop a deep understanding of the interpolitics of each other's kingdoms. We will understand the culture even further. We'll immerse ourselves within it. And us, myself and you, Harold, two people within this astute position, a very privileged position, can learn more of each other. Learn more of what our roles require of one another. So we can then bring it back to home. And we can ensure that war and it never breaks out and that peace is upheld these are our three terms i find them to be extremely extremely favorable for both sides and i find that the realm will prosper that's what we all want we all want the realm to prosper as a result of it so these are our terms mm. i will also say i realize my first terms may have been a bit cruel that is why it's been dropped. They're plotting. They're sorry, plotting something. I believe that is uh, why we're Don't know that. what, but they are. If I may. Aye. Uh, so let's go over that. 5,000 gold isn't down to ages, though. It's uh, definitely not what we were hoping for. That can be paid over a period of time, Thanks, by the way, could I not speak? instantly. Yeah, I understand. We did I come to an accord. You, no one is to speak till we're done speaking, so I have to speak. Just, I wrote down your points so I could answer them after. Just, let's do that. I hear you said that he has a tree in the west. I've heard about this. He's told me much of it. And he also tells me that every day he fights for it not to be burnt down by your people. Not that it matters. I mean, you don't need our customs there, but... It's really up to you. But I'm not sure you truly do know much of our culture. If you did, you wouldn't have done what you did in the war. Placing bear traps on my uncle's grave on our sacred gods would... would it, it would have been as if we went to there and burned on a sept. Second thing. Do you not think we had to pay the families of those who we lost? We lost just as much in our war, if not you true. Our keeps weren't assaulted. Not uh, successfully. But that's not to say we didn't lose any men, if not more, than you. Aye. You. you. Sorry? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to speak. Keep going. Aye. Usually, if someone came up to me asking me about my culture, I would uh, be honoured to teach them. I truly would. The old gods are great. They should be teached, taught. Everyone should know their histories. But I find it hard to, t to teach any of your people about my culture. After what Harold said, what you did to my godswood, my uncle Benjamin's grave. And then... Your son puts a god's wood in your lands, and then your people threaten to burn it down. How can I come to an accord of you teaching, you learning my culture after such things? Like Harold said, what happened to that god's wood is big. It's as big as us burning down a set. That's how much it matters. Let's move on to the gold. 5,000 is too much. Regardless of if we pay weekly, it's too much. Like Harold said, we lost in that war too. Yet here we are speaking of demands that will benefit you and not us at all. We lost more than you. I was a king. I am no longer a king. I lost far more than you could ever lose in that war. I lost as many men as many families. 
I had houses who broke the roofs because of what happened. Lady Mormont, she was killed for breaking a rope because she did not like what I did. I had to put down some of my own because of what happened. I have lost more than you will ever. There is no question about it. 5,000 is too much. Far too much. The bows. Your men last summer were some of the greatest archers in the realm. At the siege of the Bane Fort, you rained fire on everyone with those bows. Now I find myself in the hands of those bows, and I choose and decide who has them. Just was having some anger. The fact you want my bows just to make sure I don't go to war with you is crazy to me. Those bows are in my hands. I was willing to talk to you about trade with them, but you never responded. Harsh. I will not give you a single bow. That's the end of the conversation. <clears throat> if I may. Uh, forgive me for those who don't know me. I'm Rain Rogar. Uh, I am on the small council to King Aegon. It seems, Lord Tyus, uh, King Lannister, that your family has requested an amount of gold that neither side would be willing to give. Lord Stark, we're not here to discuss who was right and who was wrong. But here, we're here to make amends to the situation at hand. Lord Titus, we're willing to negotiate within reasonable terms to make sure neither side leaves this meeting with more distaste for each other than they already have. We do have an offer prepared for you, if you'd like to hear it. Indeed, let's hear it. The North is prepared to, pr to pay 2,500 gold, 30 bows and reparations to the Great House Lannister. That is nearly a week's worth of gold production, in which was the duration of the war. The 30 bows will outfit your highest standard soldiers, and would be able to defend a keep. The market is within a few days' time, and let's not waste everyone's time with crafting more and more bows, as you'll be able to just purchase them within the next market. Is this your offer? This is. It is a sizable offer, in truth. Uh, the bows, the 30 bows, I can agree to. I can agree to the 30 bows, it's no problem. Did he just... I spent hours working. It's whatever. It's alright. So, the bows I can agree to. 30 bows seems suitable enough. The gold, however, I'd like to reiterate the point of the fact that the programs within the West are. they're important to our people. Uh, if you read over the pamphlet, there's an entire study done on the effects of what war does to the mind and how important it is to uphold these programs within each of their kingdoms. 2,500 is a sizable amount, but to ensure that the Lannisters do not lose uh, the profits on these, on these progressive systems, we spent five years, and in the five years' time, we spent 5,000 gold. We're only asking for that back. However, I understand the 2,500. As such, we will be willing to drop down to 4,000. 4,000 gold is what we're willing to agree on. And I would like to talk about the whole no culture understanding thing. I understand your brother has just ruined the entire pamphlet, Rob, but inside the pamphlet, uh, I recommend you read over it. Essentially, the claims you throw towards House Lannister about your god's work and everything, they're not true. We have respect for your culture. No one in the West threatens to burn down the god's word within the West. We, we understand your culture, and I don't want to talk about it non-stop, but I want to at least speak on that point, that we, we're not, we have respect for it. We're, we're not burning anything down. We didn't place any bear traps within your god's word. There's evidence within the pamphlet that proves as such. So that, uh, that's my counter offer. 30 bows, uh, we'll speak further on the wall, but 4,000 gold. We can go no lower than 4,000.
Actions speak louder than words. I know what you did to my gods would. If I may, as well, the pan flute has the evidence you need. If you look at it, you will find out who did it to you, and you will see there was none of the West. When I said I would give you justice, I meant it. I do not see the reason to forsake gods, especially in wartime, as they are what we usually have only of, and what we can pray to. Hey, will you set these down? If you take a look, you will see. Harold, what does it say? Down here in the water. The proof? Hold on. You want a closer? I one? can read it if you'd like. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> uh, I'll start from the beginning of the, the section. Of course, this cannot be said without addressing the claims of against House Lannister. The only critique Rob Stark has put forth of the West's defensive plan was the claim that Lannister soldiers placed bear traps within the godswood of Winterfell. Of this, House Lannister denies all claims of such, neither not House Winterfell. Lannister nor... Not hmm. Winterfell. Uh, was it in a different godswood? It was. <laughs> There's another? It doesn't change the point of the pamphlet. Shut up! Ever. Oh my god, dog. Continuing. Neither House Lannister nor any affiliated house in the West are the culprits of this, but instead provides the name and house of the culprit. A woman came to Casterly Rock claiming to be from Winterfell. She sounded a sussy. And Manor reflected it as well when, she, when the first thing that came out of her mouth was that she wanted Robb Stark dead. Battle for Casterly Rock had long passed by now, and neither side were allowed in the opposition's lands by this point. Yet all the same, she came to me in confidence that I would allow her revenge against the king who had killed her husband. I turned her away almost immediately. But as she rode off, she told me her husband was buried in the godswood, but she would never allow Rob Stark to pay his respects to the man he killed. She told me she placed a bear trap, waiting for the king in the north, but as I doubted her word, sounding more mad than a rabid dog, I ensured she left the west taking any thought of the war uh, warmongering with her. After years of investigation, it seems this woman was telling the truth. She placed a bear trap on the grave of Lord Glover in an attempt to take Robb Stark's life. The woman's name husband. was... You think she placed a bear trap on her own husband's grave? <clears throat> the woman's name was Elena, Elena Glover, Lord Glover's wife. Lannister men and soldiers were not the culprits of desecrating this, the sanctity of the old gods, and any further claims that they were not that they were are hearsay. Five years ago, Elena Glover admitted to the crime. House Lannister is innocent of all charges in this regard. End. Now speak. Go ahead. It's funny to me. Damn, you gotta stop pulling it so quick. Because why would someone's uh, own wife place a bear trap on their own husband's grave? I'm gonna be honest to you, I've seen her once. It's as quiet as I can talk. She woke up once, probably. But I doubt she would put a, a bear trap on her own husband's if I grave. May, uh, speak on the the evidence. Speak her often. And return to the rest of the party. Though. Wait, the evidence regarding it was Lannister's was. Your men were seen scouting and terrorizing my people non-stop. They would place bear traps outside of the farm and the breeding barn and yell for them to come outside for them to get trapped. Your men also were seen all around my roads and on my snow mountain where the bear trap was placed. Every time Lannister scouts were seen, bear traps followed. These bear traps led all the way up. It wasn't just one. If I, I don't recall... Well. I go. No, you speak. She... I knew her. I did know her. Well, to a decent degree, when she did wake up, we spoke much. She was devout in her beliefs to a good degree. That is something I can promise you... Lady Glover would never have done was place a bear trap 
in the godswood. In her own husband's grave, for that matter. That very notion that lies insulting in itself. Lord Titus? Yes. The evidence you, well, quote unquote, evidence you provided for it being Lannister men is nothing but testimonial. It's circumstantial evidence at best, and you cannot draw a definitive conclusion towards Lannister men being reported placing bear traps in your lands and a bear trap appearing in your godswood. You have no evidence of this. I've not come to debate if the godswood incident was Lannister men or not. I'm telling you that we have somebody who confessed to the crime, that we have someone who admitted to it, and you're refusing to acknowledge it. The evidence mm -hmm. is there. You've no evidence that it was Lannister men that did it in the first place. So why are you refusing to acknowledge what has happened? Because it's not the truth. And I would vow, here and now, hand placed on a god's wood, that your men placed that trap. And Rob, let's say, I mean... It's preposterous. If she would place a bear trap on her own husband's grave, and how can we say that your confession is true that you got? If, if it's all hearsay that we say, how can we believe you? If you won't believe us, why should we believe you? Did someone confess in your own keep that they did the crime? <sighs> I believe, who knows, maybe this is rumours, but my sister told me that somebody came to our barn. I can't remember their last name. Maybe it was under a raven and find out. And told her that the Bane Forts are the ones placing the bear traps, and that's why we think it's them. We've told a name, and we've seen the Bane Forts in our land. So we connected the dots, as any rational men would. We had multiple people come up to us and tell us it was the Bane Forts. And if you Every time this, I questioned the Bane Forts, they never denied it, not once. They laughed did in you... my face. If I can, Rob, did you not say it was Wild Wings at first? first. If you knew that it was someone in the north, it would have been far more beneficial for you to say it was your own men who put that bear trap. But you said it was wild at first. Then, the second meeting we had, I asked you the same question, and you said you would find out by asking your own men. You never asked the ending of it. If you'd like the end of the result, I can give it to you now. No one confessed to the crime. I punish all of my soldiers? Oh, headache. Apologies. Yes. Uh, I thought you would finish. Apologies, continue. So go ahead. Oh. I was saying, um, where was I? But, bloody hell. <sighs> oh, yes, the result. No one confessed to the crime. I cannot act. If I don't know who it is, do you want me to head through my whole army and punish all of them? When only one Your is, head. or two is guilty. I cannot punish who I do not know. You ask me for things that I will give you if I knew who the culprit was. But I cannot give that to you. You say it's a man of the West. We've give said me a the name. Bainforts. Bainforts. There's no evidence for the Bainforts. They were barely awake. They only lo uh, woke up fights. Barely. Bane was around, but he was always a personal god. I knew where they were. Well, I've seen plenty of the Bane forts, and I, you know, I don't even live in the West. <clears throat> I have a question. Lord Stark, this oh, godswood, yeah. is this the one on the mountain? Aye. That you're speaking of? The the one where the wildling encampment was set up? It was not set up on the. It was not set up on the gods, but it's, it was lower on the mountain. He was protecting it. All the meanwhile, on the path up to the gods, but then yes. Yeah. I... This was after the bear trap. Uh, he put that encampment up. I'm doing my best to uh, stay on neutral ground here, but I do have to ask: if a bear trap 
uh, was set up after the Lannisters had, uh, or well, a wildling encampment was set up after the the Lannisters had supposedly bear trapped your mountain or your godswood and the path leading up to it. Why let wildlings build around it? And yet uh, again, why let dragon fire and our soldiers tear it apart with the risk of destroying the godswood? If it wasn't for your sister and your brother, we would have torn that tree down. We had no clue. I, I did not know of that. Dragons at what? I could uh, speak on this, Rob. Go. I was only there for the end of it, but uh, my impression, and we were very clear about this, that you would not even go near the gods and touch it. Am I wrong, Aegon? And this is something you agreed to. It's something you followed. Indeed, the uh, uh, wilding camp so. was down the road from the godswood and we didn't go near it. The reason uh, the wildling was up there, he was protecting the godswood. After uh, what you did to it. You see, the wildlings, they follow the old gods even more strictly than we do. They let us in every day. The boy did. He was a, he was a, a wildling. Uh, it was only let one. Let us up there. Only one. Let us up there to visit my... uncle's grave. Anyone who wanted to pray in the north could go. If I may give a rebuttal to that. Go ahead. You say you, Tomit, as if you know me and my brother are guilty of knowing anything of this. I have no idea. As I said, I do not condone sanctioning gods unless it is needed. The old gods have been here for thousands of years. They are just as good as the seven. As clear. I I just can't you? believe you on that full heartedly. When all I hear well, is your men are trying to burn down Godswoods and their well, I may. too. I'm still not finished, if I may. From your own son. Your brother's son, excuse me. Which, I'm sorry, who? You're talking about Lauren? Yes, the one who runs the Godswood. He's put it in the ground. And what did you say before it? You were interrupting me. I couldn't hear your apologies. All right, just go on. No, we're on your topic. I'm curious. Please let me know. I will give you an answer. Your own if you're son. You're curious. You, you, excuse me. Your nephew told me that your men threatened to burn down the godswood or rip it down every day almost. But so how they? can I wholeheartedly believe you that you know nothing of this? No, they haven't yet. Because he says the only reason they haven't is because he's protecting it. Because we are. We see the reasoning before it, and that's the reason Him. why we want to get our cultures together, so we can understand. It's the whole reasoning behind this. We want peace just as much as you. We have lost just as much as you as well. My hands are covered in the blood of my friends and family members, just as much as enemies. As a fucking mine. Exactly. Then why don't we settle for peace here and now? You we don't, don't see that this bloodshed is need not needed. When we are talking, died. King Lannister. We are but talking. You interrupted me. When my uncle died, he died for a good cause. He fell dead. In our kitchen. After he prayed for death as sacrifice to the godswood. Now you may think it insane, but bring Lauren in here, and he will tell you the truth. That the old gods are as real as us. They came to Winterfell, they laid siege to it, and they demanded sacrifice, disrespect. I, the rest I, of this realm should know of this culture, that we should share it, and spread Of the course word. we know that. This culture used to be in every land, King Lannister. I had to bleed my uncle on the godswood as his custom. So do not tell me your hands are covered in blood. More than me. All of our hands are covered in fucking blood. We've not come here to speak about who has more blood on their hands, who has lost more. I cannot right the wrongs of the past. What's happened has happened. We cannot change that. You think you say you know who did it, I say another. Until we come to a more fundamental agreement with one another, that we understand each other better, we cannot have this dialogue. We'll get nowhere if we do it. As such, 
I can do nothing but give you my word that the Lannister men were not behind it. And if it wasn't Lady Glover, like she testimonied to me, you and I, Rob Stark, you and I, Harold Stark, we will get to the bottom of it. But we cannot do that when we're at each other's throats. We cannot do that so long as we continue to let the wrongs of the past, whomever wronged you, get in the way of peace. We understand your concerns, we understand your qualms, your quarrel. But we cannot fix what has already been done. We've placed our terms out for you. These are agreeable terms. Everyone here will agree. And yes, you've lost. Agreeable terms you, you for you. claim you've lost more than we have. That is a valid claim to make. The pamphlet covers it, but for fear that this will down spiral into another hour of conversation of not of disagreeing with each other on a fundamental level, I'm not going to get into it. I understand you believe you've lost more than the West. However, you have an obligation to uphold the peace. That is your obligation. That is your obligation for all of us here. If you want more from the West, we need to come to a deeper understanding of each other. These ideas I present to you, a ward, a Stark ward coming to cast to the rock, uh, myself and Harold Stark switching positions, these are all achievable. These are all sustainable. This is the way. Of that I promise you. Lord Titus. Uh, I'm going to ask a question that I believe I know the answer to, but... Are there any witnesses uh, to attest you speaking with this uh, Elena Glover? There was one. In the pamphlet, it says you turned her away immediately. But uh, Apologies for cutting you off. Uh, there no, is one. The former Master of Whispers of Casterly Rock. I believe she returned to Essos. Uh, her name also escapes me, unfortunately, old age. Uh, who who was that? Who who was the uh, the SOC woman from last time? Yeah, summer? she's she's long gone though, so we can't get anything from her. So she's useless. Simply in this. I don't know. I could probably send a raven, try and get her to provide some testimony. If need Might be, take we a could. few days or so. I just don't. Do you know her name? Uh, Sani, I think maybe something along the lines. Maybe less. No. That that sounds right. But uh, we'll we'll get her name and we will call for her appearance there through Raven, and we can provide a testimony at a later date, once she arrives. I'm sure it won't be necessary, but thank you. I am curious. Aegon, what do you think of all this? About the bear trap in the godswood, I cannot say who has done that. As you said, I think it's best to have a joint investigation into it, so that eventually both sides can come to an agreement on who it is that's done this, figure it out. Um, I think that, uh, what was the, the offer you put forth? 4,000 gold and how many bows have you said? 4,000 gold, 30 bows, like Rain suggested, and then either a Stark Ward comes to cast to the rock, or myself and uh, comes to cast to the rock for a week, and then, uh, or either myself and Harold Stark swap positions for two days. Uh, that last one is for a deeper understanding of culture, so that way conflicts like these do not arise in the future. I think that is reasonable. I think that a Endeavor to teach each other more about each other's cultures is a great thing. Even if you truly do believe that it was the Lannisters that placed this bear trap in the Godswood, why not help educate them, help show them why it is such a, a large thing, why it matters so much? Perhaps from Lannisters themselves, no, but a lot of their citizens might not. Ensure that it never okay. happens again. We educated this song as a ward for, what, 15 years? If that was not enough, what will be? Taking another ward over for a week certainly won't change anything. 
I personally see to it, saw to it, that that boy learned about the gold gods, about our culture, everything I could do. And still, they don't understand our culture, they never will. Southerners will never understand our culture. That is the way of it. I Certainly we like... can try, but Oops. Uh, I don't see anything good coming from it. <laughs> Never does. I understand what you're saying, that Prince Lorne does know quite a bit about your culture, I understand that, but he was not sent, he did not go to Castle Rock with the intention of teaching them about your culture. He went there just to live. Yes, perhaps he's taught them some, but he's not gone there for the specific purpose of teaching them. Someone going there specifically for that could do a lot more, I'm sure. You could take time to prepare, make sure you have all the knowledge written in books and things to give to people. It still doesn't sit right with me, letting them, even in our godswood, without knowing what exactly happened with that bear trap, was. Well, you don't let them in the godswood, just teach them about it. Sure, I mean, I can agree with that, I guess. When we talk about teaching them our culture, firstly, I'm against it. But I have no problem with people who wish to know more about the North's culture. If their citizens want to learn about it, then so be it. But, Aegon, I'm going to be very honest with you. I bent the knee to you for peace. And it brought peace for a time. The fact I'm here even thinking of giving them anything is ridiculous. They don't deserve anything from me. I bent for you for peace. But I'm here for the respect of you to speak on terms. In fact, I should be making my own terms, since I am the one who lost more from this war. Two wars in a row. It should be me making the terms. It's ridiculous that I'm not. May I rebuttal for a moment on this matter? Of course. Alexi. Prince, you were there when this worse war first started, maybe. Were you bore witness to when the Northerners showed up to my gate with an army? They did. Did they not attack first? When our backs were turned, me and my civilians and maesters and children in front of our gates, on the bears, did they not? The way that we saw it was that it did seem that the North did attack first. King Lannister, you know that I threatened you. If you said threat again, I would. I you did. May? You brought that I up on yourself. I am still still going. When you enter another death. man's land, you must uphold to their rules. You want us to understand your culture, isn't it? But under another's roof, you must respect that. Do you not understand? You are in my lands very aggressively with war drums and a whole army at my gate. I told you to go away and come back another day so that we may cool off and speak on cool heads. That is the story, of course. Everybody so else can disagree, but I am just showing my side of things to those. Aye. May I the aggression speak? was started from you. Do you agree? Did you no, not no, I don't. Even? <laughs> I don't. Then I, then I may ask you. Who attacked first in front of my keep? Was it one of me? One of my soldiers may pulling I... out their swords? No, but may I may I tell? No, what? I will. I'm just... Let me do my point and I'll let you. I'm what do you mean, no what? You. And then you're not going to let him speak? I'm you you to are going to let finish. me speak. What? What is this? Let him I'm not allowed to speak. No, go on ahead. He wants to be the king of this room. Let him. There's no si no reason for either side to get childish. Let King Lannister finish, and then Lord Stark, you may speak. Nothing else. Thank you. Nonetheless, those who swung swords was your soldiers first. 
That is what I'm getting at. Yes, words can be insulting. But you yourself insulted me, saying that are you going to let words get to you? Five minutes before you attacked me. Come and back up to Nanak. So now I'm well. trying to make peace the best I can. For two only on each side. But you attacked me and my people first. My men are wounded just as much as yours. Yes, you lost. But my soldiers were slaughtered just as much as yours. On the mountainside, you were there yourself at that battle, from what I hear. You killed one of my armies, were you not? You witnessed my soldiers running for their lives as their friends were slaughtered around them. You saw that yourself. You initiated that one as well. I am trying to make peace with you. And you say that you need to be making the demands, but you are the one who made aggressions. Do you not see that? After all these years? May I talk now? You may. I am finished. I had many Northerners. There were many around the realm present at what took place. I do recall Titus. I came to negotiate. You were out front. Me and you were talking. We were talking on level term. We not? Yes. We were talking. Nothing more. You woke up. And you said, what the fuck is this? You were then told me to come and talk to you around that corner, which I did. We were trying to talk. You would not let me speak once. I even said, King Lannister, let me speak. You said no. I said it again, let me speak. You wouldn't let me talk, King I know, Lannister. right? <sighs> you would not let me get a word in. So you walked away and said... If any northerner is seen on your lands, you'll oh, work them the to death. Off and... <laughs> then you went on happened. to mention ahead some pikes. So I said to you, threaten the north one more time, and my bears will rip you apart. With you full well knowing who was outside of your gate from your lands, from your kingdom. Who knew who was there? If you were smart, you would have told them to go inside, or you would have not said a word. Yeah. You, you, you shouted it. You said... You threatened us even more. So I made the command. That was your own fault. The fight at the Metal Mountain. We did not play the aggressors in that. Me and Tyler were talking. But I could see his men loading trebuchets with fire. None of mine were loaded. None of mine were loaded. Because we weren't there to fight. We were just prepared. While we were talking of peace, your men... We're prepping trebuchets to fire. And then your trebuchets fired first. So do not come to me and tell me of a fight you were not present in and tell me the facts. You were not there. I was. Your men started that fight. You have no idea because you weren't there. Then let me bring up the point. If you were a man of honour, you would not attack civilians or maesters in the front of keeps of their homes. No. I'm not. But you did. But everyone at the front of those gates had a shield and sword out with Lannister armor. If you no, put your civilians in armor, that's your own fault. They certainly if I may, this is besides Please. the point. This is besides the point. If we talk, we'll if we talk and if we argue non-stop about the fundamentals of the war that we will fundamentally disagree on, we'll get nowhere, we'll remain here for hours, and we'll only leave with tensions higher. I have no intent on doing any of that. I will not entertain this conversation further. Ultimately, it doesn't matter who the aggressors were in the war. You lost. You lost the war. Not and You bent the knee, not of your love for Aegon Targaryen, but you bent the knee out of your desperation to protect your family. If you didn't bend the knee, we, could, we would still be at war. That fact is irrefutable. As such, because we would still be at war, you are deemed the aggressor of this war. And the aggressors of this war lost. Now, we are going to talk about reparations for the winning side of the war. The winning side of the war that's yet to receive anything. That is what we are here for. 4,000 gold, 30 bows, and deeper understanding of each other's culture. That is what we will discuss. We're not discussing anything else. Yes, you've lost. You've lost men, you've lost family, but you also lost the war. And guess what? Whenever you lose a war, 
you lose men. You lose family. Especially whenever you lose a war that you started in the first place. Now, Aegon Targaryen, King Aegon. Are these terms acceptable for you? Okay, you're just gonna end it there. You're not gonna let us see them. We didn't lose the war to <clears throat> you. We lost to Aegon, and I bent to the king. For sake Lord of Titus. Peace. <clears throat> Lord Titus. You mentioned that uh, when you're in war, you lose men, you lose people. And your asking price for 5,000 gold is to pay off the. Uh, what is it you said? Uh, the attrition that happened to your men, to their minds and whatnot. 5,000 gold in order to repay that debt. Uh, no. What was that, not? The, no, the money, the money is a reimbursement for the social programs within the Westerland that we've already, like, paid for. It, it's essentially just, like, reimbursements. And 5,000 gold is what we spent over five years, which is why it's, like, 1,000 gold per year. Uh, but we are willing to discuss, like, drawing it further. But it's not the minds or anything like that, it's men, families who lost people, yes. Of course. Only the social programs. No, he will not. No. Is that not an outcome of war, though? I'm sure Lord Stark had to deal with repercussions and whatnot of his men having to deal with, having to ne kneel to King Aegon. Of course, that's not something that you need to worry about. But it is an outcome of war, and I think that uh, the asking price of 4000 is still a little high. Indeed, it is a part of war. Uh, Rain, how many wars have you seen or fought in? Fortunately, just one. Just this one? Yes. In war... The winning side reaps the benefits such are called the spoils of war. The war that we fought against the North, defending our home from the North, we have yet to receive or reap the spoils of war. These are constants throughout any society you go to, the Dothraki, any bravosi uh, cell swords that form a militia. Whenever they fight, all of these receive and reap spoils of war. That is what we are talking of. Yes, these uh, death happens, and we cannot give those lives back. Yet all the same, because House Lannister was on the winning side, we we are obl we are obligated uh, to receive the spoils of war. Of that you understand, yes? I do, yes. We are not asking for much. Just enough so that my soldiers may live their everyday lives without the trauma. That is it. And then the future that we may share drinks. And that this peace may spread to friendship, hopefully, deep down in that future. That we can achieve. But the only way to do it now is to come to an agreement here. I apologize to both of you. I was heated. I understand war is seen differently on both sides, and that's I... <coughs> I'm a man of quick thought on occasion, and I apologize for maybe offending any of you in the room, including my brother. Stark soldier over there. I, 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 I will also armor. apologize. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, uh, I was piggybacking off of that. I will also apologize for the words that I spoke. Uh, again, in the heat of the moment, or the words that are spoken and said, uh, not the words that reflect that of our hearts and our minds. So, for that, any words I may have spoken to you, I also apologize for. Lord Starks? If I could roll to start with something. I want to start first. Alright, go ahead. There'll be no more claims of you winning this war in this tent. Hey, God won the war. He got what he wanted. I bent the knee to him. You know what? I uh, let's just go to terms. Oh, I fuck, I don't know. Because they got nothing out of it, that's why. Much. I lost more than you. Therefore, I need my gold to help those families, help the men that are injured, and make sure they know if it's good this summer. Because Dragonstone won, like they didn't. Before, they w didn't get no anything bows. from it. You can get your own when market comes. 
His father is a ward. Everyone knows that when a Stark leaves the south for too long, they melt. Starks belong in Winterfell. There'll be no Stark leaving Winterfell. We're not asking you to leave Winterfell forever. Just so that we understand culture. For peace. Yeah, and that's why I, um... We are willing. The last is pushing to get something because they believe they deserved. Uh, they deserved the want. something when they didn't both didn't win the war. war. But they we keep saying they win the war. They won the war. They won the war. But they didn't. I understand that the price may be too high. And that bows may be not good enough. In which case, we can speak on it. But tell me how we are trying to find peace. Well, they're both in the wrong. Negotiate any higher, like, both the North and the Casterly is in the wrong. However, Casterly needs to stop saying they deserve stuff higher. when they didn't win the war. I have an, uh, a deal for you. They're greedy, that's <clears> the problem. Your original asking price for the bows, how many was it? The original asking point was 200 or 400. I think it was 200. Oh, I meant the beginning of this conversation. 50. 50. Oh. 50, yeah. And I had downsized it to 30. Precisely. The North will pay in reparations for 500 gold. Fifth, the original asking price of 50 bows and Lord Harold and Lord Titus will swap places for two days. Two days time to learn the culture of each other and then spread that so this doesn't happen again. 3,500 gold. It's 1,500 lower than your original asking point. But is 500 gold truly worth that to you? Lord Stark has already made it clear that he doesn't plan on budging. I think this is the best offer you're going to get. Yeah, I know. I think we're on the conclusion, brother. Indeed. House Lannister accepts your terms. Stark is gonna accept I'd but never don't... said I accept those terms. Don't accept it, Stark. King Aegon? I know it means war, but don't accept it. Lord Stark, when we spoke, you told me we would sit and discuss peace. We would come to terms. These terms are reasonable. Come to peace on terms that I agree to. King Aegon, you said. This. Is this terms you agree on? These terms are reasonable, yes. Do you agree on them? I Your do. Grace. I don't. I can't. Don't agree on them. What is it you do not agree upon? The gold. The bows. Hi. We shouldn't have to Lord, stop I am not, them. I am one of your people, am I not? Indeed you are, as I've said before. You accepting this deal will cripple the North. Crippling your own people. When I bent to you, I did it for peace. I did it to end the war, so no more bloodshed would come from it. And also because I respected you. The fact I am here, speaking of more things to conclude to this peace, isn't right. I got peace when I bent to you. It was a part of my own. I'm here talking to you out of respect. I'm willing to go to terms, but those terms I do not agree on. When you bent the knee to me, I said, you are now my citizens, you are now my people, we are one kingdom. If you truly think the North be crippled by this, the Dragonstone is here, I am here, we will ensure that both of our kingdoms get to this, our kingdom. 
gets through this safely and securely. You said that you have had issues with your people for the war. Of course, there's been many deaths, many things to I would be willing to expenses may after a war such as this. To the Lannisters for the weak. I don't want to approach the things as, you know, your guards are ahead. So uh, yeah, one King can, can help each other. Can I add one thing as well uh, to this? Hold, to sweeten the hold pot. I didn't hear the last half of what he said. There's somebody talking outside, <laughs> and it, it overpowered his voice. I am dealing with it. Cold, not to worry. Did uh, did no one hear what I was saying? Or, uh... I, heard I heard everything. Oh, sorry. I heard then. half. I got the gist of it because I believe you were speaking. So they got people speaking on their side. If you just want to repeat it. What he was saying was direct to me, so I don't think you have to repeat yourself. That's fair, that's fair. Sorry for you again. That's quite alright. Now, in to sweeten the port of this, with this piece, that does include you, if you're willing, to join in the supply line between every kingdom so far, and so that you may reap the rewards just as equally as all of us. So that we may put all of our differences aside and that you may get some of the gold back that you will be paying us and some of the rewards from it. I do not know what this is. This is what we want. And this is what I'm offering you. This is the chance so that we may live and prosper together. If you want this peace, peace so much, there would be no... We won't be talking right now and we would already be at peace. Hello, little one. Do you not think... <laughs> My armies that have lost so much deserve to be paid for giving their lives. I could and say the same thing, King Lannister, back at me. What about yes. my men? Uh, as well, Your Grace, if I may. You say we would already be at... Oh, sorry, go, go, go. No, 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 I was just saying, you say just as much as your men as mine. Then you understand just as much, no? Also, just, you say we would already be at peace, and yet, you want to go back to war. These peace talks are to ensure that war does not happen again. That's and as I said to you, I want war. A member from the, uh, the Dawn of Sparring that's within the Redwoods, uh, a member of either the North or Dragonstone, was speaking quite loudly about it. And my daughter overheard. And came to me and spoke about it. They were talking of it in the forest. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the wolf pack. Welcome, welcome. I trust the word of my daughter. She is no liar. She knows what she heard, and I trust what she heard. If you don't want war, if you if if that if that is a lie, if those claims that she heard were a lie, then these terms are acceptable to you. However, if what they say is true. Then, re then we need to accept these terms, regardless, to ensure that war doesn't break out again, so your men don't oh, lose I lives know. again, so our men don't lose lives again, so the realm isn't brought back into chaos. We are protectors of the realm. We have an obligation to protect that realm. I am sorry that I do not see peace as clear as you. What happened over that war is just stuff I cannot forgive nor forget. I came here for peace, talk of peace. War was the last option, like it always is. A last option. I personally, these terms do not agree. I 
I do not want to give you any bows, personally. The bows are of the north. And they shall stay in the north. I may add to that. Next, I mean, tomorrow they won't matter anyway. If you want to bring up, just get them at market. Tomorrow they won't even matter. So. The ones that we'll be getting now. That is what I'm saying. If you want to bring us up going to buy them at market, I will say my piece on that. It is simple, and it's rather courteous, I think. We have dropped nearly over 70% of what we want. We are trying to get peace, because my people want it. My own people want to be able to visit. Go see yours. Certainly they have friends. But I cannot send them with us at this uneasiness and unknowing if we are at war or still at cost against each other. I understand that you may not forgive me for the actions that I apparently have done, that I will forever say I have not done, nor had any knowledge of doing. And you have done actions towards me that I cannot forgive, but I myself can see for my people and their sake right now that what they need is peace. What they want in their heart is to be able to see their friends, to, be able to see family members once again, to, be able to go through lands without worrying about being attacked. That is what we wish, for our people's sake, not between me and you. We don't mean anything compared to this war. We are merely kings. We stand for our people. Are you telling me? After all you this don't time? agree with these terms. Oh, headache. Oh, yes. Continue. It's fine. You don't agree with these terms, and you won't give terms that are reasonable. What would you have us do? You say you don't want to pay anything, but that isn't an option. What would your terms be? The original terms, King Aegon sets. And those were? 3,000 gold, 300 each week. a headache. No. Oh, silence. Alright, okay. I believe King Aegon is thinking. Uh, Rob Stark. I don't know how many negotiations you've been to when it comes to the severity of these, but if you go to negotiations without the intent to budge even an inch, those are I negotiations. I do think I have budged. We have gone from 4,000 to 3,000. No bows. No ward. I I'm referring to, to you budging on, on your terms. These were your original terms were 3,000 gold, 300 per week. You've not budged on your terms. We've budged. We're willing to, to give so that way we can ensure that both sides aren't getting completely screwed out of this. But you've not budged once. 3,500 drop down from 5,000 is a good deal for you. Uh, what was the original? What, what, what would you agree on, Rain? Uh, 50 bows. 50 bows is reasonable as well. Your uh, smiths can probably make that within less than, a, less than a day, probably an hour you can make that. And then myself and Harold swapping places for two days. That is reasonable. Surely you understand that's reasonable.
Lord Rob, I understand your displeasure these terms that are set forth. I do. But they are reasonable terms. You say that you bend the knee to me for respect and trust in me to be a king for our kingdom. I'm telling you now these terms are reasonable. I'm telling you as your king, we will accept them. I understand your displeasure and we will speak about it at length later, I'm sure. We will ensure that our kingdom gets through this safely and that all of our people are safe and secure. This will not cripple the north. I will ensure it myself. I'm I would add to that. If by some unlucky miracle that it does cripple the north and you struggle with food, House Lannister will provide any food to ensure your people do not starve. We have been here for two hours. <sighs> Fuck. Two hours of staring and nothing. Huh. Damn. Well, actually, it's more one and a half hours, actually. Because the meeting was at 10.30, it's now 12. So one and a half hours. But fuck. How's the headache? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Are we good? Oh, good God. I thought we were about to pass out. Did, did, uh, did my words get through? Nope. I, no, heard, I heard them. Yes. Oh, okay, did you? cool. It's okay. And that's that the original deal of you being involved in the trade line, if you see fit, I will uphold myself. In which case, your people will prosper with ours. All of ours. I gotta agree. That is if you wish to join. I will not be getting the goods myself. They will be sold to another. You need not worry about that. <sighs> We're gonna, I gotta agree. It is we? peace and then more. A chance of friendship. So that we, we don't agree. It's ready to conversation for another us. day. It is. King Aegon has already said what we're going to do, so I don't have a say in this, so King Aegon has said his piece. Then I may ask, may I shake your hand once more? So this deal is sold in front of these men here. They may bear witness to it, as well as the gods, both of ours. King Aegon is my king. He's the one making this decision. He can shake your hand. But it's still your people. You are still the men I fought, and I respect, because you lasted a long time, and put up a good war. You only won because you used dragons. I want to shake his hand just as much as yours. Maybe you one day, King fought. Lannister, but not today. Yeah, very well. The negotiation is done. King, we are making the deal between our people. I'm sorry. King Aegon has spoken. He said the deal. There's no point in carrying it on. Agreed. Um, well. Regardless, you do understand how suspicious that looks. You are getting what you wanted. I would take it, and let's move on. We want peace, right. Rob. But yes, very well. In the future, we may be able to do so. Let everybody know in this room that I'm willing to put aside my differences for the people of this realm. I'm glad to see that peace can be made here, and hope it lasts. Let's <sighs> be on bullshit. bullshit out their eyes. If that concludes negotiations, I'd like to shake your hand, Aegon, if I may. After the trade is done, all well, the agreements are settled. Indeed, we can. I'm glad to see that we have come to peace. 
between the north and the west. And may the gods enjoy it. And all of us enjoy it. And, he, and Harold, I'm not sure if you're the one that speaks about the trade deals, or if it is your brother, but if you're Rob keen on it, send me... Ah, very well. Then send me Raven with if or when you wish to speak on the matter, and we can find a place in time. If that is what you wish. So that we may prosper together. And no, show if that they didn't agree, they would have had to together we'll probably go at odds with Dragonstones. We had to agree. Even after all of this conflict. Uh, yeah, up to Rob. We'll figure it out. That is a conversation for another day. Maybe yeah, one day I can shake your hand. I can't tell you that. I have agreed. Well, I haven't agreed. King Aegon's agreed. I am his. Then let he me say that I respect you for. Oh, apologies. Let it be known that I respect you for putting up a good wall. Even if we were enemies, I can respect my enemy. Especially when one can lead just as well as you did. Wish I could say the same. And I wish you could as well. I'm glad this piece is over with. Or I'm over with, but for start. And hopefully in the future we may have civil conversations. Without no more threats. <laughs> Any of that matter. But nonetheless, I think we're in here enough and shall we make our way home so our peoples may be a comfort? Yes, fucking please. Can you, can you, can well. you help tearing down or are we good? No, I can do it. Uh, King Aegon, I think we should speak with the Lord Starks. Indeed, yes. At the Aegon Fort. Can I have some the way car stacks in here helping to uh, tear it place down? Great. Right. Let's just go speak to uh, uh, Lord Titus. Yeah. Yeah. Will I be expecting if your arrival? Wants to tear this down, down, tonight. Tonight. Perhaps in a, in a few hours' time. Uh, there's some things we need to speak about, but yes. I look forward of to course. my arrival. Yes, you send a raven prior to you leaving, or we'll send a raven like what time you'll arrive so I get prepared to receive you. I'll have your contracts drafted up, uh, and room for revision, and so on and so forth. King Aeon, may I speak to you for a moment? Sounds good. Of course. It's oh. a pleasure, Lord Titus. Right. Just a moment. As always. Yes. Oh, I thank you for way. being uh, that way. a good oh, voice yes. of reason in the room. I guess that, uh, that sort of helps. It does. Today is a historic day. The day the West and the North have made peace with each other. I got no wolves. We return it's now. Prince Damien. As a friend, I hope you can take my word with everything. Stark. Troll sure will be around in the uh, Game of where next the couple fuck of did hours. I will send Raven. So we can <laughs> Where's the wolf? Yeah. I'll be having a meeting with my people first, then yes. We agreed. To the terms. Alright. Take care. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm oh, stuck next to me. Wolf. Ain't no way you can do that. It's a good day to know that. Oh shit. I thought I'd not see the dragons. I need to see them. Fucking hell. Oh god, I didn't see them either. I think we all need to see maesters. Seen them? It bounced my way up. Yeah, we didn't agree. Uh, basically, the... Zargarians... Dragonstone agreed to the terms of what... Oh. Um... I don't think anybody realized how close we were just to the mouth of a dragon. Every single person just walked like right yeah, next yeah, to yeah. one. Nope, I went round. We noticed afterwards. I'm going now. I just don't want to get lost through the forest. You're going the wrong way. Yeah, no, just this just way. <laughs> Why are we going around? There's a river right ahead that takes you north. Yeah, true. Right I think that's where Lord Rum's going. That, 
Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm going, so I can see. I don't want to go through the forest and get lost. Yeah, we haven't agreed, but we agreed to disagree, I guess. We we said, he said whatever Tucker and say. So we agreed to disagree, I guess is the word, I don't know. But, uh, just, gah. So are you, my friend. I'm hungry, but I'll wait till we get back to the keep before I eat something. When we get home, so let people know who can't hear me. When we get back to Winterfell, everybody into the meeting hall. Have a kingdom meeting. what his plan is, what the actual plan is, I guess. Sweet home. Basically. We'll hear about when we get to the mating hall. I was half paying attention. I was like f slowly falling asleep in that whole thing. It was just going in circles basically until they got what they wanted. Given the second <sighs> bought out my mind. It's so fucking hot today. He's fucking headache. No, I'm fine. I'm up now. Okay. Fuck me, another one? I just killed the like, packs. <sighs> and there's Blipple. I'm just gonna hit it again. Those who didn't hear, everybody into the meeting hall, please. No. Arrange 
try and give your uh, opinion on the uh, on the matter. If it's asked. your opinion on the matter. Holy shit, the headaches. Shut up! up something. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm a chance. It's good to see you, friend. See you Got stuff I'm trying to... Okay. <sighs> we got a bunch of people online. Okay. Is this is uh, everyone. Samson. Um. Sorry, but uh, this is only for uh, the people of the north. But that I, uh, I'm against you in here. I just need to talk to them directly. Thank you. You all could hear what was said. The tent was had holes and stuff. You could hear it. I, uh, I didn't agree with what was said, but, uh, King Aegon forced my hand. I don't know what to make of it. Everyone is free to talk. You know how we do it, stand up and then I'll call your name to the front. And anyone who wishes to speak on the matter, you may stand. Very well, Snow. I question the fact that, um, well, on both, well, all three occasions that any terms were quote unquote accepted, it was by a, a Rogare, a Valerian. Alright, uh, King Aegon. King Aegon agreed to it. It was his words, but that point also sticks with him. I wanted to say stuff like this, but I didn't want it to go on any longer. So I know people were getting tired outside. Well, then just should not be dealt by a non northerner opinion. Well, <laughs> Why we should have gone on. to the king first before we went there. We suck like we didn't have fools. enough time. Your Grace, I thought you, uh, I thought you did incredibly well to stay so level-headed. I, as you're aware, I am a, a diplomat, and I, I try to avoid confrontation unless absolutely necessary. But hearing the king and Lord Han Titus drone on about how their people have suffered during this war 
how they deserve to be paid so that their people can go on. And we are just supposed to sit here and act like we had no part in this, that we suffered no loss. It burnt my blood. Problem is we didn't have a good understanding. I thought the like understanding was the war was I thought the understanding that the war was won by the Dragon Lords. And I know you repeated that and I, I applaud you for it, but Aye. Honestly if he was gonna override you anyway, there was no point in you being us there. I mean, we just quite literally wasted everyone in this room's time for two hours. So, I'm sorry if I say, but I'm pretty pissed off. Yeah, all right. right it was a be. complete waste of time. I even questioned him. You heard me. I didn't. I. I said to him, I don't accept him, but he. Uh, he said he. If I spoke against him, then that would have just looked very bad. I don't fault you at all, nephew. I'm just fired up because if they were going to override to begin with, why the fuck were we even there? There was no point in that. We could have been bowing new bows. We could have been striking rocks. We could have been hammering armor. We could have been doing a million other things. We literally wasted the entire king, the entire lordship's time. Aye, right. but I do feel hours. that. King Stark did everything that he could. He he did not bend, and it was a difficult conversation to have. It it is uh, quite obvious that our pride as Northmen has been dinted in recent years. But I feel like we conducted ourselves the best way possible. We stood strong, and we did not let them take advantage of our vulnerabilities. That is all your grace. Lady Manderley. Your grace. They want gold in a vast quantity, yet their minds are richer than ours. They wish for our bows, yet we both killed on the battlefield. They want a ward, but we had asked for nothing, and we took on their own lion for fifteen years. And then they had the audacity to go on about us. They were merely kings, while we went, the, we went and bent the knee and became lords, all in the name of peace. And that. Oh, sorry. And I would like to question Did the Dragon Lords not say they would stay out of this and we would stay out of their war? Was that not something that we had agreed on? Forgive me if I am wrong. But King Targaryen said if I stayed out of their war with the Stormlands, he would let me fight the Lannisters without getting involved. Yet he got involved. Yeah, but he didn't say anything about negotiations, did he? He did say, though, he was a neutral party to listen. It's not Regardless or not, that was our goal. That was yeah, not where his, his goal. Subjects? It is his gold. Where are his subjects? To say that is blasphemy. You see what I'm saying? I'm not yelling at you, dear. I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't fucking talk. I'm really fucking fired up. It's quite alright. It is understandably so. But we are the we are... subjects. We are, but this is not his conflict. This is between us and them. My lord, with all due respect, every conflict that we're involved in is his conflict. We're his people by right. By law. Whether we like it or not, 
Our conflicts are his conflict, and his conflicts are none of our fucking business. May not be still fair, regardless. He shouldn't dealt. have. Still regardless, he shouldn't have said. We agree on those terms without my say. I don't give a fuck who he is. No, he shouldn't have, but he did. But he's the king. So what are we going to do? I mean, you, you raised protest, nephew. You did well. I don't think there's anything else you could have done that any one of us would have done. We're in a situation. It's not... It's, it, 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 there's no good way out of this. It's get fucked over by the Lannisters, or get fucked over by the Dragon Lords. Either way, we're getting fucked, and not in the way any of us wants. Well, it sounds like we're getting fucked by both right now. Well... You're not wrong. Situation. It's gotten a lot bigger. Snow. I'm going to uh, speak very bluntly on this one. I'm not sure if this is the anger or the boredom of sitting there that is saying this, but. I regret letting the blondes leave with their heads set on their shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the child could have left. The rest of them sorry, should have piled dead bodies and showed the dragon lords it is northern justice. Right, calm, calm down. Don't you speak about what we wish to do right now, let's speak about. <sighs> Don't wish to think about blood right now. It's greedy. It's awful. We all know we won't know them justice, all of us do. We will get it. This may just be a delay to that. A roadblock, if you will. Does it mean we'll never get our justice? Just not today. Is the wall. Just always remember what they did in the war. Do not forget it. And I know you not. The North does not forget. And yeah, when the time is right, it's not where peace we'll get our the justice. people that caused said issues. If need be. And to break said peace would. well. With both the dragon lords that have put us in peace and the land at that point, so I, every in my way that opinion, I face, we are seeing. I would still not go to the west. Enemies. I suppose they can come here, but I mean, it's up to Rob, I guess. But if I were you, I would not go to the west. I still do not trust them. I'm to go for uh, two days, right, Rob? That was oh, what they wished. That switch. I, I don't believe we I agreed on that. that. You didn't agree on anything. The king agreed on it. I mean, that rude man has to come here. Gonna have I mean, I'm, 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 like, I can holes. survive. It's not ideal. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be no. castly, but... I don't really like the fact of having a Lannister in our holes. It's more what concerns me. It is inconceivable to allow one of our mainline stocks to go to the west. Send me nephews. Older, I've spent more time that on wasn't, the wall. It's not about that. No it's one not about concerned. It's about swapping like hands, as he put it. He either said why, but... he wanted you to swap two days or he wanted a ward to swap for a week. So for choose week, to send a ward. Which is longer. Yeah. You think I can't survive in the West for a week? The question is, will the Lannisters be able to survive me? I've spent more time beyond the wall than anyone in this room. I'm older, I'm no one of significance, and I'm not in the line. I'm the only choice. 
for a start to go to the West. We'll think about it. Harold has called upon people to speak while I go check the Ravenry. I'll be back. Alright. Cast that move! move. Up oh, drive. shit. Oh shit. Nearly burnt Maybe myself. Was... <coughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Maybe myself is like a big <laughs> I don't. I don't know a few times during this meeting, I apologize and a bit under the weather. But. I'm fucking May hot. I to Rob comes back for I, uh, it is something. so fucking hot today. Oh my god. It's pro. Oh. I think we will uh, pay the little price. Oh, fucking hot! Good night. Where is my friend? Pay, you know. Pay it doesn't mean you have to agree with me. We're not paying. Why is it so hot? Because it's ultimately what it comes down to. We are paying it in good faith. But in the end, this will come our way. I believe it will. Since we are paying this price, perhaps I would ask some of you to work harder at keeping the gold forges filled such so we can be up for the next match. Not be behind. Body's up to you as well. Go farm gems, farm metal. We have large amounts of metal around us. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure have a raven. So we can go towards your positions. I have a raven from the dragons requesting my presence as soon as possible. Fucking hell. See, if I go to them, or they'll come to me. Therefore, I'm going to have to go and talk to them. I want everyone there. Because I, in truth, oh. I don't know how it's going to go. So... But, sir, uh, Lady Glover, did you wish to speak? I believe Lord Glenmore wished to speak as well. Uh, Lord Carstark and Lord Glenmore were both up before me. Go on, Glenmore. Lord Robson. He was the inspiring pit who I fought for. I'm going to ask you, who do you fight for? You know who I fight for. I fight for the North. I always will. When you fight for the North, is King Aegon part of it? It's a question I cannot answer. I don't know. Have you ever gone back on your own word against um, Aegon? I'll repeat that. I, I, I won't say so. I've always no. done everything he's asked. And what did he do in return? For me? Or the north? Not burn us down? I suppose... We stopped the war, but man, you could say that was on the winter. You could say the winter stopped the war. We might have still been fighting even after I bent, but I bent for peace. And that is the price you paid. Uh, interesting amount. And Welcome yeah, home. To pay another price. I suppose so. Well, all here agrees with the looks. I want to want to know what the true feelings are. For what, Aegon? Hey, Aye. On this matter. I am angry 
with Vagon that he forced my hand. But I am angry in forcing my hand, knowing I did not agree with what was placed on the table. But maybe this meeting he has something else to say. Do I respect the him? I do. I do respect him. Do I think his decisions are made by his counsel or not him? I do. I think the council might be the issue. I agree. I think Aegon wanted to do right by the North. For he was the one who came up with the 3,000 gold at the beginning. But I honestly don't know how to do if that makes sense. Alright, don't worry. I'm sure we'll get more answers at this meeting. I'm gonna take the whole north too. And let's hope it's a meeting where everyone is here. Aye. Lady Glover. Sat outside that tent today and it's a pompous, greedy, blonde cunt. Anyway, without actual proof, a Glover, and you know my house of Glover, you know we are proud northern people. Serve the Starks. Insinuate that a Glover desecrated and disrespected not just the godswood, but another Glover's grave to get back at a Stark. That is what I'll remember from tonight. I agree. It, it was madness. They have no right saying a northerner was the one who des desecrated such place. No right. It proves what you said in the meeting, nephew. Both of you. That they don't know <laughs> northern culture. No northerner would have done that. Kill <laughs> Hi, Lady Manderley. Uh, I believe the car Stark had something to say. Yo, tell her they didn't see you there. down there. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Yeah, uh, the Lady Manderley can go first. I hey! believe if we are going to pay, that thank you so we much for the gift itself. You are amazing. Options. They did say trade. I know that it was quite heated and still is at this time. But if we have to pay anyway, I believe we should take all advantages in our basket. May I suggest a um, fork? What am I trying to say? Heart. Lady Mandalay gave me an idea. Heart, 30 heart, bows heart. is enough to equip the West's entire army, correct? At least once. Alright. So that would be like the equivalent of like 30,000 bows, how we talk about that, right? Is it fair to equip an entire army with an instrument that could bring down a dragon? Maybe you should pose that question to King Targaryen. Alright. Right. Wait, say that say the last part for me, I couldn't hear. Okay, so they wanted well they wanted fifty at first, but obviously it got knocked down to thirty. I was gonna say offer them five. And the reason why is because do you think it is fair to outfit their entire army with bows, an instrument that is literally needed to bring down a dragon? 
Maybe you should ask King Targaryen that question. Does he really want the West or any faction outfit another another kingdom outfitted with an instrument of death that can bring down his wonderful dragons? May I say something? Oh, this was I your believe... time, Lady Mandalay. I interrupted. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. I would like to add on. I believe that they might argue that with tomorrow's market, uh, it won't matter. So you'll have to watch out for that if you do bring that up. No, I don't think they, I don't think they will. Uh, not till uh, we go on to journeyman on. That's when they upgrade, I believe. Uh, that was when they ah, upgraded okay. last. King Aegon is too overcome with greed in his thirst to conquer all of the kingdoms to consider what outfitting an entire army that is not bent the knee could pose a threat to them. This would be a awakening call for him. Aye, hear, hear. Let him know that Aye. by doing that agreement, he just, he just literally agreed to possibly outfit a rival army with the only thing that can take down his precious dragons. Once the North and the Stormlands were once on extremely good terms, that changed. Sure, the Targaryens and the Lannisters are civil at best for now, but again, things change. And with him agreeing to, like Manderley and Lord Stark said, outfit an entire army with the weapon capable of destroying their own dragons. Perhaps he needs to take a bit more time to think about that. Instead of oh, thinking about a great conquering point. all lands. It is Matter a great fact, point. Nephew, you could even bring it up like, look, the reason why I didn't want to give them any bows was because we are your people now. Those dragons protect our lands. And we did not want them having instruments that could bring them down. Aye. And I the would point like will to be brought ask... across. Aye, my lady. I would like to also state that if they wish for instruments of war to prevent war, why would we not receive an instrument of war to not provoke war back at them with their own logic? Aye. Well, because they feel we're warmongers, but whatever. Valid point, Lady Mandalay. You're well spoken. I appreciate it. Every point you've brought up will be addressed. Lord Kikasta. Really, three points, most of which were covered. Fuck the boys. Like we, for those who weren't there when we when we when we were had to fight at the rock, those bows, especially in the hands of Lannisters on their walls, are dangerous. They are play more of a detriment to us or anyone. So again, I agree with uh, Lord Xander that yeah, fuck, even f even five is too much. I'd, I'd give them one, and that's just sort of a courtesy. Second, second point. If Aegon's clearly influenced by his council a lot more, we need to push for a loyal northerner to get on his council. That way that the Norse interest can, you know, can be heard and not over swept under the rug by these Valyrians. And third point, when we go to speak with Aegon, you need or I think we need to state that our tensions of the Lannisters and our disdain towards them is now higher than it was before winter. The North remembers, that is all. Here, here. Here, here. Aye. Well spoken, Lord Karstark, as always. Your words always mean a lot and hold a lot of weight. I suppose I now have two options. 
I apply with King Aegon's request, and I give what you agree to. Or I don't. If I don't, I don't know what will happen. My what? If I'm honest. Maybe, but I don't think King Aegon wants that. I have tried to make King Aegon aware of how much Northern justice is needed and what Northern justice means to a Northerner. He did promise me, if I did not get involved in his war with the, with the Stormlands, he would let me fight them. Good morning. Sorry, I'm late. I wish I could see you, but I can't. It's Lady Carmen. Good morning, Lady Carmen. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Let's, before King Aegon comes here, with how impatient he is. Let's get ready and go to his home. We'll uh, see what comes of it. If you do wish to talk in front of King Aegon, do not be afraid. Everyone has a has their own brain. He'll let you, and I'll let you. We ride for Dragonstone. <sighs> Moment, I love this cape. I'll take my ghost, it's not war, but I'll take my wolf. <laughs> Aye, it looks good. Oh, that's right, I gave him one of my red and white. I was very confused for a minute, but then I'm like, uh, how did he? No, that, that's right. That's, never mind. He was there when I gave him out. I was, I was like, uh, what? <laughs> no. Uh, do, do I go and need an armor or anything? Because I don't have anything on me. No, I don't believe so. Um, you should be fine. Right, we ride for Dragonstone. Look at all these Northmen. Ladies of the North. <laughs> and me. And you. <laughs> for the North! For the North! For the North! For the North! Lord Marmont, you are a great person. <laughs> Thank you for your grace. I'm already getting yep. flashbacks from the mountain fight. The war cries. They echoed all throughout the north. Oh! I'm tired of being sat down and beaten on. Hey, how's it going? Can't beat I a mean, northerner, like we just get right back up. I mean, I like it once in a while, but in the right setting, you know. I don't think, Lord Marmont, your passion is, is matched. It's quite amazing. I live for the North, I die for the North. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone's doing good. well. I made it through. Shit. I made it through blind. Oh yeah. Close enough. We we call it the same thing basically. Where is enough? I'm coming from my home. Somewhere I'm going so long. Welcome to the new age, to the new age, welcome to the new age, to the new age.
Right, I'll uh, alert the scouts. <sighs> right, I made an arrival announcement. Oh, oh fuck. All right, let's get in acceptable lines. All stocks in front, everyone else behind them. Come on, line up. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm in the wrong line. Fuck me. Someone yell at me real quick. <laughs> get in the proper get lane. Get in the right line. Thank you, Lord. Right. Get the right line, on, What the hell are you guys doing? Where is lining. He? What? <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> come on in. <coughs> Lord Karstark, you're a better lord of the north. You should be up here with us. Well, I mean, I do have Stark in my name. Dude. Fair. Oh, gosh. Interesting mask. Yes, he's a he's an interesting character. Can't be more interesting than that strange doctor that we had, healer. Doctor. Mask. Also, we... Doctor. Well, I don't even know why you refer to himself as. Uh, he had a strange name. Uh, I'm certain his name was Doctoro. Yeah, Doctoro. That's it. Oh, yeah. oh not him too. You, you got the door again? Okay. Get the door. Come in. Here you go. Come on in, North. Take your seats. Uh, welcome, everyone. Please take a seat. Uh, I bet. We'll go on this side. There should still be food and drink in the ice boxes uh, behind you. Still full. Shut up! How are you, Dawson? Anyone really? is welcome. Good, my lord. Uh, just call me Rain. Up, rot a sandwich. <laughs> Guys, stand on the table. Do we wish to have this meeting in private, or are we just we are doing here, I suppose? So do we need our whole kingdom to Same. I'm fine with sitting here. I don't That's mind. Alright. It's not that private. There are a few, few private things, but... Well, we can have the meeting room uh, a bit then, yes. Um, the first thing I want to say, um, I understand that price and things changed quite often during the meeting, um, but I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, in this rain, is he still here? I'm here, yes. Ah, yes. Um, I believe the, the ending was 3,500 gold, 50 of the bows, um, and the possibility of learning more of each other's cultures, yes? I was unclear if that was a demand, like if that's part of the terms, or if that was a possibility, like... I thought that got talked out of the terms at the end. I thought it was just... That's what I the, thought. Uh, no, I well, believe it was cool. a part of the terms. See, I thought it I thought didn't it either. I thought it was in. Alright, so it's... We can, story, uh... So... <laughs> we can make that more clear with, uh, with King Lannister and make sure that... We're aware if it's in the terms or not. Um, but as far as the, the gold price, I'm prepared myself to cover a thousand gold of it. In fact, Jay. Here you 
good ass. Yes. Uh, go and get that a thousand gold now. And uh, one of you open the gates, I believe I can hear someone knocking. I got From outside. Yeah, I can do this. Oh. The oh, headaches are so bad yes. for me. If I Thank you, Grace. That's, that's very really... kind of you. As I said, I consider the North my own people. I would not let the North be crippled, as you said they might be, by this price. If you need my assistance in anything further, let me know. No uh, offense, Your Grace. As well. Harold, is this to be paid no offense. Y yes, it's what they want. But uh, uh, no offense, Your Grace, but this deal's gonna cripple you as well. We, us pushing oh, this really? deal gives an army access to bows. These bows are very strong. These bows are also at last market. 1,750 gold. That is the price that the bows giving them would cost the market. Oh, my bows really will good. always be better than market bows. Are they? No, they're the same, Rob. I thought they were, yes. Yes, I assumed as such. Well, why are both such a big thing then? Why can't they just wait a fucking day? Because they want them for free. Mm. Come next market, everybody day, will have them. Got peace. It well, that makes a little bit more. Sense. Too much to ask. Yeah, I didn't hear a thing you said, Your Grace. You're gonna have to. It was a headache. Ah, oh, fuck. I okay. wasn't speaking, but I think I was... everything, everyone else was. So. Yeah. <sighs> no, I was uh, talking to the prince. Uh, Jaharis, you can go and give that gold to uh, Lord Harold or Lord Rob. To be honest, Lord Stark, I don't think gold will cripple either of us. It's not the gold, it would be the bows, but they'll be getting them anywhere tomorrow, so it doesn't matter. So, I believe King Aegon just wanted to get the best gold pot or deal possible. I mean, they were. Mm. The Lannisters wanted 10,000 gold to begin with, and we got them down to 3,500. We are giving you a thousand of that, so you are paying less than you wanted. Alright. You wanted to pay I understand 000. hearing that it was not a deal you fully agreed on, but then again, they gave an outrageous deal, you gave, gave your side, they gave theirs. Your Theirs was at one end, yours at the other, we found the middle. That's as simple as it is. And you are at peace now. <laughs> hmm. Ha <laughs> ha you're right. Are we? Pause. Peace. Do you not think you're at peace? Do you not think you can uphold peace after the... Sure, sure, we can. I don't know if our people will ever be peace in general. That's all I speak of. But, I mean, we can certainly not fight each other. That's all peace really your is. Grace. You don't have to be friends, but... As you're not trying to kill each other in the night. We had that before. Let's be honest. What would Lannisters do if we didn't have any negotiation? The fighters? Never know. No one can ever really know. Without set terms, they... set peace, you never know what someone could do. That's the thing. Unpredictability. This is a structure and predictability. A basis no, to go but... off of, and something to work that... off of if they want to break this peace deal. The negotiation was for their victory in this war that they claim so much of. Right, and that overlaps in Umbrella's peace as well. The 
if you think this is not enough, if you think there are still possibilities of issues or fights, I let you know now. Peace has been stricken as far as I'm concerned, and if someone wants to break it, I will kill them myself. Simple as. I who they are. I think we should as do far as I'm concerned, this is a sturdy private. foundation to stand on. If they want to break it, I will break them first. True. Alright. I would uh, tend to agree. So it's stark that we uh, move this to a more private matter and let the people social. I have a few it. things I want to uh, bring up that I don't want to bring up here. Of course. Uh, my brothers and um, son will join me, and the rest of you can stay down here and uh, entertain the rest of our guests. Or go to the sparring pits, because sure they, they don't want to just sit here staring at they you. They can remain in here. So you're going to have my time if you press talk without Yes, Mormont, Starks, Car Starks. I would just wait the yeah. We the won't be long, I mean? promise you, we won't be long. Maybe, perhaps not the entire of each family. Yeah, just maybe one. just the heads of the Car Starks. Uh, I've left out about six families, trust me. Isn't. No. Um, my, l my lord and nephew. I mean, like, we don't need every Car Stark, we just. That's what I mean. My, my lord and nephew. Yeah. My lord and nephew. Northerners that I hear that you're leaving behind have already just waited in a two-hour meeting once. Shit. He can't hear me. You're all dismissed back to Winterfell if you wish. I'm very well. Thank you, Lord Thomas. All Northerners are dismissed back to Winterfell if you wish. <laughs> you do not have to wait. If my nephew has trouble with it, I'll deal with him. Uh, could someone escort me up there? Of course. I'm coming. So, hey, you know, I'm going to bring up some pretty, uh, you know, stuff we spoke about, me and your son. Am I okay to bring that up? I mean, I was hoping even more private than this, but... Fucking hate that. this meeting room. Tell him he know I'll be dead. We're going to close the door. I want to yeah, know what's going so. on people. a little bit. Uh, who is outside? Rain, can you come in as well? Uh, sure. The head of the I mean, family. people yeah. in this room I trust. And this is my small council. Here's what I question. There you go. Uh, those balls. They could very well be used to shoot us, shoot our men, and shoot your men. They could be used to fight your dragons. And you promised us that after the war with Storm's End, you'd let us have our war. So why do we pay them anything? Or have you gone back on that? Yes, I did tell you that. After my war, after my issues with Swamlands and were settled, I would let you have yours with the Westerlands. But then, after that, Lord Rob and I spoke, and we agreed that we would come and speak in terms of peace. And we'd speak about war after. <sighs> peace. How long do we think this peace will last? Like I said, we had an alliance with them, we warded their children, took them into our halls, broke bread with them constantly, and it lasted a long time, but ended in a day. We've already agreed to pay it, of course we'll pay it, but it's not what uh, bothers me. Like I said though, there are still debts unpaid. I did say... Go ahead, At some point, nephew. Us. So, are you saying you never intend to fight the West? For them to forever be your allies? I mean, I can speak my own peace, if you'll let me, Aegon. I'll speak on this matter, Alex. Why is it you wish for a war with the Westerlands still? I told you why. The God's Woods, everything. I didn't speak on it much today, because I didn't see a point in speaking on it. I think these peace talks are trivial. I think 
there a means to an end. I think it does just delaying things. That, that was my understanding, was that it wasn't just delaying things. That was what I thought it was, but it seems I was mistaken in that. I need to settle things. And like I said, things will never truly be settled with the West. I still think they should bend to you. I would like to help you achieve that. Show our loyalty that way and give the North the justice it deserves because our men are still not satisfied. Our men are angrier than ever before. That's the truth of it. I've heard men today in our halls <laughs> very far from happy. It isn't just the Starks who speak of it, it's the whole North. And that's the problem. That is why we cannot stay silent on such things. But we must speak for them. Speak for our people. And that is why I do not think peace should last or will last. So, if I may, Your Grace. You may. Yep. If we had it your way. What would war with the West solve for you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're bent under you. I mean, it was civil. If they're bent so, under you, I can trust them more as an immediate negotiator. After making this deal... Happened. Oh, sorry. Go on. It would solve what happened in the war. I want them to apologize for it. I still didn't hear an apology. They still deny it. I want an apology. Right. So, someone we have an alliance with, we would let you go to war after we just had peace talks with them, and you paid off uh, what they considered retribution to what they had to financially cover over the winter. And so you win the war, and then they know to us, and everything's well. The North's happy, and Castle the Rock is happy? Because their allied stab them in the back and let their banner get what they want. The Lord who knelt under them. That doesn't fix anything. That just solves your happy. problem and ruins theirs. We weren't happy when we first knelt, but we found peace. We it's not the problem the of them kneeling. Thing. It's not the problem of them kneeling. Well, Your Grace, I suppose it is up to you, but I don't see the benefits of you being allies with them, to be quite frank. I'm not sure where and what benefits you see from it, besides them being quite rich. And if you were to take their land, you would hold all those benefits. As I've said before numerous times, their land is one of the rich, the richest in West Coast, filled with gold mines. Fertile ground. Great. <sighs> I don't know what the plan is. I've got. I'm getting a headache because it's so fucking hot. Take it for your people. And better living Nephews, standards. may I may may I address the graces? I mean, in the same way, I think your peace with the Stormlanders will not last. Do not think ours will with the land. Yeah, Yunko, you can speak. Your graces, my prince. Princes, sorry. What they did to our gods would. Our gods were never figments of our imaginations. And they are alive. When we go to the godswood and kneel upon that holy ground, we feel something that is real, tangible. Equitable. The desecration of a godswood is not equivalent to burning a sept, in my opinion, for a sept is a hole surrounded by stone. The burning of a godswood is attacking the very spirits in which reside within those godswoods. They, they didn't burn the godswood, Uncle. They didn't. Uh, desecration, then. No, rather. he's just. 
but they I'll did get threaten him. They did threaten him. So, I've heard, and please, your graces, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've heard you have a very unique connection with your dragons. Uh, they are not just mindless beasts. You can almost feel what they feel. Is can we just stop true? circling and just kill each other off already? Yes, it is. We have this <sighs> same connection with our gods. When we approach the weirwood <laughs> tree and kneel beyond it, it is said that no mortal man can lie. No mortal man can stand before the might of our gods and tell untruths. Their very power th flows through us. Their very essence makes us feel their presence. Chop the head off it the is snake. a real, tangible feeling. So I hope and sincerely apologize if this is out of line, your graces. We're, we're going in circles. Can understand the we're just going to end up fighting. And every might as well just northerner feels go kill each other off. One of done. our Godswood's trees or the grove itself is threatened or in fact desecrated. It is not just desecration or threatening of an untangible, non-human object. It is something that we feel and that we have had a connection to as first men of this land for thousands and thousands of years, just like your dragons. It is the most unsacred of sacrilegious things to do. It is something that can never be forgiven. So my prince, when you ask why we would want to go to war with the Lannisters for desecrating our God's woods, it is because they desecrated the memory, ancestor, and the very gods of every northerner that has ever been. Possibly. No amount of gold, no amount of bows, no amount of anything tangible in this world will make up for that loss. It is revenge. What? Straight and true. There are no better words than what my uncle said. Every nerve feels that pain. Your grace, when me and you had that meeting and I told you the North were not happy. They, they were hungry for justice. That is why. The gods mean everything to us. Everything. And that is why. The North walk can't rest. The civilians won't rest. Till they believe the justice is... I understand this, as our dragons are everything. That is why we took page heads for the death of our dragon. Because they killed our dragons. Our gods are important to us too, I understand. But if we wage war every time someone pissed on the flames we put out for the 14 flames, or called our dragons giant ch flightless chickens or something. We would be in a constant state of war. I understand the anger. I feel it myself every time someone looks at a dragon and thinks they can mock it for being a fucking bird or something. Hell, I've heard northerners say the same thing. I've heard stormlanders. I've heard every single person from every kingdom say something about our dragons or our religion or this and that. But we cannot constantly wage war. Over such facts like this, over revenge, I, I have for a question. Religion, or else we'd be in a constant state of war. Yes. Uh, do you think your war is at an end with the Star Ones? Are you satisfied? Truly? I don't know. I'm satisfied that the pages are dead, but I truly don't know what the Star Ones think of us. That's what I'm concerned. We have been suing for peace now. Thanks. The pages were never Stormlanders to begin with, to be fair. My prince, I was under the assumption that the pages also offended the memory of this dragon in, in some sort of way. Is that correct? They, they ate her. Butchered and cooked the dragon. So, so they definitely desecrated her. That would be fair to say. Was... And Os Targaryen has literally wiped House Page from the surface of the plains. Yes? <clears throat> no. Those two left. Two pages still live. 
The one with the name page, right? The other one is yeah. it. Do not confuse our situation where we definitely knew the pages were guilty with yours. Rain. It's hearsay. It's not, it's not hearsay. hearsay we we saw them in our lands. Let me speak. I understand your outrage at what has happened. The Alex says our gods and our culture can be insulted as well. I understand the anger towards it. And I also understand why you have been Lannisters, why you believe it to be the Bane Force, you never seen your land placing bear traps about. We're not going to get anything out of this. So I have this. It was Lord pointless coming. Harold and Rob, you know the bar tax, yes? You come to the north quite often, I'm sure. Hi. I will send him to the north. One of you or one of your citizens shoes. Together with him can mount an investigation to find out truly for all of us who it was who did this. Perhaps you're right in the Lannisters, or perhaps not, but let us find out for sure. 100% certainty who it was. As I did. I brought the pages to my halls and I had a trial for each one of them to find out who it was that insulted my dragon, that disgraced her honor. And the ones who were guilty, I did them as I saw fit. And the ones who were not, I let free. Let us do that again. Find the truth of the matter. If I, if I you, Grace, they admitted to it instantly. The one we captured, you admitted it to instantly. To me, of all people in the jail cell, admitted that he himself butchered the dragon to his wife, his sister, or whatever she was, uh, cocked it. They admitted it all. The Lannisters will not admit it. A bit harder for an investigation. It's been years. Snow is covered any tracks. All we can Sorry, say is that we have witnesses. We have. Me? Hold on. We have people from the Sorry. West who have said it was the Bane Force. We have witnesses. We know it was not the Wildlings because they worship those gods, every single one of them, more than we do. And the only people it could be are the West. I don't see anyone else it could be. It couldn't be a Northerner. No, there's not placed bear traps there. The very. The story he brought forth about uh, Glover, who was never awake. She woke up when her husband died and then went back to bed to wait for like a fucking hour. I mean, it's, it's all just... We have more proof than we do not... More proof than it didn't happen. Like, what proof do they have that it didn't happen? Besides him and his master of whispers, whose name you can't even remember. Lord Stark, I... Might I speak? Vartex did. <coughs> okay. There you go. Oh. Hold on. <clears throat> the lady that he... That Lord Titus claimed was spoken to. Lady Glover, yes? Is she still mm -hmm. in the north? No, she's been asleep for a long time. Like I said, she woke up once, pretty much. Three times. She probably was awake mm -hmm. in total of like three fucking hours in the north. I said when she was awake, I spoke to her though, you know. I knew her. she would never desecrate the old gods and all that for a fucking fact. So that very notion was insulting to me. I think he's pulling lies out of his ass. When, if he knew that, I don't know why he would say it was the wild things. Why he say he would investigate with his men. It would make every bit of sense for him to say it was one of your people. I mean, it makes us look bad, of course. Why would he, uh, say it's wildlings? Truly, why? Indeed. All right, All I, ask, I understand that you believe wholeheartedly that it is Lannisters, and I understand, as I said, why you believe that. All I ask is that you let Vartax take some time and gather facts and things that people say and bring them to me. So that I may look over them myself and ensure that that you are bringing your justice to the right people. At least from my point of view. True. Okay. I mean, when I knelt for you and promised to fight in the war, you know, myself, obviously I don't know how much that means, but I did it because you said, and I said this to you, you didn't disagree. I was kneeling because I hoped to get to the greater issue, the issue of the Lannisters. 
tell him sooner. He didn't disagree with me. Okay, might I speak now? You may. I will. <clears throat> I have inside knowledge of, of the Lannisters. I used to be a Lannister soldier. I used to do small operations such as the things that they would have done and placed of the uh, the uh, bear traps. And from what I can say, I am wholeheartedly 100% sure that it was the Lannisters, as I did do operations such as a kind. The operation that was done at uh, the barn that placed the uh, bear traps were placed at the barn, I was a part of those. And uh, the Riverlands, I was a part of those as well. Place now, bear traps in the God's Wood. I did not place bear traps in the God's Wood. Did any of the fellow I... soldiers speak of doing? From what I could say, uh, there were talks of it. And even some of them might have had taken maester chains from the maester of the Riverlands. And Which wore ones? them and adorned them. Uh... I cannot say. I forgot their names. Uh, I believe it's the Lannisters order it. Uh, the Lannisters speak. did not order it. But I can say, uh, though the Maester did attack <laughs> first. But uh, anyway, I will. Aegon said uh, that I can go up there and investigate and make sure I have inside knowledge of such things, and I will wholeheartedly. Uh, take the investigation and, and go underway with it. I'm fantastic at things like these. I have inside knowledge and I will not let your family down. I do trust you, Vartax. I'm just unsure of what evidence there is left to find. I mean, even if he, Hi. Thinks, he just said you... to you yourself that he thinks it most likely was them. He just said that he was told to go to the north and place bear traps. Who else could it have mm -hmm. been? Oh, the the bear trap thing. Some of the I thought you, they were it. talking about the wearing of chains. The wearing of chains was not ordered by the Lannisters, but the Lannisters did oversee and knew that the soldiers were going up north to place bear traps. Yes, but did they directly order or hint at bear trapping or disgracing one of the? They their don't need to for it to be their fault. Still, the fact is, their men still place bear traps in our God's woods, and they refuse to even acknowledge that it happened. And if that is true, they didn't speak up. They knew it was happening. They didn't speak up to stop it. If you cannot well, control no, your you... own men, you are guilty of the actions of your own men, I believe that, to a degree. Especially if you know that they're doing it. Uh, I would be under the assumption that also a Lannister was there, when, uh, because when we went out, there were Lannisters with us. Makes it even oh, worse. Lannister. What more proof do we need now? It's there. Your grace, yes, you've heard testimony from one of your own land, men. Not in your keep. It's not for the keep. It was God's wood is not in the keep. The God's wood. Yeah. I did see men go towards the God's wood when I was there at the keep. I mean, it just gets it just gets worse. Like it's this is pretty good eyewitness, pretty faithful. He was part of them, and he's speaking up. They've just lied with both of this your meeting, grace. your grace. I'm not even paying attention to what's going on in this game. I'm Your like, I'm reading um, Discord. <laughs> what does it matter? I can listen, listen, listen. Yeah, and my family and you RP. might be enraged, but let me tell you, <laughs> I have been wronged by the Lannisters to the House Lannister. They have. We basically. To I wait every um, day. RP. We basically decided if in RP wants that. Us to wait, then we shall wait. Sophia is her blood daughter. Um, her mother's blood daughter. And she has rain blood in her this lesson, I will because I will have other people point, have children, even though it's been five years. So, um, severe is. I don't no I think he would be allowed to, but considering everyone has kids have that happened from last season, like when their last season is now, is now here. That's why I sit on the small um, council. I, yeah, I I've decided to make it that she's not if actually adopted. Not like, she's not actually if I um, stepmother. Doing, she's actually a real mother. I would because justice, I would not be on the small council. Nor that way, I if a mother dies, here. there's still a rain blood in the king, like in Permission to the speak world. freely, King Aegon. I want to know that revenge is coming, though. I mean, I want to know that. 
Harold, your I grace. I don't want to die before it comes. Your oh. grace, Lord Momon wishes to speak. You may speak, of course. Your grace. When King Rob, Lord Rob, came to you, our people, the North, were suffering. We were tired. Countless wars without end. We came to you for your aid. We bowed to you. And I can certainly say not many Northerners agreed with it. My sister, being one of them, was... She was passionate about the North. She did not agree to bending to a foreign king. She spoke out of term, and she was dealt with. Now, it has taken some time for the North to truly recognize you as our leader. And with the utmost respect, that is what you have done. You have been respectful to us, and we do appreciate it. And it may have taken longer than you would have hoped, but I truly believe the Northmen are coming around to it. The issue with the Lannisters, they want our bows. They want recompense for their suffering during the war, during the winter. We lost our king. We lost our men, our families. And yet we are supposed to pay them. They are supposed to obtain our bows just so that they don't have to wait an extra day and pay for them themselves. I truly don't understand the, the true meaning of the meeting earlier on. But to me, it did not seem fair. We have suffered. They have suffered. They are getting paid and our bows. What do we get in return? How do we make amends for our families, our farmers, our cooks, our smiths? We are not getting any payment. We were once very close with the Stormlands. It is of my most humble opinion that I, I, I never thought that our relationship with the Stormlands would go sour, but it did. You have a good relationship with the Lannisters, but for how long? They refuse to bend to your rule, and with supplying them with our own bows, yes, of course, you can go and pick them up at the next market, but we would be outfitting them with the means to take down your dragons. And that is not something that I wish to be a part of. That is all, Your Grace. Um, I want to talk about something you said there. You said that they will, you know, they refuse to bend under the rule. Then, you know, all of this, all of you, all of this waiting, all of this being said, then you know at some point something will happen. Just wait. But my... Wait a little longer. I lie and wait just as you. Do we I know suffer every day much? that you suffer too. I want to know My question happen. is what is the point to waiting? If it is all a means to an end, why wait? No, I, I mean, I agree. I think you should solve your conflicts with the Stormlands before trying to. I don't disagree with that. But I want to know it's coming. That I will see this war before I die. Before I'm old, too old to fight. So, Harold, you want us to say that we would backstab our allies and start planning for war. Is that what you want to hear? Backstab? With all that respect, your grace is your allies just lied to your face. Your allies lie to you. Have you little of nothing. Our allies are also the reason we're in this situation now. Because of them, you were kneeling to King Aegon. We did and that's no disrespect towards you and your family. We know because of it. Whether they lie to our face or not. 
We still have deals. We are still allies with them. You say it as if we can just break the alliance off so easy. And that all would be good in the realm. And how would you, you think react not, uh, when they what... stab you in the back? And how do you know that would happen? How do you know it wouldn't? Do you find them exactly. to be trustworthy? Exactly. You can't trust anybody. If you bend them to you, you could be sure they're trustworthy. Why does war have to happen in order for them to bend to us? Do you believe they will bend mm -hmm. to you without war? Do you believe King Lannister will give up his crown? Because I, for one, know what you want. Really? I don't believe so. From what I've known, of course not. Spoken, then he will not give up his crown without a war. There's a lot I'm of considering... speculation that's happened. Everyone says, "Well, I don't, I, I don't think he will." Someone did this. Someone that. I think no, I know. There's no, there's no solid, solid backing or evidence to any of this. You want a war because you were disrespected. I understand that. I get that. You want revenge. I can understand that out of everybody. Uh, but you have to understand what that puts your king, what position that puts your king in. I want to well, war because the whole north calls for it. Because I listen to it every day. People wanting it. People want this. The whole north wants it. Then they need to we understand that you. your that your previous king knelt to King Aegon, and you need to put faith in his in his decision making. We do. And, I mean, have we not? A patient, agreed on things. We meet like this. I do have faith. We had faith in that tent when we agreed to those terms. Oh, we. I ask. don't believe if... a war needs to happen May between I tell... you and Castle. I think we've shown enough faith, more than enough faith. The Stormlands are our allies, they are our family, and yet we just let you fight them. I don't get how much more faith I can show you than that. They are our allies, and we don't join the fight, as I swore to King Aegon I wouldn't. And in that return, Your Grace, you said to me, you would let me get my justice. I have shown faith. I don't, I don't think my faith can be questioned. I am loyal, the North is loyal. Then why do you question that you won't get it? Because they are allies. Faith. You say you do. Why do you think... If King Aegon promised you something, why would you think he would... Betray that. The promise was it would be after the war with the Stormlands. I mean... I don't believe we've made exactly peace with the Stormlands yet. We haven't even meet, met with the king besides the, that point. So you're saying still after the Stormlands is over, after it's dealt with, we can still do this? Well, I just said that we are never at peace. And our issues with the Stormlands is not I... done. I promised you, Lord Rob, if you bend the knee to me, the North will be my people. And I've endeavoured as my time as Lord and as King to always listen to the wants, the needs, and the mood of my people, to be a King for my people. I understand what you are saying, your outrage, at the insults to your gods, the insults to your way of life. When my life, when my way of life was insulted, those responsible were found and put to justice. I understand that most of us here in this room believe it was the Lannisters that did this. But still I will say, I will send Bartax and one of your northern men, whoever you choose. And together, I can compile evidence to find out specifically which northerns, which Westerlander that it may have been. I promise you that we will figure out who did this, and they will see justice. And uh, hopefully we can do it without the need for a war. But 
Vartax just said that he was out there with the men who did it, so shouldn't he be able to name them here and now? I don't remember many of the old names many Godswood. years ago, so it was a long time ago. Allow me to do my due diligence, allow me to investigate, and I will find them. And it wasn't just the. I mean, they promised to extinguish our entire family line. Promised. The things they said in that war, I mean, men say things in war, it is true, it is always true. But they made promises. I cannot wholeheartedly believe we will ever be at peace with them. Have you heard the term, a Lannister always pays his debts? I believe in house words, I believe that are true. I also believe in the saying the North remembers, and if I believe in that, I should believe that a Lannister always pays his debts. We will never truly be at peace with the West. Never. Until at least they bend to you. My lord nephews, I'd be happy to work with Vartax, as far as the North is concerned, if you'll permit me. My king speak to you. This can tell you. Explain it better. Sorry, your voice is getting caught in the wind. Could you repeat that? Speak is up, Mara. now? Sorry. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. I think that's a bit better, yes. Speak up a bit more if you can. Okay. Indeed. Um, when it comes to the North's discontent, um, put it in a way that might, might understand. Um, when we knelt to you, we thought we were kneeling for peace. And when five years later there was more talks of now giving the Lannisters money and here. bows and ward and all sorts of things in a way that that sowed a lot of tension that I don't think it goes to I'm not sure you know have you heard the story when you give a mouse a cookie it's gonna want some milk that whole story. I have not. It's not. Well, um, basically, it's about giving and giving and giving and another person taking and taking and taking. Essentially, you're going to get fed up with it. And the, the Lannisters, they spoke of peace and wanting peace, but yet they want bows, they want money, they want ward, they, they keep asking and wanting more and more. So I think that's where a lot of discontent is coming from the northern side, is that, um, you know, we thought we knelt for peace, and well, yet here we are, still giving, still, and they're still taking. Alright, I have been quiet, but I do have something to say on this. You did kneel for peace, for an end to the war, but in kneeling, I mean this most respectfully, you also lost the war. That is why there is more reparation. So does that mean Dawn gets to come to our door next and ask for reparations? They were a part of the winning side. We've made mm -hmm. negotiations and deals. Way we before. to you. They are taking money out of your pockets for this war. You think it's easy? It was their war to us begin with. money. We don't want to give away your bows, your money, our money. We don't want to hinder our own people. But you have to understand, if you are our allies in war, and these people fought and died with you, for this reason, and none of them were given or repaid how would you feel if your ally that you fought tooth and nail for gave you nothing what did the west truly do in that war because in my opinion you won that war for them you won it with your dragons you won it with you I, but it was a war of their home battle. and Alex, you've, ad you've admitted it that you did help in that foot battle 
I did. I did admit to that. At the same time, you our homes were at siege. Our banner keep was at siege. That's the thing. That's the difference. You and bent you to us, and that's what won life. the war. You with your dragons. You lost far more yes. than they did, in my opinion. Yes, you are right. right. And we made up for that. But they were still there. And they take from you. They. Cowering behind they the walls. They were the ones who started this. Them. They start. They, did they start it? Did we start it? All right, I'll be back in a minute. Listen, if see you, you state that. I'm back in my guys. I need the bathroom, and this is just going round and round and round, and I'm gone bathroom. Even if we've lost more than them, and we're still willing to pay, then that should show you a sign. It show you a sign that it's fine, that it's okay to pay. If we have lost more than them in the war, we are still willing to pay them their reparations that they so desire. You so let it be. Let it show you something. Read into it. Just I understand that it might seem that the West is taking and taking, but these talks have been happening since last summer. I understand that it's been a long time, a five-year winter, but it stopped the talks. And Lord Rob can say as well, we were having these discussions before the summer, and the only reason they weren't settled last summer is because the winter came quicker than we imagined it would. True. Nevertheless, they these terms talks. have been agreed upon, and as Lord Rob said, we'll uphold them. But I... will we uphold peace? Uh, we, no one's disagreeing with upholding the terms. Of course we will. For now, the point of... for now we uphold the peace. Okay, That's sounds like my man Vartax and go in the bathroom. Uncle, if you choose Quick, him to speed up, to speed up the talks. Investigate and find evidence. Oh, I don't fucking care. So I am so literally over this. Can we just chop stuff. everyone's head off? What what and will be someone... evidence to you? Chop everybody's head off. Anything that he finds, I, I, he can gather what he finds and bring it to me. And what's I'm what sure. Find? I'm what sure that he would have thrown the bear traps away. Sorry, sorry. Indeed, you have witnesses, so I'll, I'll have him speak to your witnesses and everything else. And gather what he can. <sighs> Z. He is in a unique position. He is a citizen Z, 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 of mine, Z, 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 Z. and I trust him. But he's also oh, a great uh, uh, once a Westerland soldier. Just do the best person chop everyone's heads off. End of war. Done. True. But you already know <sighs> he... that. You, you already know that it was the Lannisters. Vartax was there. You know it was them. I don't think I having names is a big deal. pages that ate our dragon, but we didn't kill every page. That's the thing. Holy shit. Can't, no, but you dealt with it as soon as possible, did you, you not? You to spy on Pith. I, I, I knew... I knew it was... Later. Riverlander. But I made sure to find out it was the pages before I did anything. I didn't seek justice. I didn't seek to fight all the Riverlanders. I found out it was the pages, and then I dealt with the pages only. Not the phrase, not... I can't think of any of the river leather houses, but not any of them. None of them were oh, even we spoken to about it. was the Bane Force. One of their men came to a barn and said it was the Bane Force. I mean... How did you learn about the you pages? Find out what evidence was enough for you? Find out which the, Bane the Fort. Well, well, we know exactly it was more Bane than the Bane Forts. Now, Vartax just said Lannisters were present when they were placed in the bear traps. There's no more evidence. If I was you, Your Grace, I'd call the Lannisters here and question them. Listen, I said I did not say 100%. I know that it was the Lannisters or some Lannisters in some point, but it was not all the Lannister soldiers. It was not all, you know, not everybody, you know. And it could have been they just rode up there. They rode up there and looked at it. It could have been something else. It could have been, you know, all these other things. I'm not for 100% sure. I know it is the Lannisters, the Westerland people. But I do not know who it is for sure. That's what I'm going to intend to find out. It could be the Bane Forts. It could be but they will, some other They will lie, person. they will lead you in circles in the investigation. They may not even let you investigate. And that's fine. 
If there is something to be found, I will find it. And if they don't let him investigate, then they're clearly hiding something, and he will write, he'll mark that down for me. They will be defended, they will say, you don't believe us, we are your allies. What are you doing here? Why are you investigating this? I thought we had it settled. That is what right, there's, say when they you're there's no point in going on. You and my uncle Xander will go find out information. And as soon as you do, I hope to find out. Then I want to hopefully get the Northern justice the Northerners deserve. And whoever plays the bear trap, I want his head. Indeed. Um, I'm sure you still have the bear traps uh, in some evidence uh, position somewhere, yes? I'm assuming that you would not throw them away. I doubt it. Is it over? We lost a lot of things over the winter. Would they not be keep, kept in the keep somewhere or somewhere in the workshop? We can maybe we, we can don't look know. It, or we can I don't think it matters. Something. It does. It matters. Can you tell by the bear traps who they're made by, or is that what you're intending to do? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe people have different ways of making them. It's just a whole bunch of things. You got to look at everything. Right. Yeah, we probably have them somewhere as well. Very well. Uh, yeah. Is there anything more you hope to say, Your Grace? There was nothing more um, I wish to bring up. Unless anyone else has anything. Very well. I believe it's set. Oh, I, I would I like will... to reiterate something. Right. Obviously, it was mentioned that it was worried about how long peace would last. I just want to reiterate that if... If this peace is blatantly broken, I will kill the person who breaks it myself. So if someone breaks the peace and threatens your home... Blatantly, blatantly going against what has happened here today with the talks that have been had, etc, etc. And I will make sure that that is the wrong is right. Um, I'd also like to see, um, will the uh, banishing of the Westerlands people still hold in the uh, north? Asking either the Starks or Aegon. Oh, what? What are you going to uh, Are the... Uh, Westerlands people still not allowed on your land. Uh, I don't, I don't think we do that in the Yeah, I'm sure they're allowed on Would that land. still stand? I'm just curious. Aegon, could you answer that? It's, uh, yeah. That is up to Lord Robin, Lord Harold. Okay. As the mating in just happened, I don't know. You're going to have to give me some time to think about that. I still, even with everything, I don't want to see them on our lands, but I mean, it, it's not really up to me. Is it? Oh, and if, if, if we banish them from our lands, they might take that as, you know, assault or an act of fucking war. I mean, Alex, if we banish them from our lands, are you going to take that as aggression against them? Come to my head. He said it was up to you. I'm asking you know, Alex, like, would you take that as oh. aggression against the Lannisters? Not letting them on our land. Well, you're banishing them from your land still. To uphold the peace, partly. I mean, if we don't have them on our lands, we can't get in fights, can we? Because as I said, our people are still angry. I can't control their emotions. I can't control every single thing they do. That's actually a pretty good point. And I don't want to be responsible for it when they do do so. He said, Might be safer Great. for I mean, both parties if the banishment hold held. As I said before, uh, you know, before the peace talks, I think it was a while ago, it might be better for both parties to just stay away from each other if you wish for that to hold. You're welcome to. All this peace is done to ensure that there's no fighting. We don't have to be close friends. <laughs> if you wish for the yeah, I, I agree. Stay, 
I'll send a letter to them and reiterate what it stands for. Unless you wanted to tell them yourself. Are you doing the, the hand to. swap thing? No. Oh, for fuck's sake, do we have to do that? No. But not agreed upon. The no. lower hand the worst seems. We did see you quite intent on it, Rob. <coughs> It's not like it's it's not like anyone's advantage or disadvantage in it either. It's people have the same position both in family and in status. Well, we do, but we know I believe it was uh, the Lord Hand investigation. Uh, Titus Lannister. I believe it was Lord Titus Lannister who wanted that most. I will speak with him and find out uh, the specifics on it all. No, I, I know I'm the least of the Starks, but um, I was willing to go. I'll spend a week in the West, I don't give a shit. I've been north of the Wall for years. I can last a week around the Lannisters. Personally, I think the, the best option would be swap for two days. It's much less time and ensure each other's safety. Maybe. I just don't remember when Titus was going over the uh, the list. I don't remember that being a part of it at the end. Might be wrong, I don't know. I heard him mention oh, for... about the culture as well. Yes, I believe it was part of the agreement. Shouldn't we wait till the, till the investigation is over? I think the banishment... Uh, should stay until the investigation is over. That is, none of them are on our land. Right. I mean, as I said, the banishment is up to you. But as far as the uh, carrying out the agreement, I think it should be done as possible. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Even though I believe the evidence is there, I. I hope you find out more, I guess. Very well, is there uh, anything more? I don't believe so. Very well, we'll be taking our leave. Thank you for your time. Are Over they going to be uh, enjoyed, allowed to know that you're investigating them? I'm assuming they'll know that, right? <sighs> uh, uh, yes. Like, if I send them a raven saying... Uh, the barring from each other's lands will continue until investigations have been finished. Is that saying too much, or is that fine? That's fine, Me. yes. Um, in, I mean, we spoke in the meeting even about an investigation happening, so... Alright. Um, maybe with the exception of me, <coughs> because, you know, Fuck. if I can't go with Vartax, or, or how, what's even the point? Thank you. It's okay, I... I've got it. If someone right, wants to help me on the northern land, you can help me on the northern land, but, uh, there sure you got it. Yeah, just help them on our land. Then they don't go Very to the well. West. Oh, Dawson don't crashed. Don't want any of our people going to the west, to right. be quite frank. You could just sit How are you feeling today? For a moment. Okay. Very well. Better, better. Um, I'll be in the north. I'll be at Good. the north. I'm glad you're recovering well, my friend. I'll be at Winterfell Vartex. Better than yesterday, okay. at least. Alright. I hope you if there's anything I can help, you know, you can always Some ask. Point. What was that? Do we have another meeting? No. <clears throat> yeah, what's up? Never mind. I think your people are done for meetings for one day. Hmm? I know uh, mine are. I'm, no, I'm done with meetings, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. Come on, no, Let's get ready to, to go. Meeting, You're gonna have to take me to the damn chair. <laughs> when he clearly shown Let's his go. Bias. Thank you for I your don't hospitality. Think there needs to you be guys. any investigation at all. I think that they just welcome. need to suck it up. Oh, well, your grace. Oh, my apologies, your grace. I appeared right in front of you. I didn't even realize. He it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got alright. I had a little bit of a headache. Grace. I got it. Uh, uh, yes. We have a man who is France, but.
Very well done, Alex. What was that? I said farewell. Farewell to you as well. Um, Come on, we're going home. Is it alright? Shortly. I mean, I, I may fly somewhere. to the north shortly to do some mammoth hunting. The elephants between us and the stormlands aren't too big anymore, it seems. The mammoth seems a bit thicker. Alright. Try to to the mountains and such. Well, I think it's fine. Just try to uh, keep to the mountains. Lord, are we having another meet in a Winterfell or is no, uh, for to today? Anyone wants well, to talk friends. to me, Come aye, on. but it is late, so if you want yeah, to sleep, you're more than welcome to. Uh, yeah, I've got a migraine, so I could have need to sleep. Travels. You will. You talk Loads to him at the uh, small council position or whatever? <coughs> yeah. Xander, your grace, we were hoping maybe we could what get was a governor on your small council just so we have an influence say, on the decision making of the realm. You mentioned you had ah, yes, that's right. More about the um, I believe it was your, your son was talking about that. More of a demonstration, uh, did you have an idea on who you'd want to have that position? Follow at a distance and you can observe it. Um, I, I would greatly appreciate that, my prince. No, 100%. Case, I'll, I'll be go be over the, it though and go over the list of names. Make sure to stop by North and I'll let you know. You can follow me wherever she may take me. Very well. Yes, uh, uh, we should also, we should also I'm not sure how much time, time I have more tonight, to but um, to yes, I will do my best, uh, a prince. The commute and all that, of course. I, if if not, meetings. figure it out. I appreciate I, the interest in our dragons and such to help us. Very well. Oh, oh, how much um, really gets... Rest, and I'll see you. Uh, oh my! Oh, well, farewell, your grace. Uh, farewell. Um, all I know is the I'm way you lot talk experience. about your dragons is uh, <laughs> it is very similar to, I believe, how we norm. feel about our connection to nature, the wall, the northern trees, the animals. I think it's a very, very. Where are those two going? <laughs> yeah, they're going the long way. It's Winterfell is that way, up the hill that way. Hello. I'll 
some of that rain come down. You know, for summer, it's been raining a lot. How are you today, Eddie Carmen? Uh, a little bit tired, but um, I'm good. How about you? And I die. Same, same thing. Oh, you made it. <laughs> if anyone wants to talk, I'll be in my chair, half asleep. Probably eating food. Maybe. Definitely. You cheeky bastard. Uh, can can we know about what was the what's that the the meeting? Or is it is it Friday? Uh oops, sorry. 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 The meeting was about nothing you already really know. Hi. You're great, so I hope you didn't mind me uh, speaking out, but I couldn't hold my tongue any longer. Hi. Yeah. You spoke well, Morban. Well done. You were were great. You um spoke nothing but the truth in your heart, and I honour that. Well done. Thank you, Grace. Right. Does anyone wish to talk? Did you wish to say something, Morban? Sorry. No, no. You're quite fine, your Grace. I just wanted to. Uh... Make sure I didn't speak out of place, and that I will be uh, retiring for the evening. Not at all. You spot perfect. You, uh, you're, um, you've earned a good night's sleep. Go rest. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. And I apologise for my tardiness for the first meeting. I was able to catch the majority. No, you were great. Do you know how many men we had that meeting? We had twenty thousand. We, we had a lot. A lot more men than we've had in a long time, and, and women. It was great. great. What we spoke about in private a few days ago, today made me feel worthy. That I made the right decision to come back and face my demons. You and did. I will do you proud you as head of house. I hope so. You have a brother to your... Uh... Well, my right. Have a small he is my nephew. Still hope. Nephew. Still hope. Hope you find wives to make our small monk proud. <laughs> <laughs> he he has become a fine young man, and I have no doubt that he will become a great ambassador for our house. He has a better beard than you. Fuck you, your grace. <laughs> Very well. All right, well, uh, you get some rest. Good night, right. everybody. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Lady, good Lady Sterwin, would you like to talk? Uh, yeah. Do you want me to just talk here? No, it'd be very awkward. Come closer. Okay, okay. <laughs> Very well, you can speak. Okay, uh, well, I don't know if you are ultimately hoping for peace or war with the Lannisters, but regardless, I wanted to warn you that I would not put even, like, any trust in them because I feel that they're, like, conniving and untrustworthy, and I know this firsthand. So, I don't know that, like, my voice really means much, but.
Every person in the know has a voice, and a voice that can be heard. That's why I let people put the names down for council positions. It's why when we have meetings, every Novener is allowed in the halls. You are uh, always free to speak. Um, I thank you for what you've said, and it's true. I don't trust the Lannisters, nor will I ever. Today, King Aegon did force my hand in the negotiation, but the negotiation from today means nothing. We're still at odds, and we have more proof of the Lannisters placing the bear traps. We're going to wait a few days. It's... I, I know they assaulted you at the barns. It's... The main nice. thing we're trying to find proof for is the whole place of air trap on the guards wood, on my uncle's grave. But uh, next meeting, I need you with me because I need you to tell King Aegon all of what happened to you. Aye. But aye. We're just going to wait to speak truth to you. They're uh, going to try and see if they can get more information out of the West to see if they can get names to the people who might have done it. And I've agreed to give them a small dose of time. And as soon as they find out, that's when hell will let loose. Is there anything more? Uh, no. I, I mean, I do believe that you're going to do what's best for everyone, and we all definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Do you want war or peace? I... I do not want peace, and... But I have my own reasons, and I don't know that... I mean, they're just reasons for me, but I don't know that all of the North would see it as a just reason. I agree. My lord, may I speak? Of course. I think everybody in the north would like to see peace on most other occasions, but when it comes to the Lannisters, there will never be peace until uh, until we get what what is owed to us, and that is revenge. Avenge the desecration of ancient sites and burial grounds. Until that happens, there will never be peace, no matter what we try. I tried to explain it to him. And the Targaryens keep pushing for this, but they don't. Well, I don't understand. think there's even. Sorry. If you if I you don't... noticed. Lord Mormon, if you notice, when we ever speak about war with the Lannisters, it's not Aegon who refuses, it's his council all the fucking Eggs. time. Yeah, I noticed that today. They don't even let him talk. They take complete control. They take complete... I, you, I couldn't be Especially more that agreement. one guy. There was that, that one single guy that was coming at he, us. He was, sitting to, he was sitting to the right of you. He was sitting right by us. Yeah. Yeah, yep. wasn't he also yep. in the main meeting too? And he was he coming was. at us then too. That I, same guy. I, he was. I don't know what yes. his. Um, I, I don't think know what his problem he's... is with us, but he kept he kept coming at us the entire time. He's got meeting. some sort of love for the West or something because he's like uh, he's something. I swear to God, to the gods, nephew, <laughs> he's something. Because I picked up on that as well. He was sitting uh, right of Lord Mormont, who was right of me. And, uh, I mean, he even when I brought up, like, well, your allies just lied to your face, he was, he just didn't care. He was like, oh, well, just whatever. Instantly, every time so, we said anything about it against the he instantly jumped on our cases. Yep. Does someone want to fill me in on the events no. of today? No. Not at all. Okay. Do the West can ask them, I suppose? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Bear
basically, your father did a really good job in negotiations. King Aegon, though, took over because we didn't agree to shit. And uh, then we had a meeting with King Aegon, and we basically went around in circles. And one of their people admitted that they used to work for the Lannisters, and that they definitely, but kind of, maybe, possibly, but definitely did not, but then did set the bear traps in the north. Does that sound about right? Uh, he said he's a work, hey, he, 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 he used to work raid. in the west, and he said that he was n not ordered by the Lannisters to place the bear traps, but him, a group of men, and Lannisters present, and they knew about it, went around the north yes. placing bear traps, and he has also seen men of the west head up to our mountain when they were on, when, when they were placing bear traps. King Lannister... Uh today and Titus Lannister said in front of me and Aegon that they do not know anything of bear traps being placed. They, they have lied to King Aegon, lied to the North and yet King Aegon says they need more fucking evidence. What more evidence do the fucking need? Because it's, it's alright as we have, as we've already right. said he can't even make the decision because this council keeps overriding him. He as can. He as anything. you speak of. Uh, Vartax. Vartax has been appointed by the king to investigate, and I have been appointed as the northern representative so to assist Vartax in the, in the investigation. The spy is uh, is the he a spy? I mean, he's either a Westerland spy or a Dragonstone spy, right? I imagine. No, he he's not a Westerland spy because he he even said in that meeting he wants justice on the Lannisters like us. He yeah. said he didn't like the Lannisters either. No, I hate. And he told me why. To our cause? why. I told him hey, why. Thank you so much the for woman the raid. he loved hey. was killed for no reason. She was innocent. Thank you so much. But they killed her anyway because she was a part of House Raid. Hey. I think that's Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Because of his console. Thank you, thank you. That console wasn't doing what they were doing. He probably would have supported us by now. Welcome, we need you to know that you're on the console. Yeah, I because of that console. <laughs> hey, you're fine. It's no, he, 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 he 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 do. Well, it doesn't he matter if he it. is. He We're not being investigated. Place the bear traps. He, he may be a spy, but he's giving us viable information. I, I, but, I but, say he is a spy. Our own family told us that it was Bella Page that said what you said. <laughs> yeah, you've Just got to follow it to stop. Um, it's true, right? It's yeah, stop, but then they admit uh, it. Uh, spam, I suppose. Yeah, but then the pages well, admitted only, it. Only, the Lannisters well, spam were never bot, so I used to get a lot of those, so... No, no, no I'm well. just saying, you put your trust into an individual who fought against us in the war previously, and now sits up or keep half of his day listening, <laughs> listens to our conversations below. I just, I don't think we should trust Vartax at all. I don't think we're putting our trust in at all. It's just... The cards we've been dealt. Yep, Game of Thrones. Uh, what, what happened with the meeting with the Lannisters, though? I'm in the north, obviously, Winterfell. Circles. Same what, thing that always what, happens. The out, they were offended the at things we did. We the were offended at things they did. The Go outcome ahead, was 3,500 gold. Wait, the outcome was 3,500 gold, 50 bows. And maybe Harold has to go... No, it's 50. Hmm. No, it's Harold 30. Has to go. They no, know. It, it, it is 30. Right? Yeah, it's 30. It's not 50 anymore. No, they they went down to 30. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Yeah, 30, I 50. swear they did. I don't did. fucking know. Well, it sounds like... Someone's at the gate. Someone go over, look, see who it is. Oh, you got it, Glenmore? went back and All forth. Right. Who did what? Why? People it's... did what? Who had the blame? It's, hmm. it, it came down to Lannisters feel sure. like the war is their glory, therefore they should take it is a lot of something fun. from it. They want, and King Aegon forced my hand, I didn't agree to it, he just said okay. And then he gave me right. a yeah, thousand gold to it, this. which I don't fucking care you about. Know, yes, well, that was, that was a good gesture my though, it got really was. <laughs> and, it, and it was the... And it was that rain guy. He, like he, he was just trying to influence season. the entire thing. 
the whole yep. entire time. And did you hear his voice? So like I how angry he was? Question. Yeah, he was when angry. When we... We bent to the dragon... Ellie, so when you say that, that's my character's them. mother. What we did didn't we give him? I don't think we gave them anything. Well, yeah, no, we promised gold, right? No, we gave him loads. We gave him... Uh, no, we gave him one of the arguably well, the biggest like... army in the realm. And the it craziest like... thing... Go ahead, real quick. It sounds like the Lannisters you lot talk, I'll went go to do talk a war to with Dragonstone, and they didn't get their part of the winnings. Uh, Correct. I suppose it was a fumble from Dragonstone on their part. And then here we are now, five Hello. plus years we... later. We brought to that their point. winnings. I, I, had, uh, uh, I mean, that's what it is. It was just we we basically brought up that point that like it, we, uh, it's like we're bending they, they, twice. They're asking for so much, but yet the we get nothing in return, <laughs> and we also yeah. lost in this war. Not just them. I just needed. That's what's well, crazy. Was, like, at the end of the day, we no, lost just as much as they did. I need an investigation. But yeah, we didn't. I just will help you with any investigation. That's how war works, Lord Mormont, right? Smell. So it's super unfortunate that dragons have fucked up as much as they did at the end of it, but normally yeah, we give gold or land or anything. Oh, the dragons don't won them the war. It later. was one last season too. Be, yes, yes, but, yes, but this is why it's happening, right? Because but they still they feel like they're a the part of the winning side. They promised no, but I imagine they promised the Westerlands gold, yeah, land, whatever. They did. They didn't get it. Right. Now they have to do this to save face with them, which technically <laughs> puts them in a position of weakness uh, when you look at it. Because but... they're begging. Well, this what I brought up, right. what I what I brought up in so the they're meeting. They're just using us as a scapegoat for it. I, I, they are, they are for so, sure. What I, you... what I brought up in the meeting was, well, Dawn was a part of the winning side. So what happens when they come knocking right. on the door next week? Exactly. And, that's, uh, major and then they were like, oh, well, we made team. trade deals and side deals and all these other mm -hmm. deals with them, so they're not. They, they did, right. They didn't really answer it, did they? Well, then yeah, they go, be oh, well, we made now. side deals and deals and blah, blah, blah with them. Mm -hmm. when, that, when that point was brought up, that's all they said about it and nothing else. Mm -hmm. There should be no. So how do we know Doran isn't going to come knocking? I, that, literally, that's why I said it. We could come knocking next week and go, okay, we want to sit down. Otherwise, we're going to go to war with you. And if they do that again yeah. and fucking Dragonstone makes us, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. Yeah, and it's crazy be too because they're saying, they're saying that we're, they're going to go to, let's say they do say that, and then we try to fight them back, Dragonstone is going to be like, oh no, no, you can't fight them. You can't fight them. You have no proof. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. But, but when suppose. people talk about making dragon soup and dragon bone bows and shit, oh, they get proof real quick, don't they? They line up the pages and fucking fucking execute every one of them. That's what they don't understand. They didn't just insult our gods. They insulted our souls. Doing That's what, what I was trying to say. Like, they insulted the base of our, like of our livelihood in the north. And yet they insulted our very dragons, being. and they get verbal proof, but not actually. Right. That's why. Well, that's why Rob was asking. What proof is proof? Listen, just let me work with Vartex. We'll figure it out. I'll pressure him to get proof, and we'll go to the king. Fair enough. And you, and you working alongside him, you can learn if he's actually truthful in what he says. I will. If he's actually I truthful. will. Exactly. Uh, it's been a very long day already. Go ahead. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna be a good proof as, as well, because um, I've, I've been um, attacked twice by, by them, um, so the barns, uh, and they place the bar, uh, bear traps around the bars. Yeah. I'll write it down, and I'll have Vartex interview with me tomorrow, alright? Alright, uh, if you need the whole story, uh, I can tell you. I can't really write it down because I can't really touch um, the, the journals. But if you need, uh, I can tell what's happened both of the times. Um. Try to do your best to remember everything tonight. 
write down any way you can, even if you've got to <clears throat> open up a dock or something. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> recall your memory right. as best as you can, go over everything that happened, and then I'll have uh, me and Vartax will interview you tomorrow. All right. Um, try not to leave out any detail. Go over the story in your head over and over and over, and over again. Okay. One thing about uh, tomorrow. I'm not sure when I can uh, be awake. Um, it's probably going to be much later than, than uh, now. Um, I have, I have uh, um, something to deal with in my, my dreams. Don't worry about it, love. Dreams come first. Just get to me when you can. All right. Of course. Yeah, but Lord Mormont, I, uh, I, I picked up on that as well. The one that was sitting to the right of you, oh, he was, yeah. he's getting I just, mighty I just, I just shuffled. I kept all my words yeah. to myself, didn't want to cause any trouble. I mean, I think I was pretty something... respectful with everything I said, but... That is something I realized at the main meeting, and then he did the exact uh, same thing at the meeting in the hall. Meeting day, and meeting day, meeting day. Upstairs. He did it all three times. Yeah, all he really times. wants to suck Lannis the cock, doesn't he? Ooh, I shouldn't just shit, there's a kid right there. And I'm bad at this. I'm really bad around children. <laughs> I've heard I'm really worse. bad around okay. kids. She's a tough one. Well, I know she's damn tough, but still. I mean, I'm always running around naked with no pants on. I'm constantly swearing. <laughs> talking about fucking every winch from here to dawn. Were you dancing earlier? I uh, might have been. You know? How many winters? How dare you, nephew, ask me my <laughs> age? <laughs> you are not lord of this castle yet. I, just, I, just I can still on. put you in an arm lock, damn it. <laughs> I just want what's best for you. I just want to make sure that if, you know... You what's what's best for me? You so you what? Help. You don't want an old man to get some pussy? <laughs> you think I need what? your help getting anything? No, look, look, you said... I've made the eight I three times, thank you very much. Them. How many times have you made the eight, young lad? Doesn't matter. I just, like I said... Have you head. ever fucked a wildling like... in a winter snowstorm with a head peeking out of a cave? North much, but mm. I worry about your age. See? Oh like shit, I'm bad about this. Loneliness? See? You think maybe it's <laughs> you still worry about, about my age. Still I still age? have plenty of vigor left in these <laughs> pants, let me tell you. Oh my god. Look behind you. You do again? No problems here. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about, you know, what's up top, not I what's down below. I think very well. Well, uh -huh. he must not be very old, because his hair's still black. True. That's just a good stock trait, lad. That is true. Maybe. Maybe you take some of your uh, experience, and you can help traps. Uncle Harold. He's been very angry recently. No, there. no one can help that man. Yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys look very I'm, I'm good. I'm not a miracle worker. <laughs> he's so angry all the time, and imagine if he had a woman, he wouldn't be so angry, right? Or he takes a glove off and wanks it every yeah. once Oh, see? I oh, did it again. See, I did it again, it's the age. I'm terrible. <laughs> Father? The one who I was, cannot uh, be around The one who wants to lead the investigation has asked for a wolf in order to sniff stuff out. Um, but I'm oh. not against it. Alright. I suppose, yep. yeah. That's Can you, a smart uh, idea. Um, make make, make a, a term that after the investigation is done, the wolf is coming back here. You can't keep it. I don't know if that would be wise for the animal. Once our wolves are bonded to people, they don't take well to being alone. Yeah, Why does it be one of your wolves? Especially a wolf. Let's hear with him. Is your wolf, I? Remember, these are no regular wolves, these are dire wolves. They're smarter, stronger. Mm, I don't know. Well, if I suppose you it's up to you, nephew. Investigation, 
If you join the investigation, then you should take your own wolf and then. And that's what, I, don't yeah, have that's what to I'm saying. Give out one of ours. Yes. Aye, but he might be going in the lands where I can't go. Can't go into the west with him. Just for the I'm sake of this end. I have a companion line. Just give him the damn it. wolf. Yeah, can you? No, can just get him a new one. Show him how to. Just yeah, get him a new okay. one. But make him do hard work, Sophia. Have him raise okay. it as a pup, catch it from its mother's belly. Bite the placenta, do all of it. Okay. <laughs> Make him work for it. Can do. Sure he produces something, doesn't walk away with a free animal. See, here's the thing I don't think they understand. A lion may be a fierce animal, but a wolf doesn't do tricks for food. You have to earn a wolf's trust. No. Right, can you work uh, with me and I'll show you to him. Alright, good night, you lot. Little lady, come with yep. me. Don't forget to wear your pants. I'm gonna take them off He's right now. Man. You know what? You can't hear me. Oh, lady, this is the little lady who lady breathes and I will show, you, will show you, you how to bond with it. Ah, that'd be great. Yeah. Just so you know, a die wolf is no dog or <laughs> oh, beast. Well, my... They are a the smart brain. They are great the... animals. They are... 25? The banner of House Stark. It's 18. That's what I said. I will treat it res 18. with respect. <laughs> I said 18. Ah, you have to respect it as if you were respecting your own mother. No, no. You, I, mm -hmm. you know, thing, my voice got caught in the wind. I will it was do 18. so. Definitely um, 18. Could you teach me how to um, either train it to sniff things and smell things right. or... Uh, That's a big motherfucker. Yes, I can. Would you not know how to do that? I can do that, yes. What? Yeah, that'd be great. What is the uh, saying? A Every I, man on that island track. is with ten mainlanders. I am also a hunter. Yes, so most of my wolves are tracked, uh, trackable so I can uh, track, so I can hunt really well. <laughs> Maybe Sounds you can weird. help in this Wonderful. as well. Just All show right, him how to. But late love, but one with a wolf. she got a fat ass. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah, Mama told Very me well, you to go with him. I don't. I, I think she works away. well. Okay. Lady Glover. Have there multiple Lady Glovers? Well, I only know of the one, right? Uh, Although Lady Dane's pretty smoking too. I was flipping with her yesterday. I was flipping with her yesterday. Oh, wait, I need to drink the anti emote potion. See, next time you travel to Dawn, speak Uncle Harry. I'm gonna change this guy too, I keep forgetting. One of my companions. I'm sorry. Mama, if you want to speak with him about the companion -y thing, I'm going to go deal with this. Now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're fine. <laughs> Trust me, my sickle, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gold sickle. It's a very strong sickle. <laughs> The 
These are my favorite line. They're so pretty. Also one of the best rules uh, for um, companioning. So, it's, uh, so this is uh, the wolf I've done the most work on. Uh, to get the color and the strength of my wolves, um, I've spent uh, days, weeks, months uh, breeding them. Oh, that was a big wolf. Yes, they're very tall. Uh, each one of these oh, have massive. been um, worked with, so they're fine. Uh, the one you get, you will get, will be, um, I guess, in a way, a newborn. Uh, so he won't have been trained. So mm -hmm. when the baby pops out, you're gonna crawl, like, go up to it so you don't spook it. You're gonna pick, you're gonna go pat it. If it bites you, you step back. And then you try again, you crawl up to it, and you let him sniff your hand. And if he bites you again, you go back. And you just keep doing that until um, it gets used to you, or it actually accepts you. Sometimes it's quicker, sometimes it's not. Um, but you let them mm -hmm. sniff you, and if it snaps, just you go back off. So it knows that it's not trapped. Mm -hmm. and, right. Yeah. Sounds good. Let me get a slap to you. Now wolves are very special to me. I've been I've I've been working with these since since I've been very young. If you'd like to go and try and grab it. Good job. It looks like you got a girl. The girls have um they look like they have like something on their faces, like little circle they got like shadow or something on their faces. The males are fully covered up. As you can see, this is the boy, and his face is a little different. Oh, wow. That looks cool. Yes. Oh, um... Wow. Give it a treat, and so it, you know... Pretty. And a bit of meat, so it knows it can trust you. Um, these are... A pack animal. So once they've bonded to you, um, they w they're bonded for you to you for life. So um, they're usually a lot more. I suppose they're like your companion, your best friend. Um, if you're in trouble, they'll help you. I'll keep them for life. And if they lose their companion. They kind of go into some sort of like, I guess, sad state where they will not want to do much and they get really sad. Like if we say if one of our family dies, they do that. They do the same. They get sad. They don't want to do anything. They, they, they mourn for their friend. And there's a saddle for mm. it. Yes, they're a very good um, companion to have. They rely on friends to survive. Is that everything, Mama? I think so. But yeah, it, the more love you put into your wolf, the love it'll, it'll show. Alright, sounds good. You do good to it, it will do good for you. And it will rely on you. Oh, he's moving. <laughs> he's moving, I should say. Yes. You are alpha to her. So, she does what you do. Like with your uh, lord. The lord says jump, you say how high. You say jump, the wolf will go. Well, it barks, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. But also, 
also don't take it for granted either. If you hurt the wolf in any sort of way, it will attack back to defend itself if it loses its trust in you. I have breed my other colors and stuff. I don't even know what to do for a game today, though, that's the thing. If you have any questions, you're more than help welcome to ask them. Um, I don't have any questions at this time. <laughs> I'm stuck in it. You should be fine now. Wow, it is a big wolf. Wow. To get I didn't onto see you guys your wolf, any of these big wolves. you're gonna have to put your arms up really high and grab onto the top of that saddle. And then you jump and try and put your foot into the stirrup. There you go. And you, the wolf will respond to what you do. So if you are angry, the wolf will get angry. If you're happy, the wolf will be happy. Uh, it responds to your emotions while you're, uh, well, more it's also on the ground, but more so when you're on its back. If you uh, squeeze your legs, it will oh. walk. Um, and the I harder you squeeze, I think I'm heavy, the so the wolf is heavy. Uh, you might have to train <laughs> it a little bit in the weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just train it a little bit in the weight. I usually do about a thousand weight because I don't carry as much. It's usually between a thousand to two thousand. You want, you at least want at least two yeah, thousand stamina. 2, yeah, one to two thousand, depending on how much you carry. At least two thousand stamina. And seeing as this is going to be a travel wolf, I recommend probably putting some speed into her as well. I recommend probably, you can do 230, but I usually do a 200, so that way I can put some more blood and some more bite to her. How much blood do you uh, usually put on your ears? Um, I usually do, um, well, I have a, hang on, let me look at this uh, wolf I have in here. Um, I do like 400 blood, uh, 400 bite and 3000 blood, and if I have any more left over, then I switch it between the two. Most of the time, I'm looking for at least 500 bite and 10,000 blood all up. But I know for that wolf, it probably won't get that far. Um, I haven't got the prop. Uh, that one doesn't have the recent paperwork, so. So pretty. I love this one. Alright. Yes, and the harder you squeeze on them, the faster they go. <laughs> Just like a cat. Oh. It's gonna take a little while to get used to. Yes. But they are a bond for life. Be careful when uh, falling. They don't fall as well as cats. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't ridden oh, these uh, the cats, mind. but yeah, no, they don't like they don't like falling. <laughs> but they're not too bad. Do you have I'll any veggie cakes? I do. I should have just I made it quicker, but oh well. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to go um, uh, train it, uh, or try to teach it to sniff things out. Okay, so when you're on your wolf, you, do you know how to smell? No. Think of your, yeah, there you go. This? Oh, yeah. This one. That is, uh, if you train him like that, you can teach him how to track and stuff. 
They're really good at sniffing out uh, things. Especially those jumpy spoopy weasels. <laughs> really, they are. Yes. I can believe I believe you can howl with them, yes? Or no? Uh yes, uh you got a right muscle, but it only works if you have a pack. Yes. Oh the door is um Sorry. yeah, it's always unlocked. If you have any other questions, you're more than welcome to um come find me and I can help you out in any way. Thank you very much. I will uh I will do so if I uh, have any questions. You're welcome. Uh, you can also give it a little drink too, and when you like a little, Dude. you know, the drink like we have, and you can get it to lay down. It's really mm -hmm. cute. The, oh, the drink. Oh, wow, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, there's can, a special um, animal one. Do they mind if they're in the taming jars? Um, I keep, I have most of my wolves in the jars, so they don't mind it. But if you just leave them in there all the time, they can't really run around, you know. So. You gotta at least have him out at least once a day to kind of mm. roam around and gnaw at its at the meat and stuff. Gotta go hunt and stuff because uh, uh, they okay. don't like being like cramped up all the time. That uh, that sounds good. I'll uh, not keep it in a jar. Try yes. not to. Admit. You can for safety reasons or when you're traveling. Sometimes I like I have one with me. I have two. I have my storm there that's for fighting, for like defending me against animals. And then I have my glacier who's currently in uh, my goat, which has uh, is my uh, travel wolf. So um, as long as you at least get them out for a day to actually properly hunt and stuff, then yeah, uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Do you need anything right now? Or no? Um, I don't know if we need anything per se. Um, I'll just have it as a, as a I owe you owe me one for another time. Alright, I'm uh I will be back soon. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Well, he owes me one. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I don't charge people for things I get, because I can just get them to pay me back later. There you go. Mm-hmm. Would you like a better wolf? <laughs> this this one is from the very first day when we didn't know who was breeding the wolves. <laughs> so is that a yes? <laughs> that, that's a yes. <laughs> mine well, aren't even that. Like my line is not even that good yet. Well, actually, um. There's two, well, technically three people breeding um, wolves. Well, okay, there's a bunch of people breeding wolves. You've got myself, you, and then we've got uh, Bolton, uh, not, not Bolton, uh, Glovers uh, breeding up at the other barn. They actually made a wolf farm, um, and they hid the wolves for another thing. Uh, they've been breeding the wolves as well, and there's like a, there's a group of them breeding the wolves. Yeah, their wolves are a little better in age. Uh, no, well, actually, there's wolves are only 102s, but what I meant, like, um, their clean line's older because they got the older wolves, but they didn't, uh, they didn't share. Oh. Yeah. These wolves are from my blue line. You remember my glacier line that I started off with? This is oh, where yeah. they're at. This is where they're at. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, all that work from the glacial light, literally the worst wolves possible, and I've turned them up to this, so I'm, I'm quite happy. Yes, they ended up being from the worst wolves to the best, like, the best wolves, so I, I'm quite happy with that. So oh, yeah. much tr- so much struggle. I know. <laughs> I know. But you did it. I'm proud of you. 
Yes, I did it. They would have been older, but I spent, uh, well, we spent a week trying to figure out who it was. And then I spent a week being sick. And so it was like, I'm, a, oh, I'm like two weeks behind, but I don't care. I got them pretty good, so I'm happy. I get at least between 10 to 20 ages a day. <laughs> There's actually a color I'm reading in slowly. Where is it? This one. It's exactly like your wolf out there, Nilly. This is the one I'm working on. I'm oh. trying to get an all white wolf. I'm so close. I'm halfway. I need yeah. two more mutations. And then I'm going to do red eyes. I've got red eyes. So I'm going to do the red eyes and then have like entire white wolf. <laughs> I think I have, hmm, mine is not very good, but I have an all white wolf. Well, I can easily just breathe I the have color. Two. I've got the paperwork, easy. It's just the color. Also, if you have black feet, I could really use black feet. Oh, that would be great. That is beautiful! I can't see anything! <laughs> I know, they're so uh, bright! <laughs> yeah, I can actually breathe these I have... the best paperwork. Yeah, go for it. Um, I have... Uh... Yeah, if we get black feet, that'll be good. I got, yeah, these are like from my old perfect line, and then I got the better... better paperwork. Oh, and there you go. now I'm trying to get the colors again. Yeah, there's your, there's your. Ah! <laughs> Finally, better. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it, look at the paperwork for the cable. Like, look at that amazing paperwork. Yes, they have better, like they have better bite. Oh jeez. Oh yeah. I have way better everything else. They've got 300 bite, but they have nothing else. Like, they've got, like, 1,000 blood or 2,000 blood with 300 bite. And then, like, theirs is pretty bad. And then you got mine. It's like, oh, my God, yes. I mean, if only the only thing you've got is bite, then it's yeah, not the that best. Yeah, that is literally the only thing I'm fighting on is the bite. I only got, I think, one, maybe two mutations on bite. The rest is all blood. <laughs> blood, stamina, and weight are the only mutations I'm getting. <laughs> But yeah, I can definitely get this thing to like a 126 quite easily. Um, let me... I have red eyes. Um, let me find which one. I think I still have red eyes somewhere. I don't know what I did with it, though. Although I did a lot of killing, so I probably killed it, to be honest. I probably killed it, but it doesn't really matter. Because I've gotten red eyes twice. Oh, yeah, I had that red eyes twice, and I keep killing the damn thing. He's blinded. Um, yeah, red eyes have... on these wolves. I've got so many different colorations now. It's not full and black, it's a gray. Dang it. You're so close. Though, you do have the black on the back. Ooh. I believe I have a black face, maybe. Oh. Oh, oh. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch of color colors too. Hang on, let me show you my colors.
Okay, so these are my colors. So, obviously it's the black and white one. Then I've got the ocean pack. And, <laughs> and nice. Then I have my companion line. And <laughs> I still have my glacier pack. It just keeps going. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> you see my white uh then we have star. Oh god, this is star. This is this is this is star. <laughs> Worst one, this is why. Oh, yes, I love it. And this is monstrosity. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. It's getting so much better. Those are the worst ones. I've also got my purple, which I'm in love with. That one's pretty. Oh, yeah. Yes, this is my um, gray and black, the, the colors that I got that I was working on. Nice. Uh-huh. This is Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is this is Monster Boss. Boss Monster. This is That one's super pretty. Oh this yeah. Is, uh Boss Guardian. That's the that's where the companions is. I, I got it for Boss. Um this is Cam's monster. And this is autumn. Oh, nice. Yep, this is only color. I saw a bunch of wild ones with that amber color that was super pretty. That was a mutation. And I've got a braiding pair of every single one of these things you can see. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep, this is why. <laughs> This is why I think that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's named Why because I bred, I bred this one with this one, and then got this. One. No wait, no, that was this nice. one was it or one of? I don't know. I bred something with something. I got that. <laughs> was it uh, this one maybe with? This, oh, maybe I even got rid of the other one. But yeah, this <laughs> this is why. <laughs> I love it. Uh... Oh no, I did breed this one with the other one. And this is how I got star, because I bred this one with this one and got star. That's how I did it. Mm. But yeah, this is um... a... <laughs> monstrosities. <laughs> I love them, but I really like the purple here. This one was pretty. But yes, this this is my um my pack that I've turned into monsters, old <laughs> monsters. Like every time I get a mutation, I kind of just keep upgrading the wolves. But yeah, my favorite is the companion line though. I do love the companion line. It's so pretty. Oh, oh yeah. But that's why they're so young because they're the companion line. I've got to um I gotta make them better. But I will steal the white from you. Uh, well, if you want, you can hold on to these, uh, the two white ones, if you want to work with those. I just need the to boy. The I will just use the boy. I've got the girl. Okay. I'm not too worried about it. I just want the boy. I can make you, I can, I can get you the paperwork, too, if you need that, too. Uh, monster. Boss. I love how I put everything random and horrible because I just don't know what to do with it. My Pinkie Pie is in a complete juvenile boy project. Monstrosity horrible. Glacier pack. Companion line. Yeah. Horrible. I do like the purple one. It's my favorite. Horrible. 
Horrible is just things that go in there, which I don't know what to do with. Oh yeah, the black feet too. I forgot about that. Thank you. Because I can make, oh, make them super strong. Uh huh. Super strong. And I can work with the boys because I have a bunch of girls. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, she got all 79s. Huh. But yeah, super strong. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Also, you do know we have green saddles in the workshop, right? I did not. We have green saddles I'm in the so workshop. I'm so far behind everything. <laughs> in the workshop actually hang on i have a green saddle here i can just give you i have a barrel down here with just a bunch of saddles in it i got you one yeah here you go thank you Boop. Uh, these are where my stats are at like i have not been able to put much time into their paperwork <laughs> That's fair. Mm, thousand blood. Yeah, it's not too bad. Wait, didn't we get a better blood though? Remember, we had a one thousand eighty-three blood. Ow, headache. Didn't we have a one thousand eighty-three blood? Uh, somewhere. Uh, hmm. Is it in the bar in here, maybe? Oh, hello, bear. Bear to the face. Bear to the face. <laughs> Found it. I found the wolf. Here it is. That's the new blood. Nine, actually. Oh. Um, actually, you're a two or two. What's that male? Yes. Was that a new male? I threw that male? right at you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the male we got. Okay, you know that male is the same. Oh, the bears are so old. <laughs> I need to get an upgraded yeah. bear. Mama, do you need to get an upgraded bear? Uh, I probably do. I haven't even looked at my bear. I think that's from the first day, too. <laughs> okay, we need two upgraded bears. <laughs> yeah, no, she, yeah, look at her I'm, bears. I'm just getting, look at her. Um, the, can you, the can, you t can you tell I'm really good at this life thing? <laughs> Yeah, look how amazing her bears are! Like, mm. they're amazing! Oh, nice. Um, that's amazing. Think, Yo, yeah, that's awesome. To... Yeah, they go up to 20, uh, 20k health. Um, it's like 580 or something oh, in it. So, getting there, maybe with, yes. with this melee a little bit higher. I'm, I'm hoping. Yeah. And this health, because I had two health mutation and two melee mutation last night. Well. So. I can, to I'm, I'm at my point where I can actually get the wolves up to 10,000 blood and 500 bite and 2,000 weight and 2,000 stamina. And I am so happy. Nice. Yeah. And a little bit of speed. Not much, just a little bit. But yeah, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I usually go 200 on the speed, so my stats would probably just change. That's also if fair. I, if I get the new wolf. But, um, yeah, I've got to get you a new wolf. Um, actually, I can do that now. Alright, I got a breeding pair. I was going to hand out wolves, but like, we got busy. Um, <laughs> you, um, you two don't mind if you get uh, a new bear right now, but I think you should wait until tomorrow, because I'm getting uh, out the new uh, bears tomorrow. I'm probably going to go over to uh, 200 today. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely nice. going to oh, be... Oh, that's totally fine, yeah. 
I'm definitely gonna get one, like, so, yeah. uh, my wolves to at least, well, 100% 130 today. Might be able to get to 135 by tomorrow, tonight, though. But if you imprint them, they have 3,000 blood. Oh, nice. Yep, and they're black and white. Although, I'm gonna, Mama just gave me a new white, so I'm gonna make the top even whiter. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Um. Which one? Which one is the, the top one? Is, is it the eight? Uh, number eight or? Um, I don't know. But this is Mama's. This is Mama's uh, white wolf. I'm gonna uh, uh, train it and make it better. But yeah. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. That's probably the thirty-six. Uh, that is. Beautiful. Yeah, that's the 36. And then Mama also got yep. this one, which I'm gonna braid into the line of the plow, because I think it's a beautiful. Oh, wow. Uh huh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. beautiful. It is. I know so many people who'd want oh. it. Wow. Mm hmm. But these are special Mama colors, so they only stay in Winterfell. They're not being companioned out. Yeah. Mm hmm. I was already got a companion line. I've got a red, white, and black companion line. It's so pretty. It's my favorite. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Um, ha, ha, ha. Uh. Uh, I got... Journal? What? No. Uh, hello? What? <laughs> Okay, um, we gotta take this to, uh, Lady Stark. Okay. Yes. So, I'm gonna leave my wolves here, um, Cam, so when they pop okay. out, just, um, grab the baby. Mama, we're gonna go find, um... Okay. We need to go find... Oh, okay. We need to find Lady Stark. She should be awake, I think. So, now the tr question is, where is she? <laughs> That's yep. Yep. Probably the keep somewhere. The, that thingy, that headpiece, and the ladder. It says R.L.R. Stark. Oh my god. I'm great with doors. I have to unseal the, le the letter. I'm gonna write unsealed letter. Still forgot to change wolves, but I still gotta empty this thing. It's full of stuff for the fight. Uh, that's so horse. Hello, have you seen um Lady Stark? Perhaps we should do one. She should be in the workshop last I saw. Okay, thank you. Mama's we're gonna go this way. Oh, oh my. Where it's like should I even gonna put together some names and make decisions? Is. He's probably yeah, gonna do works. the same thing. Um, is Lady Stark in here? He's probably gonna do the same thing that they're doing for I the uh oh, for the council positions. Um a wolf came and left a letter. I did open it because I didn't have a, a who it was from. It was just a sealed letter, so I did open it it's for you. And there's also I didn't read it. I just saw your name, and then yeah, and that's also came with it. Uh, a wolf gave it to us. So oh um, my god, okay. Thank yeah, you. It, it was very. Oh, it, it was is, very. Is it from him? Okay, well, it, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't know what it I'll says, as soon as I saw your name, I stopped reading it, but yeah, it, I, I'm, I'm sorry I had to open it, but I didn't know what it was for. Oh, Lear. <clears throat> you see my name? It yeah, is true, actually. from him if you read it out loud. to the house for a moment and speak. <laughs> yeah, we can. It's been a long time, I'm about ready to go to bed, so... <laughs> oh my god, alright. 
Wait, one minute. Um. Uh, good night, you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night! And I am apologizing for opening your letter, but as I said, it was it didn't say who oh, no. it was for. I I understand it was necessary to do it. Thank thank you for bringing it to me. Fuck's sake! Is this from him or the secret admirer? It's from the secret admirer. I don't know. It was a wolf on its own, so um, he is a trained wolf, I guess. He gave me a, a wolf, crown. So. Who has a wolf? I don't know, I but... I don't know, that's a good question. Actually, no one... Look! Look at the crown! Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> um, well... I can't the wolf this, that he so was riding treasonous, wasn't but... red, so it's not Vartex, because I gave him the red one. Um, And the only other people that have wolves are rainbow-colored wolves from... um. Which are the kids. Other than that, I haven't handed out wolves. So I'm confused. Well, I have no I idea. I literally have no idea who it could be. I am baffled. Perhaps someone from the village. I'm not sure. Maybe. But all I know is I there was no one with it. It was on its own, so... Maybe the wolf is your secret admirer. Perhaps there is a wolf that is uh, that acts peculiar. Perhaps you do have a wolf secret admirer. That's interesting. Yes, there is one that comes. What color did you say this one was, Sophia? Was it brown? Um, Mama, do you remember? It was like the white one. It was white. It's not the one that's been running yeah, around here it earlier. It's like mostly white. Yeah, it's not the one that I see here all the time. It's a different one. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the wolf pack. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I, I'm not sure who it is. I or what it is, but the wolf that we see usually, it's a different type of wolf. Weird noise. <laughs> Good. Some investigating to do. <laughs> investigating. I'm Isn't invested, that... Lady Stark. <laughs> Isn't that deep? It's all right. <laughs> I can give you a wolf to go curious. smell it out. <laughs> I want to scare them. Don't you want to scare, scare them? <laughs> Don't scare the wolf. Yes. The wolf. The person behind the wolf. <laughs> Why the wolf to deliver the letter. Nice. They're not being nice. They're being creepy. The wolf. It, the wolf is her secret admirer. No. <laughs> Do you think it's creepy? Oh, here I let you read it. Do you think it's creepy or it's nice? Oh, okay, let's see. He also gave me this little wolf right here that I have, this little glowy wolf. Tell him the next time, just announce it when we're around a bunch of people, just say, you know what I really like? Giving House Bolton gold. Well, considering it's someone we met today, oh, so it has you. to be someone from Casterly, Dorn, Dragonstone, or the North. There's two Dorns. Because they mentioned the meeting. So it's one of the uh, four, Ash, four uh, uh, kingdoms. Uh, lady, lady Stark. Do you I know, know where the second barns are? Yes. We're trying Maybe. to find your father. We're trying to find Wait. your father because we have some guests here and they say it's urgent. So we need to find your father. Um. Okay. Yes. Can someone go to that second barn and get him? Because I don't know where it is. Is he uh, at the second barn? Lord Oler, Lord Glenmore was trying to find it, but he couldn't. He doesn't know where they uh, are. It's either. on top it's of the mountain. It's behind the keep, next yeah. to the mountain. It's on the mountain, like, behind the keep. Okay. Well, if you want to go out and address the guests, uh, we'll... Jackson, real right. quick. Do you, uh, do you find uh, Lady Stark to be beautiful? No, stop! <laughs> but she beautiful. is! Mm. Everyone's beautiful. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, I hear a voice! Um, 
Uh, they're going to Hello. change Hi. my father. He should be out here momentarily. Uh, would you like Hi. to come inside? That would be great. Can you use the present? Hi! <laughs> Hello there, sweet. My mama is awake. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Sorry about the doors. It's okay. Oh, hello there, sweetie. It's been a long time. Oi! We come to see if we can get your Cora's companion. Oh, yep. Um, first, uh, we have to go find Lord Stark, don't we? Or did someone already go do that? We already talked to, uh, to Lady No, Stark? about another well, thing. Well, Lord, oh. Lord, Lord Glenmore was trying to find it, but he... he he just went, yeah, he, because he, just went inside he needs there. to be fetched for these guests. Anyway. Alright, let me go see, I'll be back in a second, I'm gonna go see if they're, Mama, I'll show you where it is to you, uh, see if it's up there. Oi! Fucking dog. They're born, uh, they complained about how small our barn is, so they built this one. And their animals are hidden behind a hidden door. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's up here, I think. Yeah, I found the door. Yep, there it is. Yep. Just think, they said our barn was too small. It's too small. Oh, what is this? <laughs> hmm. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lady Mandalay. You've heard uh, the mere kindness. Thank you a lot. I appreciate um. it. Oh, it's no problem. I'll be back up very soon to uh, oh, get the him? from Navy. We'll Oi! check out a bit more. I'll see you Hi. later. Okay. But but this is only a 95. That's not a 102. Where are the 102s? Oh, wait. It's right here. here. Perfect. I'll kill it for you, so... You need to... I think we're good now. I think okay, just thank you. Right, see you later, oh, Lady Mandy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you see, you see, apparently ours is too small. <laughs> uh, have they seen theirs? <laughs> On their sign, and under Clean Wolf, it's called the the, the 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 paperwork is none of your business. Hmm. That's what the paperwork says. It says on the sign, none of your business. Oh. It was weird. Seems the question was too much for him. There's a building here somewhere. I will see it somewhere. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, there it is. <laughs> That makes me ecstatically happy. <laughs> All right. Well, she um, a lot, though, so it's no surprise that she's energetic. Well, let me go ahead and help you to over to the barns, and then um, I'm gonna need to wait for one of the Starks to come and talk to me. Uh, they should—they've just turned up now, so um, they just went through that door. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but it's it's alright. I know that there's somebody else waiting for them. Yeah. It looks like it was Dorn, so I don't want to be interrupting that. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm just a lonely peasant. I'm, I'm nobody important. Not true. No, uh, but it is true. I'm, I'm about as important as uh, the guards for me that somebody's waiting at the gate. You're important to us, so shush. Oh, Whee! well, sweetie, you're super kind. Wait, I keep forgetting to change my wolf, dang it! <laughs> ha! Okay, okay, too much. much. I'll, be, I'll be seeing you back at the tavern later, alright? Okay, mama, I love you. Oh, giant Be safe, Gammy. Don't worry, I got it. I'm strong. Thank you. Anytime, Gammy. Mama gave me some um, wolves to, so I can breed into my line for color-wise. So now, 
we have the new color, um, pure white. Oh, and yeah. pure black. Oh, uh -huh. hell yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I'll be bringing these guys so into pretty. my line now. Are they war wolves or can anyone have them? I believe these would probably be war wolves, but these ones anyone can have. Sissy, you should get a white one. Nope. You but want a black, I, don't you? I love this one. Black and red. So pretty. I, I, the reason why I, know, I say I that is have... I know a few people that want this color in our kingdom. And so if I start giving it to them, they're going to be using it for war instead. So that's why. I understand. Yeah, oh, wait, first. wait, 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 wait. Sophia, does that mean that the bottom, the, the black at the bottom of that one, for the, yes. the, the project? Yes, it's completed. Awesome! Oh, yeah. I just got the black one. What? Showed me it, so it'll be completed today. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Now, are you after the red, white? Oh, he did end up falling asleep. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Eh, he's fine. I'm not letting you stay there though because I kind of kill things in that spot over there. So you can come over here with my goat. You can you can sleep here. Because yeah. that spot's my killing spot. It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> you should um, show decor what happens when you tell your goat to sleep. Oh yeah. This is my this is this is this is goaty. Um this, well goaty I called it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is cabbage, and cabbage is extremely over dramatic. <laughs> 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 Super dramatic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Such a wonderful actor. Drama. <laughs> Drama. So yes, for the red, uh, white, and black. Yes, I suppose, right? Mm. Well, I have lots of all the colors. You want a? Do you want a boy or a girl? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't like the color, I can definitely get you another color. There's also the black top with the red stripe and black sides. I would like to see yeah. that one. Okay, that would if be... That's all right. I have a good... Yeah, that's fine. I have, like I said, I have a lot. She does. I also have this one. Uh, that's the, the white and red. And then there should be... This one, I had to try and find it as well. Ooh. I'm actually thinking about putting the black feet on this dark one. Or red? Yeah, I'm actually thinking about putting a yeah. the black mm -hmm. feet on it. I like yeah. this one. I like it too. I want one like it. Well, I, I want the. I want it. I want the autumn wolf that you made that time. Oh, I finished autumn too, by the way. Awesome! Okay, Jacor first though. Can do both. But yeah, do you want the dark red, the, the bright red, or the red and white? This is the autumn. Uh. I love the autumn. So, I don't think gender matters, though I I think the girl is really pretty, but we'll see. We'll see what pops care. out. Okay, if you don't care, we'll see what pops out. Mm -hmm. um, I think this one is more like you. And if you're wondering about gender, here is the uh, boy. I mean, the girl. Did I throw out two girls? Girl? I'm, I'm dumb. It's fine. I don't know. I have <laughs> apparently, I have two. Wait, what? I would like to see the male. Oh, I do have two. <laughs> okay. I didn't even realize I still had two. <laughs> That's the boy. Ooh. I like him. Yeah, Jakor, I think that one's definitely you. 
What do you think, sissy? I think she's all, all right now. <laughs> we'll talk to her when she gets back from wherever she is. Yep. So Sandra left uh. herself here. Okay, um, I don't use this corner as much so I can go here. No, you didn't listen. I said here. Stay. Um, I need to get... Oh, hey, oh, that was... Carmen! Oh, did you get what you needed? Yes. Or did, what did you say? I was just saying, did you get what you needed? Um, it was a female, so I was thinking... Oh, you, you can keep breeding them until you get the, color, the gender Maybe, you need. Yeah, later. That's fine. Um, do you have... Yes, Carmen, I got you something. I just need you to make me okay. a wolf saddle if you can, too. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, wow, um, thank you. This looks amazing. Look, Mama made it. It's, it's lamb. It's really yummy. <laughs> thank you. Oh, did you finally um, get your black yeah. bears? Each. Look how old um, they are. Yeah. They're Wait. so cool! <laughs> so... Sophia, I believe Voss needs some assistance. <laughs> oh no! Where... Uh, wait... Where is she? She's oh, over puppy. here. Puppy! Puppy! Uh, puppy! You're fine. Ah! There's a beep. <laughs> uh, um, did we get twins? It's a boy. Nope. There we go. Oh, you look like autumn leaves. Please. <laughs> I'm like, I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can punch, oh, right? Look at him. He's so pretty. I don't want to punch the wolves. <laughs> you can remember, everything goes on passive here. Okay, don't they're not working. It, That's boss. not help. Not being nice. <laughs> I believe uh, Camilla asked you a question earlier, Voss. I believe you're off in your own world. I have someone sleeping in my barn. <laughs> uh, did you ask a question? Camilla. Now she's off in her own world. Hmm? I'm sorry. She, uh, imprint it. Make sure she imprinted it. Oh, crap. She did. She did. Don't worry. Don't forget the cuddles. And, oh, it came out a baby. Is it a girl or a boy? I really would. Oh, like there you go. There's your boy. Something like this male here. Thank you. You're fine. This um, one. your saddle's almost done. Oh, thank you. I will need another mm -hmm. one too. I made five. Oh, thank uh, you. <laughs> with five skins, so. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> yeah. I have a bunch of green ones, but that's unfortunately need... I can't hand out, so. Yeah, if you if you need more, just um, uh, let me know. I, I think five will be fine. It's basically for my companions yeah. and stuff to hand out because I don't do the green ones because. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Whee! Uh, have you worked out what you wanted? Here's your saddle. Yes. Named him Finris. Hmm. 
try this puppy. Boss, what do you think of this one? He's pretty, but I like the girl better. Mm. Meant for me, but yes, that she does. <laughs> yeah, boy for you, girl for me. Yup, yep, I agree. What? Yes. Yes. That's the wrong one. <laughs> you are not the right wolf. Right gender, not right wolf. Uh, this one. I have other rules in my pockets. So we we'll... That would be hers, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we have so much meat in That's here. So <laughs> I know. You know, I went from breeding ponies, por drays, and wolves to now only breeding wolves because they just keep popping up mutations on me. Every time I throw out a dray, a new wolf mutation pops up. I know, there you go. Like, no! <laughs> yep, I, I get finally caught up and I start breeding the drays and then all of a sudden, up oh, here comes a wolf and it's like, oh dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello! Hi! Open the door! Thank you! <laughs> oh! Hi, Wolfie! Oops, sorry. Oh, you're so pretty! It's okay. We won't hurt you. Hi. Aww. <laughs> I see what I mean by the walk has the, the diamond that you can see. Okay. Hey, I won't come closer. Hold on. Let me, let me put my wolf away. Because I think it's scared of my wolf. Uh, maybe. Oh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> So pretty, look uh -huh. at it. It has glowing eyes. Yeah. Pretty. <laughs> you hungry? Hmm? You want food? No? No? Oh. Maybe. Oh, I said no. He shook his head. He's like, no, I don't want food. Maybe it wants us to follow it. Do you want us to follow you? No? No. <laughs> Do you want my hat? No? <laughs> I don't know. Someone asked me for my hat the other day. What is this? <laughs> Someone was like, can I have your hat? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty wolf. Um, are you asking about the ladder? Yes, yeah, she got uh -oh. it. Sleeping in a barn. Yes, I gave it to Lady Stark. She's also got the crown and she mm -hmm. put it on. <laughs> <laughs> there, <are> babies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently the faces, sorry. Apparently, um, well, I'm gl I gotta catch babies and that one just ran off, so I'm glad he's happy. Also, I gotta put this back to what it was. Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. Happy wolf. We had, um, a wolfy conversation. He was coming to check to see if, um, mm -hmm. or she, I don't know what gender the wolf Girl. was. Um, so should I catch it? it? And there's a boy! Yeah, yep. you wanted the girl. Male. Yep, that's the mail you, you wanted. There you go. Make sure your card gets cookie. You got Our both cheek. genders. Awesome. Oh, wait, I know why I'm missing a job. I got a girl, the other one is right. I didn't believe I <laughs> have a cookie. Uh, in the fridge. Here, I'll get you one. I think everyone got their wolves. Let me know if he's missing a wolf you want to get. I got mine. I got mine. Sweet Fritz. 
pretty boy. What is your name? Hi, I am something wolf. Also need to get some more of these um stable beddings to you. Uh, I like the little RP that with that wolf. I, it took me a second, but then I remembered. I'm like, oh, wait, you're the one from the night. Yeah. Yep, she got the night. I do like the girl, but the boy makes it look like he's got charcoal on his face. <laughs> Doesn't look bad though. Oh yeah, also uh, you on one side, you on the other I side, and then now I'll try to figure out which one to breed them with. Probably the one side. It's some meat. Apparently it didn't no, bring one... any. 26. Yeah, there it is. Um. Okay. Because they're both boys, should be a easy transfer over. There's some. We have a ton. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> You're we good. have a ton at home too. Just forgot to bring some with me. Me and Vox usually have a snack on our wolves at all times. Hi, Irena. Pretty girl, pretty baby. I thought of a name for it, but we'll see. Just asleep. Cinder wolf. Oh yeah, cinder wolf. Oh, did you get your cat you wanted? Have you spoken? Oh, she's not. Have you spoken to Darn about um, your cat? They said that the breeder hasn't been awake for a while, but they said that she should be awake tomorrow because uh, market, so I should be getting my new kitty tomorrow. Okay. Sophia, I just want to thank you, Wolf. Oh, that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Boss and Cam helped me with a lot of things. Yep. I need to make a saddle for him when I'm home. Oh, I can just give you one. I thought I, I thought I gave you one. You Apparently not. not. Also, I, who did I give the saddle to? Oh wait, no, I gave Cam me the saddle. Uh, yep, that's right. There's the other saddle. You can even color them to make them pretty. I hear ouchies. Um. Oh, I know what it is. Yep. I really love the red and You're pretty. Not what I want, but you're pretty.
Oh, you're the opposite. <laughs> Like white kitties. Still too young. Problem with it being all black is you can't tell if it's a girl or a boy. <laughs> awesome! Look at the colors! Oh, you got the bottom! Yes! Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get it older though, so they're dying. Hello? Oh, I understand. That was me. Okay, I thought our friend was back. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's clean up? Clean up? There you are. My toes is cute, yeah. Problem is, none of them are the age I want them to be. Unless it came out all black, I'm gonna keep killing it. <sighs> we should go see if we can find Gammy. I think she went home! Hi. I imagine we'll find Gammy at Gammy's. <laughs> yeah. Have a good evening. Uh -huh. Good night! Thank, thank you, Sophia, Sophia. The Bobums! Live for six hours. <laughs> no touches unless Sophia. <laughs> I love it. No touches unless Sophia. <laughs> That's alright, my stream will be ending soon anyway. As usual, it's six hours of art and we've done RP and now it's probably just gonna be the wind I wind down time of basically just brooding, so the stream will be ending very soon. I'll give us another like thirteen minutes. I'll I'll end it around four. Uh but public decorations. But yeah, the stream will end soon. Hello. Hello? Hello, Sophia. How are you? Hey. Just, just riding past or I'd stop in and say hello. I'm doing good, thank you. How just are you doing? Just riding past but Not too bad. Just riding this way because I've, um, Ragnar's up here. Oh. And I'm just going well, to meet up with him. This is, this is my mama. Yes. How... Uh, she's finally awake. <laughs> how do you do? I'm finally awake. How Hi. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he, ah, he's one of the people I I've met before. Mm -hmm. I literally yeah, only just, I just woke up about half an hour myself. So... And then got word that Ragnar's up here, so I'm on my way to see him. But I thought, drop by, say hello to you guys on my way through. Oh, cool. Well, hello. Okay. How's the breeding going? <laughs> Really good. Hello. <laughs> um, we're at 126s, but my mama got an all black wolfie and she's got an all white wolfie, so I'm bringing them into my line so I have more colors. Yes. More project stuff. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Because <laughs> last time, the other morning, you were going for. Oh, you got a full black one. My mama got, got a full black has one? It, yeah, it's all black from head to toe. All black. And this one's all white. That. <laughs> Ooh. Uh huh. Very, very nice. Yeah, now I'm they're, now I'm they're, just like they're mamas. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just making them stronger. Your daughter stronger. is very talented with her breeding. <laughs> Your daughter yeah, is talented not, with her well, I've breeding. I've got, like, really bad paperwork on mine, but eh, it's going somewhere. Well, she does the colors, mm. and I will do the paperwork. And then we can buy them, and they're the best in the world. <laughs> I'm actually uh, second-guessing my decision on um, relearning out of a hunter at the moment, because I would really like to companion one. Mm -hmm. But I'm retraining to be a smithy. I'm retraining to be a smithy, though. Always can use smithies, though. Mm. Damn. Yes, that's true. Well, that is very true. <laughs> I will, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna go find out where Ragnar is and what trouble he's gonna get himself into. You're fine. Um, and I will catch up with you guys later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. It was nice seeing you. Yes. Ah. Oh, I will try to. <laughs> <laughs> I met him when he was free roam, and then he moved to Dorn. Oh. Yeah. There's quite a few people that come to this barn, actually. I have so many people that come and say hello. No, it seems like it. Like, <laughs> passing through over the hill. Yep, everyone. I, I, this barn is very active. That's why my doors are open, so that people could just come in, because... I have so many people just come in and say hello. <laughs> They're like, oh, hi, Sophia. Goodbye, Sophia. <laughs> See, I think our barn is better. Not, I think the barn, the, like, secret mountain barn is, like... Let me shut the door <laughs> it's so like a no cult. one can hear. Like, you're... <laughs> okay. Um, did you remember... Um, Mr. in the Hood? Oi! Yes. I found out who that was. Oh? His name is Damien, right? Get this. Mm -hmm. He's a Lannister. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Also, get this. He has a sister. Guess what her name is? Hmm. Arlie. They named their daughter Arlie. Did they really? Uh-huh. I met her. She's sweet, but yeah, they named a daughter Arlie Lannister. Yeah, I found out the other day. But I found out who he was before he revealed he was a Lannister. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm like, so when are you gonna just, uh, so maybe one day you'll come here without your hood on. And he goes, who do you think I am? And I'm, I was like, oh, wait, no, he goes, what's your favorite color? What's, do you think my favorite color is? I said, yellow. And he goes, yeah, and what's the other one? I said, red. He smiles and shows the hood. And I said, I knew you were a Lannister. And he goes, I, I had a feeling he did. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But no, he, he, he's okay. He's just looking for friends. He kind of just, he doesn't want the law. He doesn't want the fighting. He's apologized on th uh, things. And I haven't mentioned anything about the reins to anyone or anything. But, um, yeah, I, he himself wants the best between the North and the Lannisters. It's his family that are kind of, uh, mean. Also, there's a queen now, or Queen Lannister, and she's really mean. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, uh, Voss went to get a cat from them, and she basically chased them out of the barn. So, yeah, she's mean. But, yeah, I've been doing a little information, Snoopy Snoopy. <laughs> Well, Snoopy Snoopy, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. Casterly, like, can't keep peace among their own people. Like, that's what happened last summer, so. Yeah, but, um, just wanted to let you know what I found out. Um, I haven't told Lord Stark about who he is because Arlie Stark knows, like, um, not Arlie Stark, Ali, Ari Stark, uh, Lady Stark, I just clearly because I never hear her name. Anyway, she um she knows who he is and she knows that they revealed. So I, that's why I'm kind of just not saying it to the Lord since uh, the lady knows about it. And um, oh, I'm yeah. just letting 
I just tell her any updates that I have, but otherwise I'm just leaving it for now since uh, she's the one in charge of this, so I'll just let her continue with what she's doing. Yeah, that's probably what seems smart. Uh-huh, yeah. But, no, if, if he does stop by and he says hello and he, ch he chats and stuff and he's really friendly, um, but I do have, uh, he has spoken to, um, to the, uh, Lady Stark and stuff, so. Ariel, that's it. I got it. <laughs> there you go. A's. Too <laughs> many A's. <laughs> I, there's so many. Yeah. So, yeah, there's an early Lannister. Um, so there's that. Uh, she's a sweet kid, but, um, yeah, she, she's alright. But, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that they didn't name a child after Arle. Um, so there's that. Yeah, um, that's not yeah. infuriating at all, but <laughs> we'll see where it goes. I'm surprised you didn't talk to Lord Stark about being, you know, Lorraine. Yeah, I probably will bring it up just because now they're, like, going and investigating and stuff. So. I, yeah. I, I haven't said a word to anyone and I've been biting my tongue, but the longer we hold it in, the, um, the more likely we'll look like traitors or uh, we're trying to hide it when we're not really trying to be like spies yeah. or anything like that. Because I like them here. They're really nice. And the, the Lord Stark actually treats me with respect and listens to me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. He's still awake. I might go talk to him. Yeah, he's currently in... Just with everything that's happened today. Yeah, I don't know if it's good today or not. But either way, we still have to tell him because... If someone else finds that, they could probably use it against us. Yeah, if somebody else finds out, I don't want them using it as, like, we're hiding it, like you said. Because yeah. that's going to come across that's as the most thing we're here is... hiding, and that's not really... Yeah, because I'm trying my best to kind of become friends with the Starks because they're really nice to me and stuff. And I've been helping as much as I could and everything. And I don't want to be oh, yeah. labeled as someone who can't be trusted, but that's all I've been trying to do since I've got here. But, uh, wait, did I breathe these? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Okay, I, I, I thought I had the more breathe. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm gonna be back, like, I will be right back if you do talk to him about it. But, um. Uh, Okay. Because we're rains, but we're all, but I'm also a star. Well, most are zero one, zero one two. So. Mm. I really like the companion wolves yeah, I've I know got. People were here. <laughs> oh yeah, people were here to talk with him. So I don't know if he's gonna be busy or not. We can always go check. I'm also gonna empty my wolf out anyway. Because my silly butt has. Hello? Huh. What? Heard footsteps. Weird. Okay. Alright, yeah. My wolf's full of stuff for me preparing for uh, the fight earlier today, if there was gonna be one. <laughs> it's got arrows and brews and cake. <laughs> There you go. Yep. I was going to be the emergency um, supply thing, but unfortunately we didn't... Well, fortunately and unfortunately nothing happened, so... Now I'm going to back again. <laughs> You're behind What's me. happening? <laughs> it's like, what is happening? Yeah, I gotta get my other wolf up to date to with my new paperwork so then I can ride around on Glacier instead. How hard do you think it is to bring a papa back to the north? What's up? I said, how hard do you think it will be to bring papa back to the north? 
Hopefully not very. Yeah, Sissy, I understand because I've been in her shoes before, but Peppa kind of is just grumpy. I actually like how she said, oh, one. Oh, whoops. Oh. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> Hello, I'm good. Hello. I don't understand. Oh, you're. Yeah. I'm good, thank you. How was everyone? It's kind of weird. Oh, I just heard you at the gate. Yes, I um, I've seen my, I just seen my brother's uh, uh cat over there. Oh, well, I we can let you in. Oh, yes, they're in the meeting group. Yes, my brother Ragnar, he's in there having a meeting, yes? Yes. I was just, um, mm -hmm. coming up this, I was just coming up this way to Maybe catch up with someone, myself, actually. Get the final say on the which, position we've which way is this firing around? Just to get a better understanding. Um. Which way is the sparring ground? That way. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, Ooh, yeah, very, one. very pretty. Yes, they're one of my projects. Uh, you uh, you yeah. know which way? Yep, this way. Yes, I know they are. <laughs> who else breed? Who else? Who else would be breeding those in this kingdom? Um, yes. possibly Manderly, the Glovers. Um, they're just breeding them. Okay, right. so. Like to your call it? Yeah, no. <laughs> but to your quality? No. Uh, this way. If you follow those lights all the way to the end, you'll uh, run into a building, and that's the sparring pits. Thank you. You're welcome! Because I didn't try. I didn't think it was anything like this. So what are you up to? <laughs> Where's Cat? Sophia. We were, we were here for Gammy. Jeez. Oh, okay. I'm gonna show up eventually. Oh, uh, if you wanna park your wolves, I can um, let you in. He said he had it a few days ago. Is she out here? Uh, oh yeah, that's her horse. Back to the glorious suns and sands of dawn. <laughs> I'm guessing no one was there. Nope. Sounds he's still having to me too. <laughs> That's right, I'll let you in. That's a good. I'll wait out here. No, right not for a sure, reason. I need an official invite. Mm. Oh, I'm fine. Right. 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 I got <laughs> and Lord Stark, well, you are officially cold, invited to go on. Just go on and eat the thing over, and there's some start. nice bedding. You still not going to let me down. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait. Never mind, they're out. They're already out. Hello. Uh, she's a prisoner. She's a prisoner. She's oh, hi again. Out. Oh, thank you so much. Hello. Oh, Gammy. Hello. 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 How was everybody? Actually, All right, guys. They, 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 they were laid hey, off to me in that room. Hello. While you were talking. Hello. Hello. I'm good. Protector is a core. This is making a joke. Oh, all right. Doors open and set up. How was everything? Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you too. Well, I wanted to talk to you about something real quick. Too good. Yes, of course. And then pop in here then. Back to the room you're trapped in. Uh, you can hello. Is this the man who was with you? Can I help you? Um, this is my brother. Yes, my name is Argon. I, I wanted to talk Were you with him when they came to you? No, he was asleep. I, only, I, I just woke up about half an hour ago. You're yeah, alright, never mind. Very well. Very uh, well, safe travels back to I was at, I was actually, I was actually just heading up here to um, spar against James Bolton. How did you know? Um. Let your brother come and uh, talk to you first, or whatever you are, partners. I don't know about that. Nice of you to join us. Brothers from di brothers from different mothers. Uh, that, that, that's it. Um, maybe come back later. Let's just say. Let's just say that for now. 
No, it's too last Okay. Very well. Very well, safe travels. It's been a pleasure yeah. seeing you, even though it's not on the greatest fucking terms, but very well. Yeah, yeah, Ragnar, shall we ride? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right. yeah. You're good. Appreciate the honesty. I, I know you're aware that Fill them in. And they're purple and black. Um, we'll get this figured out. frequent the barns here quite often. My lord, I'll yeah. just do them with uh, the fucking door lines. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, you or you can go home and we can mutual. Ragnar, we ride. Let's go. Congratulations. My lord, it was definitely a uh, better time this time than the last time we met. Ragnar, we ride. Let's go. What? 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 what, what? Okay. Uh, when we met uh, last time was when I stumbled upon Jaden Martell. Oh right, that can't be Martell. No offense. And yeah, that was yeah, that was a, yeah. To try yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, so this meme was a lot more and bare than that, so I'm that. just glad. Maybe it's just my new mama bear I uh, couldn't bear. agree more. Flag. <laughs> 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 it's great to see. Oh my. Did you hear me? Oh, that was a headache. I said, who oh, wouldn't want to see this face? It's a great face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's got that in my room. Uh, I don't know about you. Uh, oof. No, but, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I got, uh, and you're, I know, you talked uh, about him in my room, he has an old school of Listen. Hey, do we want to come play At least tell him to his face, okay? You don't gotta tell me to tell him his face is cute. It is very cute. <laughs> Jawline is on point. <laughs> Literally. Anyways, farewell. Good to see you. I need to, uh, talk to... This man right here, it looks like. Oh, do you need to talk to me? I, I don't know. Are you here to talk to me? I don't know. Oh, I can. Yeah, well. You are back home. Bye. I love you, Alexi. I'll see you later. See ya. Uh, why see you too, Mary. Cast me with this well, um, individual. Why? Uh, we'll go to the west. Uh, do you want to talk to me, Monday. or could you just come to the north to relax? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. Um, just so I, I probably have like a few him. questions. No, no. What do you think of her? Uh, he wanted to talk to a maester he told me about. He said he wanted some medicines to help him sleep. Okay. But I don't know which maester he's seeing by the maester. Come with me. Father is here. Talking with Gummy. Oh, wait, yeah. oh, give me oh, a moment. Your, your fault. This is perfect. <laughs> we have an actual problem. It doesn't stop. Well, Alright, so it's too, uh, short, long story short, uh, a certain individual father was over at the crossroads. Guess who? Can I go get my wolf milk? Bolton. Yeah, I, I. And he, he. Ben? I just go ahead, go ahead. Being or actually be mean. Yeah, so. Into. He was messing around. Those two little girls who hang out at your barns, I've officially adopted them. They're my daughters now. They've been living with me in the crossroads, so not even a full day. He was messing around with them. I don't know what he was doing, but he went into their bedroom without permission. And when those caught him screaming, a man's in our bedroom, he said, no, I'm not. They came to me said, yes, he did, mama. And I, maybe it's just my mama bareness coming out being the first time. Uh, Mama is an old lady to two young girls. I trying to said, kill someone that's did you? And he said, daughters. okay, yeah, I did. Don't hit me with I your frying pan. And then anything. he ran out. His sister apologized to him, but there's something about a grown-ass man going into a young girl's bedroom without permission and lying about it. That ruffles my feathers. Uh, uh, he also has a child that he's uh, one of his personalities. That's another one. Father. I don't. I, uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I'm going to find a maester tonight. In oh, Gamma, did you recommend him a maester to see? Oh, hold on. Do you need to be led? Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I think I'm going. Oops. Go which ahead. do you know a witch maester he's going to? Nope, that's what I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna go Dragonstone. I uh, said the Stormlander maester. Okay. Oh fuck! Okay. I would say that's a bad idea. Why? Um, why? There's two maesters there. There's one that's really great, and the other one's a complete dumbass. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Take the Boltons with you. No, 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 no. I think... Um, I don't think I'm going to take mm -hmm. the Boltons with me. Because I think I'm just going to go and inquire and see what the mace... Because I want it to be... Right. Like, right, you, peer you do what you have to. If that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I just, oh, that's uh, not good. I need to look at the paperwork. Well, it's good that you've been uh, feeling better. What Sorry, I didn't realize you uh, sent you something in chat. I'm gonna go do that. Small council, who you want to sit on that? Because I don't uh, know if it can be you or Harold. No. We'll see. Uh, thank you, Gummy, for letting us know about yes, this. Thank you, Gummy. I'm sorry that we didn't. Go ahead. Yes. If I'm gonna Moving be staying on, on your lands, it's it's the same mm -hmm. that we're gonna have to do some give and take. Uh, yeah, I cannot give you an action as yes, of right now, you. but I, um, I need to look at a few things before we deal with it, but I assure you, it will be dealt with. <laughs> Very well. And mm -hmm. so it, it's Thank obvious you, that he can stay at the crossroads and that's all right oh. I, I completely understand his decision and i'm a grandmother to most and a mother to everybody <laughs> else and i'm just happy that he's finding happiness is all i'm really uh -huh. hoping for yeah so. um we actually had just finished all of our talks this evening um mm -hmm. and then uh do you think uh, Gammy is actually wouldn't around? be able to stay as we're not at war so I guess that's a, a bonus, but yeah, hey. I'm sure he's more than welcome, obviously, to visit any time. If you like need an on. extra hand, I'm sure you can let us know, we can assist you. don't like give on false promises. Um, that's all I'm hoping Aye. for. Aye. But, Aye I'll get well. out of your hair, because obviously you got some bigger <laughs> fish to fry. Um, I, I, I don't know what is going to happen. But let me go and give you some of the things. Okay, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Oh, oh wonderful. Then, and then there was some open spots in your fridge, so I'll put oh, more in there too. Um, okay, thank you. Um, oh, and you look a little not angry so yesterday. One more. Fun. Oh, and then <laughs> thank you, thank you can God, have this for the road, because that, that <laughs> okay, it's not you. alcoholic, so you won't get drunk, so okay. you can be able to have a clear head. But oh, wonderful, thank you. When you when you taste it, you'll be you, you'll swear that it has alcohol. And I've oh, seen some people see. pretend to get drunk on it. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, <laughs> besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> That's delicious. Chicken and uh, waffle Why sandwich. Oh, wait, sorry, I got shot. Absolutely yeah, the best. Some I'll, uh, I might share these. I might not. I'll let you know later, though. Oh, you know, I might skim off of myself. Oh, I'll just so keep them. So, you don't have to share personal stash wonderful i'll take it up to my room right now everybody needs a personal stash of gammy's <laughs> delicious true, true. comfort food you know of course of course well thank you uh and for your oh. time and quite all right and uh informing us oh. of the situation oh sorry uh, uh. oh <laughs> skip, skip, sorry I, I, I didn't mean to be running into people <laughs> i'm not my, 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 kind of in the doorway fault. i'm fine. so sorry we're in the we're in the way because we're on the we're in the door <laughs> What, what why are you guys congregating the in the doorway? I, I, don't know. I, I moved them out of here because you can hear people when you stand right here. Oh, it makes the, sense. That, makes there's sense. a hole up there. Oh, oh I didn't even realize. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know it's all oh, right. Oh, well. I just. That's I never awkward. realized. I just didn't want, you know, a private oh my conversation God. to be <laughs> Yeah, I think no, I private think conversations are private in there. I didn't yeah. even realize. Oh, shit, we've had a lot of private conversations in here.
Uh, I do believe I saw two individuals waiting out here while you were talking to Dorn, so they probably heard everything you spoke about with Dorn about. Yeah, fuck me, probably. All right, well, thank you so much, Cammy. I appreciate it. Huh. You have a wonderful trip back. Can I talk to the Boltons? Are they still uh, over there? Okay. They're still at the train. Very well. Where's my father? Take care, take care. Take care. Now remember who you are and what you stand for. And most of all, of remember that Gammy loves you. Take care. I think he's in the no throne room. He, he might have been in the throne room. Oh, I was right. Found him. Oh, oh that's right. Sorry. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm um, guessing you speak first and then Mama will. Of course. That's also our first. Yeah, when you stay out here, oh. he looks like he's busy doing something. Oh. Are, are you needing to speak? Uh, should never I was, yeah, that, that's initially why we came in here. And Mama yeah, wants to speak with him too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, um... Mm -hmm. Well... Alright, I'm gonna help you later. I'm, uh, raiding right you, you He got your wool. Uh, father... I think you've left Bolton's by the weirwood still. Hello. Uh, let's talk. Um, first, uh, the uh, one of the questions that I had for right now was I needed to establish a time that the um, the person a person was at that uh, Godswood tree last, and the time that it was seen undesecrated last, and uh, who found it. All right. And I'm gonna be very honest time. with you. I, I wish I knew, but I don't know anything about that. I don't <laughs> really, I don't really mark down in time when that happened. Mm -hmm. I, I, it was five, six years ago, lad. I don't know. Oh well, I didn't know if you had the person around that, uh, you know, uh, seen it, or if you know the daytime or the nighttime, you know, sometimes people remember, oh yeah, I was there in the day the last time I saw it, you know, they might not be I might be able to get down to the it. person who saw it, but I don't know, I'll mm -hmm. see. Yeah. It's really so that I can establish who really wakes up at those times, you know, where, when people are awake. So I can find when people I'm not are going to lie and... to you. I think that's uh -huh. irrelevant because people wake up at different times. I wake up at different times. I don't have a set pattern when I'm awake and when I'm asleep. It's just random. I well, think that's uh, yeah, but I I won't I won't base any information off of that. If I were you, I'd well, just go spend some time at the pits and talk about the situation. If I can first do that, then I can start you know zeroing it down into who it is you know. I can find out random information and stuff at the pits, but if I can get a more like acute sense of it, then I can. All uh, I know, you know is faster. that the bear trap was placed in hours where I'm not awake, which is usually right now. What ta what? Why are you from the Eastern Stars? Yeah. What time is it for you? One seventeen in the morning. Right, I would say around like very late EST, right? The bear traps were placed mm -hmm. very late when there were less northerners around, which is very late EST hours. So any Westerlander who usually was awake late EST, very late, was was the person who were people who did it. They would do it when no one was awake in the north, and that's very late EST. We're a very... Well, about now. Lord. I was going to ask if um, it was the uh, was that bear, uh, the bear breeder that found it, and if she would have been awake at that point in time. Because I know she's awake or very late. Do you want to go talk to her? Uh, not right now. It's just I'm uh, don't know. Like you know, it's very late EST, so it could have been two, uh, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning for the Eastern Stars. One for you right now, right? 
basically one yeah, in the morning. One, one nineteen. I would yeah. say, I would say it happened around. Between four and eight, I would say, easily four between eight. That's what I'd say. Between four and eight EST. Ah, uh, one thousand percent four and eight around that time. Because Car so Carmen true. the bear breeder was always the last to fall asleep. Now she it's would, and they'd always harass her at her barn when no one was awake but her, and that's when she's mm -hmm. only awake by herself. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Carmen is a very good person to go talk to about this. Go talk to her. All right, yeah, I'll talk to her. Um, yeah, I remember her at her barns and uh, bear traps and stuff. I just didn't know if it was that day that that happened or if it was a day before or a day after that. I don't know, Dan. No. Um, could I also be oh, shown, uh, just ah, just no. shown the gods <laughs> where, where it, uh, it was placed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it never happened. It Don't worry about it. Or where the bear traps were? Fuck me. <sighs> Sorry. Maybe it was the my fault. Uh, I'm shown where the uh, the bear right, traps were with, uh, and where it was placed. Uh, uh, on the mountain. mountain. Put it all to a wrap. Not very well. Which tree? Uh, which tree? Here for now. Just now. I'll be back in a moment. Learn more with me. Oh uh, wait, hold on, fuck me, hold on. Just so I can have uh, my going, father? correct and know all my, my stuff and make sure. To your uncle's grave. I see, I see. Uh, Bolton's uh, in the keep whenever you return to just kind of wrap it all up. Wait tonight. Okay. So, how's the Dude, weather? <laughs> A bit cloudy. All right, go lay down. Go sleep. Good night. Nice and crisp. Huggies. My stream will be ending hopefully soon. <laughs> uh, you won't hopefully miss much unless I die. Then you'll miss everything. You should probably sleep, I yeah, imagine. Do you know what, um... Uh, one of the children, one of the enemy's children came by earlier, and they were inquiring if Willis was going to be staying with them still, or the situation had changed. I just kind of wanted an update if they had to move. I was about to say he's he's back back. Mm -hmm. Yes, they they weren't sure because the deal was for him to live there and that they wouldn't have to move if he lived there. But now that he's not living there, they're not sure if they have to move. Have that tree house built, don't they? That's where they. they... Um. The yeah, they just kind of wanted no, an update. No, um, Grammy just adopted the girls. So they're gonna be living with uh Grammy. Grammy, I keep calling it Grammy. It's their oxygen. Oh, if uh, Gammy's gonna have to move again, is what if that is what she's saying. Yeah, they're fine. They're yeah, they're staying where they are now. Cause yeah, the deal to uh, use had with uh, Gammy was if he stayed with Gammy, um, then uh, they wouldn't have to move. But seeing he's not staying there no more, the question was if uh, Gammy had to move. No, no, no. Um, no, they're fine. Okay. Yeah, Gammy was already living there even before he moved in there. What? I didn't move in there. Oh, she should. She. No, I said Gammy already was before Willis moved there. Oh yes, so but, uh, she should it was have part. Of... Just because he moved out. Well, the thing is, um, it was something about taxes or something because she's still on technically on west uh, on the Northlands, <laughs> and th so they had a deal where if Willis. 
I don't know. Some sort. I don't know. I have no. Anyway. I don't really know what um, happened. I just know that he left. <laughs> I'm going to step away for a moment. I will be back. I'm going to make a quick errand. Uh, South yeah, a little bit. Right. I'll be back. Just don't forget the buttons are waiting for father upon his return. Uh, so uh, they've the, been waiting uh, uh, so a long mama. time. Mama's also waiting can, too. Can I bring them inside oh. into the warmth? Yeah, they're, they're in. They're, uh, they are in the. They're in, they're in so, the, uh, the library. Yeah. yeah. They're not so closed area where we have conversation. <laughs> Yes, also, I'm going to put windows yeah. there. Is yeah. that alright with everyone? Uh, yeah, please also, fix Mama that. Also, Mama wants to speak so before awkward. I start to you when uh, he gets back as well. I'll let the Boltons go first, though. Of course. I'm, I'm, I'll dip for just a minute. I'll check on something. Don't burn the teeth down while I'm gone. My father will kill no me. promise! Thank you. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, no no promises. Do. It's right. okay. It's stone. Even if we wanted to, unless it's True. dragon fire, don't worry. Oh, yeah, we can burn half of it now. Wild wild fire. If anyone can find yeah. a way, it, we, we are determined enough. Uh, hey, uh, hey, here's a, here's a way to do it without mean. dragon fire. Just use wildfire. We can we can burn half of it down. It's like, not a thing with yet. wood and stone. <laughs> so we just build the wood part. Alchemists haven't come yet. <laughs> well, hopefully they will. I mean, not hopefully. You didn't hear that. Maybe I'll start. <laughs> but no, see, we're, it's half wood and half stone, so we just burn the wood down. <laughs> what? You burn, you burn the wood down and, and make burn stains on the stone. Fair. Oh yeah, I've got to empty my wolf. Mm. I can't forget to do that. Full of stuff from earlier. The reality of it is, everyone would probably die inside if the wood did catch on fire because of all the smoke, and then they couldn't get out because then the doors would be on fire, and then they would suffocate. Because there's not really any proper ventilation. But the doors would be the things on fire. There would. for the follow welcome to the wolf pack welcome welcome now you go in a jar although I don't have him that's fine hanging in there Betty I'm getting a headache in my mind too so Fuck the fire. I hate the fire now. <laughs> Lord, I'm turning it off. It's really cold now. I'm turning it back on. There's a lot of mods, actually. There's actually quite a few mods on this server. There's 25 or 6 mods. There, it was either one or two. I cannot remember. It was so long ago. There was definitely one where I showed you. There might have been one on the path as well on the way up. But there's a lot of mods. Sounds good. Oh, that can uh, give me a little bit more information. It could have been just, you know, maybe one person at any time or two people at any time. Or, you know, a large group at a late night. Sounds good. True. That'll help me, that'll help me. Yes, it's roleplay. You know, figure out. I play a child character who's 11 named Sophia patterns. uh Sirwin. No problem. And so any, is there that anyone character here next to me is, her, is my mar uh, character's mother. Oh, Might I sit in the cafe area uh, a little while so I can write in my journal? Yeah. Cafe. I didn't find, <laughs> sorry. I 
Oh, well, the <laughs> cafe area. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how you call it. It's a sit-in area. Uh, people can still hear. It's a cafe. Let's go. It, but... Right, come with me. I'm like on the verge of collapsing right now. It's like everybody talk turn. Everyone wants to be beam today. What? Well, as I explained to them, um, I've been up for like over 24 hours in my mind. You didn't realize you're sitting on a bird. <laughs> I'm sitting on a bird. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever. How bad do you want war? I don't really, uh. Yeah. I would, uh, I would nice. like it though, yes, to be honest. I don't like the way things were settled, but, uh. I am more under your command, Lord Stark. I wouldn't do anything against your wishes, so. I will not lie to you, Lord Stark. We are Boltons. We were born for war. We enjoy war. It is in our veins. But the accusations that are being made against us, we did not do that. Well, no, I don't think I've ever Nor would I ever plot to murder a child that is the same age as my daughter. I know people here know you, but I don't think I've ever met you. You might have not wanted to, but maybe you thought killing a child Lannister would rage the family, the parents which are Lannisters, and Wait, create no, a 100% one, uh, chance definite to war with a no. Maybe that was your plan. I'm not sitting on the bird, it's on my lap. <laughs> uh, if it was Lord. true. We could, uh, we could have handled it ourselves quite well, not not as people we barely knew to help us. Seems to me like the Lannisters want war more than us. As soon as this reaches their ears, as soon as this reaches their ears, I do expect their army at my gates. That is to be expected. Ah, uh, no, you can apply. Uh, well, yes or no. So you, it's a whitelist server. You've got to apply for it. Lady Bolton, remind me again of where you went from the meeting up until now. To the village, my house. You do exclamation mark, uh, G T G O T R P. There you go. Thanks, Mop. Well, and that's the only place you went. After that, after being in my head for a long while, James came back to me, and um, Good we timing, went to then. go see Gammy at the tavern. And after that, I came right back to the village, and then I came here. Right, Gammy has come to me, and she told me that you were in a child's room or something. Lord Bolton, is this true? Fuck's sake. The, there was no door, and there was no... There was nothing. I walked upstairs to a empty room and said hello, and then I left. Right. <laughs> Where do you spar this man? Uh, he comes to us. That's how we met. We've uh, we've never uh, reached out to find him. He always comes to us. Oh, we're waiting. We want a meeting. They want a. They got a private conversation, so we're waiting uh, to have a meeting with them. I, I don't know what to do. But I hope it's clear that they're lying, especially with the fact 
that when we do spa, I, we basically, both of us, win every single one. So getting him to help us would basically mean like getting a pig or a mouse to help us. Completely pointless. Unless, of course, we were fighting a carrot. The men you were fighting yesterday, when I came to talk to you. Yes, that was them. Well, Father, he took them both one on two. Easily. I don't know why he would try to hire that man either. As I said, why would we need so many men to kill a child? It makes no sense, Lord Stark, and I hope you realize that. I do realize that, but what, why would he just say this? Why would he come out with this? What if somebody paid him to do it? That's what I mean, or... Or oh, he has a uh, past uh, grievance with the Boltons. for the rest of the night but um that's not happening yet well you actually haven't killed the the boy or girls so that's what matters oh did he not even know who was killing apparently oh wow but I'm going to i don't want to hear any more stories of anyone trying to kill children regardless if it's false or true it's not yeah. northern and it's cowardly. It's what dogs do in the sh in the shadows. Trust me, I want nothing but King Lannister in the ground, and that's what I'll get. I know it's what I'll get, but that's not how I'll do it. It's not how I'll fight the West. Not in the shadows. It's not how we want to do it either. We would prefer to fight the alongside the, the Starks. Very well. As of right now, I trust you. You are free to go. I advise you not to go near this man for a while. Or go I don't either. travel to dawn. Yeah, I don't go there. Place is fucking west warm. Either. I would suggest against going west either. Very well. Just don't let the no, north basically. No, because I will. I'm gonna expect a raven soon. About. And it'll probably cause something, I know it will. If I, if I might say, I hope this, uh, might not be a time, but I hope this doesn't uh, affect the, uh, petitions we've asked to, uh, have, if you believe us. I hope it doesn't affect your decision making. As of right now, I don't know how to answer that, because I'm very tired and too... I don't know what to think of this situation. You swore in front of the gods, which makes you, in my eyes, innocent. But you never know. I have seen men lie in front of the gods with before and be taken away by a spiritual bear that has... grabbed them with its paw and tore them in half. Oh my. I mean, did his story not seem far-fetched to you? A man we've never met. We asked to kill a child, despite him being a terrible fighter. And as only meeting once, the most believable story, even if we didn't swear in front of the gods would. I... Very well, Boltons, you are free to leave, do what you wish, stay within the north, because I don't think it's wise going anywhere else. 
Dragon Stone should be okay. See you both tomorrow. <sighs> the drama! It's gonna get worse because we haven't even said our drama yet. About what? I, I think he's speaking of my secret and my. Good luck! We've already been told, <laughs> only already been Wait. told about that there. What, what? the Fowler? No, so I don't think it's him. Ew. I don't know. They send up gifts by wild wolf. <laughs> Just wait. Well, We're about to talk to the Lord Stark about it. They sent me. I really hope I don't get permit. They also sent me this wolf. Are you killing Raina? I gotta find my fucking. Oh wolf. yeah. I was supposed to end like forty minutes ago. <laughs> I doubt I'll get permit. No, I don't think I'll get permit. He wouldn't permit a child over it, and plus, what it is, what we're about to talk about, isn't permable. And it, well, I suppose in a, no, I wouldn't permit someone over it, because we haven't done anything to him. A princess Stark. I don't know what it means. Maybe it's like, uh, you know, how guy men refer to their wives as their you'll, princess. You'll find it. Yeah. Might not be I don't think I get permit, but. If I was a Lannister, I'd get permit. Mm. <laughs> like if I was in the if what I do you was back in Castorly, I would be permit. So, no idea but that was Castorly. That permit makes no it more immediate revenge. So, one that has ties to a wolf, though. Yep. Right. Well, uh, if you find out, let me know. It's kind of weird. That's why Lord Bolton wanted me to tell- he says it's creepy. <laughs> but, I thought it was kind of sweet, I didn't think it was creepy, but he thinks it's very creepy. Well, uh, if he wants to get to know you, he should introduce himself to me, not be some random it. Yes, I suppose so. Very well, uh, you can keep the letters to yourself, I suppose. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> who who am I talking sweet. to now? Um, Mama, are you um, here? Mama? Hello. I'm just thinking. I hear... Someone say hello? Sounds like Raven. Uh, I think she's thinking. Give her a moment. Mama. Hello. Hello again. <laughs> Hello. Uh, let me poke her. What can we do for you? Go to the Aegon Fort Puck. or sit in the inn and drink myself to sleep. Puck. Oh. Puck. 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 That is, that it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, can I be uh, uh, let out? Yes, I can help you. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Oh, hello, hello, Vartex. Hello, Dawson. Hi. Oh, I need to talk to you at some point, too. Um, you okay? Okay. I mean, I'm not busy. Okay. Yeah, Are you well, okay? Right Is everybody okay? No. You I needed a spot yeah, to take right to now. Lord Stark. Yeah, okay. okay. Is she back? Is um Lord uh, Brydon around? Yes. Mama? Yes. Yes. Lord Stark. Now I'm here. Yes. yes. Um, okay. Let's I'm okay. sorry. I'm not too sure. They're in a meeting right now, though. You could wait in the hall so you're not out here freezing. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm gonna try to like keep it brief, but no, I wanted I to first. talk to you a little bit further in light of today's events. Man, this sort of so, fucking pissing me off. Five years Oops. ago, I actually lived in Casterly, and I lived under an alias name, and my name was Rin Hallow, and I moved there, actually, 
with the intent of trying to rekindle a relationship with my brother and sister that were there. And I said, I know I said, like, I had, like, personal reasons that I didn't have good faith in the Lannisters, and it's because my brother and sister pretty much gave everything to the Lannisters and, like, broke their backs for that family, and I don't know if you heard at the end of the summer five years ago, they, there was a wedding for Jonathan Rain and his new wife, Irene. Uh, wait a bit. Yeah, so it turned into an execution, and they got their heads I heard cut they off. call it the, the Rain's Castamere, that's right. Correct? Yeah. That's what I heard they call it. So, only four people ever found out who I really was, and three of them are now dead. So, the Lannisters think that they killed the entire Rain bloodline, but I'm actually the younger sister to Daniela and Jonathan Rain. And at the end of that summer, I fled to the north, and I married into House Serwin to change my name so that they wouldn't find out who I really was. So the three, three, four people found out, and three of them died. One of them doesn't know that I fled, and doesn't know what happened to me. But so when I say that I want war with the Lannisters, I like I say that ex like I know exactly what weight those words carry. So the the Lannisters cut down their own people, and I wouldn't be surprised if they would do the same for something under a mere alliance. So that's why, like, I, I have personal slights against them, but I also would warn you because my family was under their, under their rule and had nothing but the utmost loyalty for them, and that's what happened. So. Very well. So interesting that you're a rain, but house rain. You are no longer a rain. You might have it in your blood, but you are a serwin. House rain should not be on your mind. You should uh, look to your new family. Revenge, though, is something that a northerner cannot leave behind. Um. Do you remember anyone last summer? who placed bear traps in northern lands and went around to, ter to terrorize northerners. Anyone from the west, since you were there last summer, you should know something. I'm not sure of exact names, but I know they sent their scouts out a lot, and I don't know if they had them doing their business for them. Scouts to the north? They sent scouts everywhere, like, they sent scouts, like, right to our borders, but they only told us, like, common folk that they were just scouting to make sure nobody was on our lands, so they didn't give any detailed information. It sucks that Lorraine's dead because I know- Do you ever, any, do you ever were, remember anyone? Go on. The Boltons were- always very angry, so I wouldn't put it past them. They were always very angry with the North after the fight happened at their ga what? at the Westerly Gates. The Castle Rocks keep Yeah, the Boltons. I was saying that they have always been very angry with the North. With the no. So, do you think they have done this? Do you think they have tried to assassinate a child of the West? I can't say for sure because I don't have any proof, but I would not put it past them. Just knowing their 
the character of them. Right. Do you remember anyone boasting about putting a bear trap on my uncle's grave? The gods would. Do you know about I... any man, any name that comes to mind that placed that bear trap? I know a lot of this, but I can't say anything because I'm, I'm, I'm um. I can think on sorry. it, but I can't think of one right now. But I Please know think I was. On it. I can't. Oh, well, definitely. I know the only houses I know of last summer were House Rain House, Bainfort House, Doggett, or whatever the fuck you call it. Well, that's the only three I know. Did I? Did I say ha Bolton? Did I misspeak? Because I was. Me I meant the Bainforts. Yes, you said Bolton. Oh, I'm so my. sorry. You've been saying Bolton's all this time and you meant No, Bain okay. Oh, yeah, oh. that's why I was like, why is everybody so confused? I'm so sorry. No, I misspoke. I'm talking about the Bane Forts. Very well. Thank you for letting me know. If you do remember, you know what you could do? You could just write me a list if you can of people who are still in the West after this summer. I'm sure many are not okay. there anymore. People who are still in the West last from last summer that are men, men of Castle Rock's military. Yeah, I can definitely, I will definitely think on it, but I also just wanted to kind of let you know who I was because I didn't want it to become an issue later or somebody find out and turn it around to be like, we were, I'm here trying to sp spy on you or something like that. So I didn't no, want that to. No, you're fine. You are of House Serwin now, so you need to know. Yes. Is there anything more? Is there anything more you need to talk about? No, that's all. Very thank well. you for listening. I appreciate it. No, thank you for coming to me. Glenmore scored them out. Oh, um, Malister, um, I told him about what happened with the pages. Um, he cried and said they were really good friends and ran off to the Stormlands for a couple of hours and came back and, uh, just wanted to let you know that as well. He cried. Well, not cry. He shed a tear. Um, apparently, he was really You're good right. friends with the pages, so I just wanted to let you know. That would have been a sight to see. Thank you. <laughs> well, what are we doing? Hey. Is there anyone else who wishes to talk tonight? <laughs> um, I'm sure he's all talked out. I know his voice is getting like more and more tired every time he asks. He's got so well. He usually goes to bed around this time. Like, I mean, it's usually I know. Dropping, like, like at first, it was like super happy. He was like, "Does anybody wish to talk?" He's like, "Does anybody want to talk?" <laughs> Uh-huh. It went for re Yeah, he's getting tired. It's getting late for him. Because this is around the time imagine. everyone starts I would dropping. not be able to do it. Everyone's dropping like flies at the moment now. This is when everyone starts going to sleep. And then eventually, it'll just be me and Carmen awake, just reading in the barns. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to go to sleep because I'm getting old. And <laughs> I don't know how to stay up late anymore. No, you're fine. Yeah, oh god, yeah. Sophia's a completely different character, so I can't do anything about it. But I know exactly who did the bear traps, and... 
stuff like that, so. But no, that's that's murder. It's my other character. She's dead, so. It's annoying because I wanted to say something, but I'm like, I can't. Fuck. I love how I put my wolf in my pocket and run here. <laughs> I'm faster than you. <laughs> Rude. Lemon hot. There's Zoomies. Found them. And Zoomies out here. Boop. Now back to what I was doing, trying to. Ugh. Maybe I should breed more stripy wolves first. I got a blue. Shut up. Um, Arshian, Arshian. Uh, fuck you. Um. Oh, Glacier. There we go. Get all my wolfies. These need to be up to do it. Although you're the other one. We're not... Where is my Glacier pack? Hmm. Oh, I do have Glacier pack. It's just you need to be updated. Okay. Sure. Okay. But yeah, no, my <sighs> Irene knew what was going on. Fortunately, Irene is dead. So, gonna have to find out the harder way. I reckon they could do it though. Mm -hmm. I have blood pack somewhere. I'll do that in a minute. Somebody take me away from here today. Oh, got earache. Owie, owie, owie. And uh, yeah, I, I feel sorry for <laughs> Lord Stark. He's he's been awake, struggling. The poor dude. Um, but is anyone streaming that we can go raid? Because I think nope. And nope. Uh, really? Am I? Are anyone live? Ah! Uh, really? Fuck. Um. Hmm. Mm. Guess we could watch Tech. He's playing New World. He's a good friend of mine, actually. Probably I read him. Anyone else have an interest in what they would like to see? Uh, what they would like to possibly... Anyone they want to raid? Um, let's see if there's anyone else that we can... Hey look, it's me. Hi me! <laughs> I do that every time I look for someone to raid. <laughs> I see myself, I'm like, hi! <laughs> oh, hang on, there's someone streaming. They're streaming... Um, it's still like RP, but it's CCRP. 
But guys, I'm gonna end my stream. Uh, apparently, I spelt raid wrong. Okay, sure. That's, that's how that would work. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end my stream. I love you all, but I am going to end it. I will be streaming again tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. Um, hopefully something will int more interesting will happen. Otherwise, just the normal chatter chatter. But I love you all. Have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!